You had an amazing time and um the legacy you leave behind uh is amazing you know just real quick i'll read um i'll read the tweet that the band had put out uh it is with broken hearts and with the deepest sadness that we must share the terrible news that on tuesday our friend soul brother and bad ma- bandmate for over 45 years neil lost his incredibly brave three and a half year battle with brain cancer um, we ask that his friends, fans, and media alike understandably respect the family's needs for privacy and peace at this extremely painful and difficult time. Those wishing to express their condolences can choose a cancer research group or charity of their choice and make the donations in the name of Neil Pert. Uh, rest in peace, brother. Um, amazing. You know, we opened up with the Spirit of Radio. Um, great tune. Yeah. Great tune. Um that was off their album, um, Moving Pictures. Moving Pictures. Uh, that was like right around uh, 1980, I believe. Um, and they toured for a while, and they did a lot of um, a lot of world touring. Um, it was a different different kind of um, I don't know, a different genre. Uh, you know, it was rock and roll, but it had a little, you know, it's kind of that electronic. You know, and, and amazing sounds for three men uh, playing instruments. They just, you know, you would think there were six people playing uh, instruments, but they just outstanding. You know, I did have an opportunity. I will, <laughs> um, not that I always or want to, but I'll, I'll give uh, Jacob Allis some credit. He ended up having tickets once to go see them, and uh, unfortunately things didn't work out, and I couldn't go. I think he went, I think he had an amazing time and enjoyed it. But um, again, not to get too far into that, but I just wanted to take spend a little time and just appreciate... Um, and just appreciate, um, you know, Neil and the uh, contribution. Um, and with that, you know, I figured, you know, somebody as as important and um, pivotal in the music industry. I mean, if we're going to talk about anything or anybody, um, we got to talk about. Um, we have to talk about the year that he was born, and that would be 1967. So Neil, um, uh, he was born in 1967. Uh, and just to kind of go through some of this, I figured it was a really cool year. You know, this is probably, um, as far back as we've gone, you know, we haven't, um, we haven't gone this, this far back. So, um, I thought it'd be really, really cool to, um, get into some of the things, you know, I, again, I, um, 
I wonder um, if sometimes we lose sight of you know the, the cost of what what it costs then, what it costs now, um, and you know you, you you can almost again it's it's that you know mild and slow progression of uh, just life around us, and you know I always like to go and I always like to um, you know challenge those those just kind of everyday um, you know you see it you kind of lose sight of it uh, uh, moment. So here here we are, uh, episode twenty two. Uh, guys, it's been a crazy week. I, I won't lie to you. Just a um, little under the weather this week. I uh, ended up with a, uh, a minor cold. Um, I say minor cold. It was more like a major ear infection. But, uh, you know, with some antibiotics, some steroids, uh, making it through. Uh, hopefully, you know, just go, kind of get back to normalcy tomorrow, kind of catch up on uh, some loose ends. But, you know, I uh, caution you all to be careful out there. You know, everybody's working hard, and especially coming out of the holidays, guys, it's... Um, if you don't take care of yourself, you kind of just wear yourself real thin and uh, you end up getting these things. So, uh, you know, in the process of uh, getting uh, much better um, and, uh, you know, I'll stick it through and really was looking forward to getting behind the microphone tonight. Kind of just, um, like I mentioned, it was a slow week for me. Uh, a lot of rest, um, a, lot of <laughs> a lot of hydrating uh, just to kind of, um, you know, make sure, you know what, you know, you can try to be a hero. Uh, you know, I've, I've gotten to that point, you know, most of you will, um, you know, you, you younger folk will, will probably disagree, but, um, you know, as I find as I get older, it just, when you try to just fight through it, it just, it lasts forever. You can never get rid of it, you know, and sometimes your body's just telling you to just stay, to just take a second, chill out and, uh, and rest. And sometimes you got to do that. And this is, this is, this is one of those, this is one of, this was one of those times where I just needed to, uh, take some time to myself and, um, get some medication in me and get myself better. And I will tell you that, um, you know, I, I feel much better now. I'm um, looking forward to the week. I'm looking forward to uh, some of the challenges I got to kind of work through. But uh, ultimately, it'll be really, really, um, you know, awarding, right? Just to kind of, guys, you know, I say it all the time, you know, the idea of being home, it's like, yeah, I want to be home. But then when you're actually home, um, it kind of, geez, kind of sucks just to be home all the time. You know what I mean? You got to, um, you almost kind of, you know, bounce off the walls. Uh, but, you know, hey, look, 1967, um, you know, we were uh, being led by Mr. President Lyndon B. Johnson. Um, and we were in the middle of a, a war in Vietnam. You know, we had a, a total of 475,000 um, troops were in Vietnam. Uh, and, you know, the peace rallies were multiplying. And, you know, if you guys remember, like the 60s, phew, it was like the, the, the time of rebellion, right? Like we had a whole generation that it just wasn't uh, just wasn't taking the, um, you know, the same old, same old. Like they were just looking for something different. You know, they didn't want to be in the war. Uh, people were dying. Um, did you know? I, I did. Everybody have every the best interest in mind. You know, in, in those protests. You know, I think a lot like today. Um, you know, a lot of the information you get, and um, so you know, some people go out there for the right reasons because you know they got, they're educated and they understand the reasons why um, why you're protesting in the first place. And then you have another group of people that just kind of like cattle. You know what I mean? Like you know, you just you see the. There's one cow down the middle, and it's heading towards the opening, and you know the other, you know, fifty thousand cows follow that one, and um, they're all holding signs, and nobody understands what the hell they're talking about when they have a question. Um, they just don't even know. You know, they, the, the narrative is whatever uh, they're they're ingesting from CNN or Fox, uh, which is a shame because you know what you know it. it, it uh, ultimately, you know, it kind of brings me to um, you know a point I wanted to make today, and. Um, just, you know, and again, I know I mentioned it in 21 and I'll mention it in, in 22. Very frustrated, you know, with, with um, um, you know, and maybe maybe it's just what I'm, what maybe what I'm digesting um, on the, on the, on the media end. But um, the idea that any Americans, any of us would, would um, undermine uh, um, American lives. You know, I, I think that, you know, when we, we start doing things like that, you know, the, and, I, and I'll say it, you know, it's, um, this whole idea with Nancy Pelosi um, and the impeachment, and uh, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, it just, all of this is just, it's too much going on all at once, and it just, you, you, you try to figure out what the hell is going on, and then meanwhile, in Iran, you, 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 they're shooting missiles at passenger planes, and you've got 176 people that are dead. So, um, you know, something's gotta, we, something's gotta break here. Something, something has to change. Uh, I think we really need to stop for a minute and, and realize and prioritize what our focus is going to be because we're all over the place. Um, you know, you got you know you got 
the, the, the president sending drones over and you know blowing up you know these the uh, terrorist leaders and you get the Democrats saying that you know he shouldn't be doing that and that they're going to write legislation to minimize his you know presidential power as commander in chief to um, use the military the way he sees fit. Like this is to me these these are these are these are um, um, conversations that I I don't know about you, but I'm not used to having. Uh, you typically you know the conversations you're having about government are related to. Um, something that might be in uh, disagreement, whether it be health care, taxes, um, you know, some maybe some foreign policy, but something like this where um, you got you got passenger planes being shot out of the sky and then, you know, somehow, I mean, for goodness sake, guys, um, regardless of how you feel, somehow um, Iran blaming the United States uh, for that happening. Um, to me, um, even the idea that something like that would even be muttered um, is an absolute uh, travesty. So don't you, we, I, I don't accept it. I refuse to accept it. I refuse to allow uh, anyone else to say something like that because, um, you know, ultimately at the end of the day, um, you know, we're Americans and what we need to do is protect American lives at any cost. That's that's. There's nothing, you know, when, when we when we hear that, you know, there's a, a person or someone lost at sea, um, you know, within all possible means, we will deploy whatever it whatever whatever it takes. The, the, the money is not the object. The, the object is to save save the life, even if it's one. You you do whatever, and and you can't lose that. You you cannot lose the sight of that. That, that that is the core of what you're doing is you're saving American lives. So the idea, you know, that we, we you know what, and, I, and I, I'm and i not taking sides, but we can prove, we can prove, hold holly, without any question whatsoever, that the Salamini guy, it was responsible for American lives, right? We can all agree that the fact that he's not on the planning and planet anymore makes the world a very much better place. Agreed? I say yes. So, where is the argument? Why why are we having a conversation about it? Why why is it that there is a side that's saying that no that we shouldn't? You look, guys. You, 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 there was a, an attack on our embassy. What do you do as Americans? You allow that to happen? You can't allow that to happen because if you allow it to happen there, then it starts it it, just, it starts to happen everywhere. You know, it, it, it's it's no difference. You know, when the dog pisses on the rug, you got to stop the dog from pissing on the rug, period. I mean, no disrespect, but you, it'll happen. I get, You know, you get a puppy, the dog pisses on the rug, but you put a stop to it real quick because you don't want the dog pissing on the rug. And, and this is exactly one of those situations. But in this case, we're talking this on an epic level where you're, you're talking the cost of 176 souls. You know, people that were going home, there were Canadians, you know, a lot of, like, 50 Canadians. People that were getting on a plane, just like like everybody does every day, get on a plane and just going somewhere, going where they needed to go. And it's not already dangerous enough to fly with mechanical failure, right? Boeing. Not Now you got people, you, you, they're shooting missiles. I mean, it's, it's tragic. And then you watch the footage of it, and, and it's like, you know, here, in, 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 if you have a plane that goes down, um, like they literally quarantine, you know, a five-mile radius, and they got they got people on the ground, and they're picking up every single microscopic piece of this 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 fuselage. And you look at the footage from Iran, and it's they're scavenging through everything, and they're taking the, the belongings of the people that died. Like it's it's guys, can you can you see the the, the issue here? I mean, but, but we have to understand and get past this idea um, that we are going to we're going to somehow, you know, win votes or you're going to somehow win a vote or win a side by siding with the enemy or anyone that would endanger American lives or be cat- or, or be categorized as the leading um, uh, generating um, force of terrorism in the world. That's Iran. That, that, that's not, I'm not making that up, you know what I mean? I'm not just sitting here being angry and talking about it. What I am angry and frustrated about is that innocent people are dying 
and there's no reason for it. So, you know, we, 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 with this, our diplomatic ways and, you know, what we want to do and, you know, the president should do this and should, you know what, just, these are things that are beyond, we don't, you know what, you drive down the highway, you see a car accident. I mean, I hate to repeat myself, but you, you, you drive down the highway, you see an accident, right? You drive by the accident and immediately your, your brain is trying to figure out what took place here. How did that accident happen? But even though you don't have all the information, there are so many factors that took place. Was It, it could have been a deer. Nobody sees the deer. The deer's in the woods. The deer's gone. That could have been the cause of the accident. Could have been a dog. Could have been a, could have been a, a, a turkey. Nobody knows. But yet you automatically try to create, okay, this is what happened. We need to stop doing that. We don't have all the information. We cannot come out with a conclusion until you have all the information. And that's what's happening. We're getting information, partial information from all sides, and we don't even know. And we're already jumping to conclusions. You know, I, I, I would think by now, yeah, we're 22 episodes in, guys, that um, you pretty much know where I stand. And I would imagine you um, you are where you stand. And I think we must have some commonality. I would hope, you know, even if it's yourself, in, 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 in not great. commonality right, in that. Well, what I'm gonna do. That's exactly what I want, Bobby Kudo. Just like that, right? Yeah. See? So sure. if you're looking here, right, real quick, we want to stay right about here. If we peek out, see it? Yep. Peek out, it's not good. But we want to stay right around here. So just, that's if right. you're watching and we're talking and you don't notice that it's going up that high, then people can't hear you. All right. I can move this, right? Doesn't you can make put it noise. anywhere. You can, right. It might make a little noise, but it's totally cool, man. Don't worry All about right. it. Don't actually worry about it. So Guy Alto, that's good stuff, bro. Let's see. Here. It's my DJ stuff. What's that? The Alto? Yeah, yeah, man. Those are my speakers. Um, You know, always something decent. You know, I... Of course, if you listen to the podcast, bro, you know I love absolutely love music. So, um, <laughs> close that. And yeah, you threw me off the other day. With what? What's your favorite song? <laughs> oh yeah, right. Good Guy. stuff. Good stuff. Guy. Man, good stuff. I listen to literally everything. Like, yeah, me too. Everything. Me too. Me too. I, me too. I do too. But I can't remember anything. That's how does my. It, how does you? How do you make? How do they sound good? Sound, sound good? good to me. Yeah. Good. 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 I like everything, but I forget everything. Like you ask me, who, you know, who sings this or whatever. Yeah, that's no idea, dude. My memory's so bad now; it's horrible. You think I did drugs my whole life, or something. <laughs> right? But you didn't. I didn't. At least it would make sense if you did. Right? No, I didn't. And then all of a sudden, bro, for me, it was the. Uh, it, it, are they going to impeach him? Are they not going to impeach him? Like, what are they waiting for? All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> that's a good question, Kuro. right? <laughs> that's good stuff. Why? Why are we? Why are we spending money on this when we know in the Senate it's not going to happen because yeah. there's a majority? Right. Like, why are we wasting money? I don't know. Hi, right, brother. Oh, it is my boy. Hey, what's yeah. up? Yeah. All right. Let's see here. So there he is, holding a football. Good fam. Right. I'm still figuring. We don't know. I haven't named him yet. I don't know. We don't. He doesn't have a name. I don't, we have to figure one out. We have to figure one out. My brother. Uh, is that something Penelope should be doing? Uh, maybe. Maybe your phone on vibrate. It is. Yes. You want it on silent completely, so it doesn't even vibrate. Uh, no, it vibrates fine. You won't. We won't. We won't pick it up. All right. We won't pick it up. Actually, you know what? I gotta do my watch too. Stand by. Andrea. Uh, okay. Let's okay. See. Now we're completely shut off. Right. Uh, Seventy six guy. That was a shitty year. That's a shitty year. All right. Okay. All right. I gotta watch. Okay, so, give me the basics here, kid. All right, basics. I'm not trying to fuck up your podcast, so swear, guy. You know I you swear can, like a sailor. You can swear. You can say anything you want. <laughs> don't, no, don't say the only thing. The only thing I, I, what I do to, what I, what I try to do for myself is if I say it, I gotta own it. That's what. That's the only thing I, I say it. If <laughs> I say it, I gotta own it. Like it's mine. It, even, as bad as it is, I, it got, it's mine. So I, I listen. You know, dude, I, I, I'm just worried about like, cause I don't know your audience, so. You know, I don't know if there's 10-year-olds out here listening and, you know, the, me, when I start, because you're going to get me to start talking about a little bit. Of, yeah, I got you. You know, the gun rights, and I I'm gonna, I get a little heated. It's all right. Politics, If dude, you notice. I get heated. If you notice, and I, 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 all my podcasts, they have the explicit warning on it. I do, be, although it does restrict when you search for the mm-hmm. podcast, I think it's worth it to have the explicit because I could say whatever I want. Okay. Because we have that explicit on there. It's NC-17. Well, because you don't swear all that much on that. I don't. I don't. But so keep in mind, <laughs> but, I'm, I'm usually by myself. 
right. So all right. when you start getting into all conversations right. with people, that's where passion starts okay. to. So I mean, for me, this is this is pretty. This is pretty awesome, bro. I'm pretty you excited right over there. Yeah, yeah, I'm just getting set up. I'm just getting. You know what I mean? Because this is this is new. You're like you're like fresh. You're number one. So this is not number one. I'm not number one. Gary was number one. Gary was number one. Actually, he, he no, was. Gary wasn't even number one. Rachel was. Yeah, correct. As co-host. Yeah, it's, but officially. So wait, 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 wait. It was Rachel. Uh, AJ. AJ. Then Gary. Then Gary. So I'm fourth. But you, but you are the first um, expert on the show. Oh, expert! That you shouldn't have put down. <laughs> you don't think? <laughs> I think no. you're an expert. Well, I think you're an expert. I think there's a lot of people that would disagree with you. Are you comfortable? I am. All right, brother. So just real quick, that's what you, uh, you see what we got going on here? No. I think it's pretty nice because, I'll put it over here so you can see. What the hell? So that's it right there. That's, so it's nice because I, I personally, me too, the I'm the same the thing. the camera, dude? You're freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So uh, are the cameras just on me? No, 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 no. There's two. See? There's the other one. This is two and that one's on all me. All right, all right. And that'll, that'll change. It'll get a little brighter when I just move this over. See, it's because I... See how the, the monitor kind of brightens things up a little bit? Yeah. And then there's two, and that's you, my friend, right there. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll See? hide, I'll hide, the good thing I'll hide is behind the mic. You got Mr. Brewski behind you, and you got Mr. Listen, nowhere else Listen. are you going to go on a podcast and have Teddy Brewski in a cowboy hat <laughs> showing you his three championship rings, bro. My nah, man. All right. I, I can hide behind this mic here right now. Okay. Nobody can see my face. They're good. <laughs> so let's do this. I'm going to minimize this a little bit. So we can put this here, just so we can go up. I see Frankie's. Frankie's in the house, and then we can kind of just. Are we live now? Uh we have been. I mean, on on Facebook. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? On Facebook, but not not. We, oh, we're fantastic. not we're, we're not doing podcasts yet. We're, this is just Frankie Lobo. Let's see. Yeah, Frankie's here. Frankie's here. You need to get another screen. I well, yeah, I do. Right for like right here. You know what I'm saying for the for co-host you? for you to see who's online. Yeah, yeah, you could operate that, and you could be the you could be the one answering the questions and everything. You know what I mean? Just saying, it'd be easy. It'd be like, oh, there's Frankie. Yeah, that is a good idea. There's Frankie. See, Frankie joined. Sergio's joined. I've got to keep a couple of people on there. All right, what I want to do, bro, is utmost and fo foremost, it's a podcast. So I mean, the, the, this is just a bonus. Right, listen, if anybody wants to, but ultimately, it's did a you get did you get questions? That's my question. Uh, somebody asked me if I wanted to, if I knew how to surf. <laughs> that was that was pretty much it. That was uh, really that really? was pretty much the questions. I yeah. will answer yeah. the question. Do you know how to surf? <laughs> do not. Do not. <laughs> but you know what? We'll bring it up in the podcast. It's not, you know, it's, it's the it's the wrong <laughs> wrong season, anyways. <laughs> All right. So uh, this is this. I mean, were they in a Hawaii or something? I don't, uh, I don't know. What's right. Right. It's terrible. It's a terrible state of affairs. Why, why would I know how to surf, right? Jeez. Wow. Know. So nobody, there's really no questions here. We'll check on this every now and then, but primary, this is the uh, this is going to be the platform. But I, honestly, between you and I, bro, I think we have so much to talk about that. If, right, we, if we do this, we do this. If we don't, we don't. You, you lead, I follow. All How's right. that? I'm going to bring us in. I'll bring in the intro. I'll do my whole intro, the whole thing, and then I'll introduce you in and then once you just come in nice and strong just don't say that word expert man you're gonna have people <laughs> throwing things at you that's all right that's what we want that's how you you know what in the, the fam i'll always say it in the famous words of kim kardashian if they're talking about you it's a good thing all right. you know what i mean so let's see here so we'll park that over there we're good here we're gonna go here and in honor of you my friend we're gonna go to <laughs> <laughs> playlists uh close this out uh, all right, library. You ready, my man? I'm ready. All right, this is going to take a second. It's going to take one second. And then face, uh, um, Facebook is probably going to boot us off because I'm playing a song that they're not going to want to hear, but oh well. I'm probably going to get booted because of the copyright laws. Yeah. And then we'll have to just kind of... Uh, don't you always put music on there, though? I do, um, as long as it's educational, and then I it, within 10 seconds I, I talk over it. Yeah. I can do that, but when you're Facebook living, it the computer the algorithm picks up the music. It doesn't know what I'm going you. with it, so it typically just kind of deletes us, which is a douche. But that doesn't matter. So playlists, episode twenty three. All right, my man, you ready? I'm ready. You ready to do this? Ready to do, do this? it. Let's do right, it. All right, all right. All right. Check one two. Check one two. Give me a little bit, Steve. Check one two. That's check nice. check. Very good. Very good. All right. Uh, come here this up just a little bit more i want to be able to see both 
the tracks of us talking. Check one, two. Check, check, check. All right, that's pretty good. All right. All right, buddy, episode 23. Here we go. I'm so psyched. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's gonna be fun. Welcome, episode 23. Come all the pretty girls like of the Bobby Kudo Show. Baby, I've been looking for someone like you to save me. Not too easy to be so damn complicated. Take your time and I'll be waiting. Can I tell you a secret? There's a reason why we're playing Zach Brown Band today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Silvestri joins the show today. Welcome, buddy. Hello, hello, hello. There he is. There he is. Unless you live under a rock. I know you don't, because you got internet service. You guys will know that uh, Steve was joining the show today. So, you know, in true fashion of the Bobby Kudo show, in preparation for the show, I did my research, I shot Steve a text and said, hey buddy, <laughs> what's your favorite music? What's your favorite color? And he asked me if we were dating. I said, no, not yet. <laughs> right? <laughs> Zach Brown Band was his choice, and of course, a, a true favorite of mine as well. I love Zach Brown Band. As a matter of fact, brother, in May... Shout out to Jen and Randy. We're heading up to New Hampshire. We're going to go watch them. Really? Yeah, they're going to be at the I've, it's a Pavilion. or I've always wanted to go watch them at Fenway. That would be a cool one too, man. They're at Fenway. They, they've been at Fenway like the last three years, I think, or something like that. And I've always wanted to go, but the tickets are ridiculous. You know, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> I already know what you're going to say. I, I love the nostalgia of what you're saying. But you know what? As a Boston Red Sox uh, or previous Boston Red Sox fan, I'll tell you that. Is there <laughs> previous? A, what? Is there, a, is there a such thing as a comfortable seat at Fenway, bro? No. No. Right? Like, I, I, well, I get it. Well, Zach. there are. There are. But I definitely <laughs> yeah, can't yeah. afford those. You yeah. know what? I'll tell you a quick story. Joe Costa, our friend, Joe yeah. Costa, both of us, we work with Joe. Uh, Joe is part of the, the Comcast uh, Brotherhood. <laughs> brotherhood. <laughs> anyway, so Joe... Um, when we used to work together, he ended up doing a um, some type of raffle for the Jimmy Fund. And doing the raffle, part of the prize was you won a brick and you, you could get tickets to the Green Monster. So he, he did. He tried it and he won it. And he, if you ask him about it, he'll tell you the story. He got a brick off the, off the Green Monster and he got tickets to sit uh, for a game. Well, turns out he ended up being entered into another raffle to win <laughs> another set of tickets to the Green Monster. Well, of course, he wins them. They're a little expensive. And he's like, bro, I kind of already did it. I already went. If you want them, dude, who says no to Green Monster uh, tickets? Yeah. So I, I yeah. go ahead and I, I grab the tickets. I got to sit in the Green Monster seats. Bro, it rained that day. Of course it did. And so we walk up and there's a dude over there with a towel, bro, weapon on seats. Yeah, swear to God. Wiped out. <laughs> I actually looked at him. I said, this is how the other half lives? Because I'd be sitting in a pile of sewage if I was down on my yeah. third base. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right? I, right? Won, I won Red Sox tickets from Comcast one time. Did you? Like good, good seats? Or? Arlene was, um, I don't know, they had some raffle for something. And uh, I actually, dude, I've never won anything in my life. I finally, I won these tickets and I took my wife to a great night in Boston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncomfortable yeah, 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 seats, but yeah, yeah, yeah. great night in Where'd Boston. Where'd you guys end up sitting? Um, right field. Like. Almost by the by the the foul pole. I um, this crazy dude used to live up, <laughs> telling stories. This crazy dude used to live next to me. I, I won't mention his name because he might be listening. And the next thing you know, I got headlights in my driveway. Well, you just called him a crazy <laughs> dude. So you're already gonna have. I problems. get a phone call. He's like, "Hey, I got tickets. Third base. Uh, you know, my sister. She works at the hospital. Blah blah blah. She got. I'm like, yeah, I'll take them. Four tickets. I take my family. They were Stephen King. Uh, Stephen King, the author. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were his seats. I'm looking around, people looking at us like, who the hell is this dude sitting in Stephen King's seats? Yeah, I didn't know that. Imagine that. How the hell did she get Stephen King's seats? Uh, somehow, somebody knows somebody, Boston's Children's Hospital, and yada, yada, yada. He, gotcha, he gotcha. donated them or like raffled them or gave them as a benefit for some sort. She won them, couldn't go. Somehow, they ended up on my lap, and I'm sitting in Stephen King's seat. And everybody's staring at you like you're right? a weirdo. Right, right. Like, of course, you're on your best Call behavior. Call me Usher. Excuse me, but, sir. I will tell you, though, it's funny <laughs> you mention that. Um, we, we were at, where I was sitting, it must have been, you know when you 
you, you, you got a nice place, right? A beautiful house, beautiful neighborhood, and your neighbor's a douchebag, right? It was kind of like that. Like, I had really great seats. We had, like, third base seats. And the people that were sitting on it, in true Boston fashion, sorry, guys, in true Boston fashion, <laughs> dude, the most inappropriate comments. Like, I got my wife, my daughter, and my son. Like, well, my son had to be, Steve, if he was 10, like, your daughter's age. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I got my daughter. She's probably 13, 14 years old. And then my wife, you know, and my wife and I have bookends on this and they're douchebagging this and douchebag oh, like all over the place. And I'm like, just, it kind of ruins everything. Yeah, you welcome know what I mean? to Boston. Right? Like, dude, you got to yeah. be that obnoxious, bro. Do you, like, you yeah. see, you know what? Not that I don't want to ruin, I, I don't want to be that guy and ruin your night because I know you're having a good time and you had like, you know, 13 beers. I get that. And you're trying to sneak them in before the seventh inning. You know what I mean? Hey, let me go get four beers before yeah, you know yeah, seventh yeah. inning stretch. I get that, but man, I look to the right, look to the left, man, man. Just just a little common courtesy for nah, the guy who's bringing his that's family. Gone. You know what I mean? That's gone, Bobby. Yeah, it is, bro. In it the is. world, it's gone. Hey, you know what? I went to Rachel and I, New York. We went to go watch the Yankees. Uh, the Red Sox played the Yankees. Turns out Derek Lowe threw. It was the most horrible game he ever pitched in his life, and we were ridiculed uh, all the way out. Although I will tell you. <laughs> Uh, they were very respectful. People in New York, like I, they, they are more respectful yes, than, than people are I'm led to believe. You, bro, they yes. were very respectful, man. They were, you know, unlike what? Boston. Fans. Yeah, yes, yes. Granted, I will tell you. Granted that um, it was it was hot. Like it was a lot of it. There was a lot of it, but it was soft. There was never an f bomb. There was never. Yeah, yeah. It was you know like they were just and of course Derek Lowe and that was right after if you remember. Um, when Pedro Martinez said that the Yankees were my daddy, do you remember that? Do you remember when he? I do. That was right out. It was that was it was right in that pool of that time. Yeah. The A Rod era, like it was. Yeah. It, you knew. You know what? That's what made baseball great was the rivalry, of course, with with New York and. Yeah. Yeah. Even was, that's dead. Have you noticed it that? It is, bro. What's What's the point? What's it, the point of watching? Hey, I can be honest with you. This past season, I me and I'll my tell wife. You, you're going to be honest with me, and you're going to be honest with our fans. Well, all right, yeah, yeah, but um, me and my wife used to watch the Red Sox. All, me too. All the dude, I I can tell you, I probably this last season, mm. I probably watched three right. games. Who's got time, three, bro? dude? Three games. Who's tops. got time? At, well, I don't have the time, yeah. and even if I did, yeah, I would find something else to do. I'm telling you, look, you know what? Even just... the idea with price, like if you go, let's yeah. go back to let's go back to spring. If you go, gee, what episode was it? Um, for better or for worse, with Rachel, the episode with Rachel. I actually go on a rant. About... How do you remember all this? Because <laughs> I live it, bro. I live it, right? All right. All right. But I, I'm ta- I was talking about the Red Sox. I was talking about Alex Cora. I was talking about the freak fluke uh, World yeah. Series. Like, if you guys go, listen, you're gonna have to go back. You have to go yeah. listen. Uh, and I actually call it out, and, and, and Rachel and I were just talking about it the day, and she goes, you know what, as crazy as you are sometimes, and I look at you and I think you're crazy. Sometimes. She goes, <laughs> it actually, some of it actually comes to fruition. Like, yeah. I, the idea, like, who knew that he was that mastermind that was going to create a way to cheat? Like, right? Like, dude. And and this is, so I haven't really been following yeah, uh, besides Boston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But apparently this is like a widespread yes. thing. He did it. He did it in Houston, right? And as a matter of fact, if, you, if, you, if you're watching any of the media, social media end of it, um, you see Altuve and it was right after he cracks a uh, walk-off home run and he's walking towards home plate, or, or should say like kind of jogging and everybody comes onto the field and he grabs his shirt like this and he starts shaking his, his finger no, and yeah, you yeah, can yeah. see his lips, and he's telling him, don't rip off my shirt, because if you rip off my shirt, people are going to see that I'm wearing a wire. <laughs> because what they were doing was he had a battery, they were using a battery-powered transmitter, and if it was going to be an off-speed or a fast pitch, you hit the button, you'd feel the little buzz on your shoulder. If you go back, it's creepy, because if you go wow. back and you watch it, I told my family, I said, I don't know what Major League Baseball is doing, I said, I believe they're caulking the balls. I actually said it. I said, yo, they're caulking the balls because there is absolutely no way that these people, these guys are hitting home runs like this. Because we're talking Barry Bonds, Mark McGuire, yeah, Sammy yeah, Sosa yeah. days, like home run after home run after home run. How yeah. are these guys hitting home runs like this? Well, they were all, they were all. Yeah, um, juicing it up. They were all juicing yeah, it anyways. Yeah, PEDs, man. They were just shooting that shit right up. I mean, they so were, that was one yeah, aspect. Yeah. But now, was this, this one, this, this one go was, back that far? This was, no, no, this is recent, and Alex Cora orchestrated, like, they were banging on barrels. Like, if you go back and listen, you can hear him banging on the barrel, telling the, the because they know they know the pitch. They know, you know, you, yeah. you, can, you can watch, you can watch any major sporting, like, a uh, uh, baseball game, and you can see the catcher. You see yeah. him doing the, yeah, absolutely. and they were stealing signs, and that's how they were doing it. The Red Sox won. They had the most wins. I believe it was 109 wins. 
It was the most in, in franchise history. And yeah, that was well, Alex Cora got there and cheated. Well. Right? Like, you know what? And and I will tell you, and this is kind of, you, you, and this is where you're going to relate with the story is, Steve, is, is I could not, once I heard that he wasn't going to the White House, this was right around Puerto Rico. Yeah. Yeah. This is right around Listen. this is right around Puerto Rico when Puerto Rico had that devastating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And then and so so and I, I again, Where we didn't send funds. We, oh, but right, yeah, but wait, but we did. Yes, yes. And yes, then yeah, yeah. and then the Puerto Rican mayor he took it all. Took it all. Dude, how douchey do you have to but, be? But but Trump is the problem. Yeah. How douchey do you so, have to be? Yeah. That's Listen, unbelievable. I said that yeah. I, I I you know, Listen, like, it wasn't just him. I mean, who else was it that that um was another team too. So I'm telling you, my memory's gone. Oh, no, don't, we, we can go on here for a while. Dude, like you know what? Dude. We can even go to Tim Thomas and, and the Boston Bruins. The fact that he didn't go. I mean, I, and that was Obama. And, and again, you know, it, my argument has always been this, Steve. It's the same if thing. you have yeah. the opportunity to, to 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 have the ear of the most powerful man in the yes. world, why would you not? Regardless of how you feel, why would you not take that opportunity? Uh, listen, it's not. As far as I'm concerned, it's not. Uh, listen, I wasn't an Obama supporter, right? No, clearly, no, no, no. clearly, yep. I was not. But if I was on a sporting team that just won, you know, the national title, let's say, right, and I had the opportunity to go to the White House, I don't care who it was. I don't care if it was Obama or if it was Trump or Reagan. Right. I, I don't care. Right. It's not about the person in the office at that point. It is about the office itself. Agreed. Right. Still, my president. At, listen, you like it or not, that it, that's right. Right, that's just and it's, that's it works both ways. And, and this is the thing, you know, and that, that's the, the price you pay for living in a democracy. Absolutely, like your team isn't always going to win. Like just, 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 just the way it is. Like yeah. you have to accept the fact of, you know, the majority rules. If you don't like it, then maybe you don't belong here. Like it's just it that change, simple. change right? people's like, minds, bro. If you go to work every day and you're absolutely huh? miserable with your life, why the hell are you doing it? Why? I mean, Dude, seriously. Why, why would you ask me that? <laughs> well, in, in all seriousness, like, if it got to a point, bro, like, look, I'm saying people are actually going out of their way, like, like, yeah. Antifa, like, these people are going out of their way to physically hurt other people. Like, it's beyond. Well, so, me. so, I don't know if you want to come back to this. No, go ahead. Come on. Not, we can do We can listen, go. Anyway, to, you know what's beautiful? You're bringing is? up Antifa, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. it's funny because I don't you, have you, uh, are you informed about what's going on in Virginia? Okay, I'm so glad you brought that up because, as a matter of fact, that was one of the topics. That was one of the things I wanted to talk about because that's a rally. Just in case you don't know, and I'll just kind of I'll bring you in, Absolutely. and you can. Absolutely. I'm sure you are the uh, you you oh, you've got much more information about okay. this All right. than I do. Um, <laughs> and on Monday, right? I believe this is on Monday. Monday yep. uh, Virginia is is set is, is is they are going to pass legislation that would restrict your Second Amendment no. rights. No, no. Okay. So, okay. So, let's start at the beginning. Okay. Okay. Because I know they want to come get your gun. And if you don't, oh, absolutely. They, they're going to come that, arrest you. Like, it's ab- something based ab- on... All right, well, ahead, absolutely. So, yep. Th- yep. this is what's going on in Virginia as of right now. So, uh, back in November, Bloomberg spent about... So, the old Mayor Bloomberg from yeah, New York City uh, running uh, for yeah. president. Yep. yep, yep. No shot in hell. 4%. Uh, listen, yeah, he four percent. You know what's going to end up happening with that is he's going to turn independent and he's going to steal votes from both sides and screw right. up the whole election. Yeah, everything gets screwed. That's up. exactly what's going to happen. But so he spent the I I forget the exact number. It was something like close to two million dollars, and he basically bought Virginia mm. for the Democratic Party. Believe it. So it it, it they it, they predominantly voted democratic right so the democrats got in they they started i believe january 7th months before they even got into office they were pre-filing bills all right to be heard so before they're even in yeah office, before they're so the, so yeah they're, so they're, the chicken before the egg all right, day listen, right, right so they're right. pre-filing bills yeah. so they they pre-filed a red flag bill yeah they pre-filed an assault weapons ban in virginia they pre-filed a high cap mag um Bill, yeah, which yep. I, I don't even know what a high capacity magazine is. Right. Possibly. Well, that would be like. In, in, so, if in case you don't know, for the layman's <laughs> in Massachusetts, you cannot have a magazine with more than ten rounds. Am I am I correct? Correct. Anything yes. over ten rounds, you it's Ill, unless it's, unless it's, it's pre banned, right? Pre banned. Otherwise, completely illegal. You can't have it. Correct. And so, like, if I was to ask you not to take you off track, but if I was to ask you the stupid question, like, hey, how can I tell if it's pre banned or not? What would you say to me? 
Well, well, you got a Glock, right? And and yeah, you well, got a Mac. there are there are different generations, just like there are different generations of Glocks. There are different generations of the Mac. And you can tell by looking, just looking. Absolutely. At it. And you can tell absolutely the head. notch in the back, the met the, yeah. the full metal lining. The yeah. notch in the back is okay. different. The originals yeah. were round. The second gens were squarish. Some were taller. Some. Were... What's the penalty? So 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 if I go online, just, I'm just saying this. This is just a big belief. I know I can't, but I, I'm going to go online yeah. and I order myself a large capacity magazine for my. Well, they won't, they won't ship it to my to mass. Yeah, I'm just saying. Right, it, so you it, go to New Hampshire and you it, buy I'm one, in New you bring Hampshire, it over. Yep, and I, okay. I bring it home, right? But then I come, I come to Massachusetts and I get and, and I get pulled over, right? And yep. a police officer and I tell the officer, you know, I got I'm carrying blah blah blah, and he takes my firearm, he Correct. takes it, and he realizes that I have. What's the penalty? Does he take my uh, Does he take my gun? Do I absolutely. lose my license? Like you, so you you could you're gonna forfeit the gun. Um, you're gonna lose your license to carry because this is the communist state of Massachusetts. Um, you, I, I believe, I see, I'm not exactly sure on the exact amounts, but it, it's something like a $10,000 fine and a possibility Jeez. of up to 10 years in jail. And, we're talking, I believe. and this is, I could have, a, I could have a 12 hour magazine, right? Is that, do they make a 12 hour magazine? Is it, was it 10, I'm 12, not sure for or, the Ruga. I, all right, let's say, every, let's say, let's say the Glock. Let's just say the Glock. The let's Glock's the like the Glock 19 is, a, it, 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 standard capacity is 15 rounds. That's 15, what right. they are. That's standard. That is what they are made right. for. Right, that right, that right, was right. the whole selling point of that gun yeah. to the market, for, for the police market, sure, more sure, than sure, anything right, else, was right, that right. they were a 9 millimeter yeah. double stack mag that can hold 15 rounds. So 15 plus 1 yeah, in the yeah, chamber yeah. gave police uh, and, and civilians, I mean, not just police, but higher capacities to handle their whatever so so real quick again i don't want to yeah. get too far because i want to get back to virginia real quick but so I, I don't what i what i have a trouble what i have trouble understanding steve is how that helps or protects anyone like i just i'm not sure between the difference in 10 bullets or 15 bullets and other this year fact if i needed those extra five again i am one of the believer well because they're, they're i'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have absolutely. it. absolutely right? but right? if you so if you ask um your attorney general a tyrant um maura healy <laughs> what she's going to tell you is that the, the, once you go through those 10 rounds, the the person who's doing this mass shooting, let's yeah, yeah, say, yeah, or yeah, whatever, yeah. right? Or, or how about a grizzly bear? How about if a grizzly bear? Because well, I could probably put then, I could probably put 10 rounds of 9 millimeter bullets in a grizzly bear, and the grizzly bear would probably still come at me. Would oh, you agree? Guaranteed. Uh, so I could use those extra five bullets, yeah. right? If I'm running for Absolutely. it, doesn't have to be a person, right? I could be running from a grizzly bear. Absolutely. But her, her whole stance is that, you know, once you go through those 10 rounds, now you have to reload. So the criminal would have to reload. So that's going to give somebody the opportunity to do, I don't know, because reloading takes an exorbitant amount of time. You know what I mean? Uh, Two seconds. You know what? I'm going to guess, brother. I, you know, I you happen know. to know that you are, you are very, very astute in firearms. I know that you are technically savvy. You know how to fire. Like you are, you technically, you are, you know, if I knew somebody who was technical in that, I would say you. Me, on the other hand, I, I, I have my license to carry. I can carry. But if I would, I'm, I'm the guy that needs the 11th bullet. Because if I'm, I'm shooting, and unless you shoot, you wouldn't know this. Because if you watch movies, you know, you can yeah. shoot, like, you know, one bullet, the guy's, yeah. like, cutting the rope. Like, oh, yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. I could try as yeah. hard as I want, yeah. brother, and I, I should try to shoot a target, you know, at maybe, you know, not even 30 yards, maybe yeah. 20 yards. And it's very, very difficult to hit something, let's say, the size of a trash can lid, right? right. Never mind a moving object. Like, I always tell my kids, listen, God forbid, and my wife, God forbid, <laughs> you guys are ever in a situation where you hear gunshots, zigzag. I always tell them, don't that's run a, straight, right? That's absolutely a, station, right? a stationary target is exactly. A, is and a if great you're running target, in a straight yeah. line, you're technically a stationary object because you're right. Because so I tell them zigzag, and I, that's look, guys. You know, PSA for everybody. Yeah. If God forbid you're ever in a situation where you hit gunshots, zigzag, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> that's zigzag. So listen, real listen. quick. Let's get back. Let's get back to to Virginia real quick because this is yeah. really really important. Because I think well, I just want I just want to say one thing. Oh, ahead, go, like, go, you go, just go, brought go. up the movies, right? I did. So, I did. I did. That's listen. And that's what everybody thinks, like what I see in movies. Like yeah. just like a silencer, right? Yep. It's not yep. a silencer. No, you're right, right. It's a suppressor. Right. Yes. There's a difference. Yes. It doesn't make it silent. No. No. It, it and that's what well, but that we call it a silencer and people go Yes. Well now yes. it's like it's, and they, it's yeah. whispering. Yeah, 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 you know right, what I mean? Right. Like and yeah, that's right, not how it right, works. Right, right. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know and again, I mean? and but you know what? And I always go back to saying it. 
if you if you if you raise a kid right and yeah. you tell them a fork is a spoon and a spoon is a fork, yeah, you could argue them all day long. They're gonna Absolutely. right, and that's this uh, is exactly uh, that situation. And that's what's right, what's going on in this country is not just with guns, but with everything. Yeah, is the brainwashing of our children. Do you um do you follow Prager? You by any chance? Do you? I don't follow them. Yeah. I, I watch their stuff once in a while. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so I, I follow Ben Shapiro, right? Okay. Yep. The yep. big Prager U yep. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Mike, what, what's the other guy's name there from um, The Daily Wire? Oh, um, it's not going to come to me. Yeah. It's like, it's, you know what? We'll, 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 we'll him edit too. that in. Yeah, 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 and like, yeah, right, I, I got a, yeah, I got a yeah. bunch of guys yep. I follow, not yep. necessarily yep. Prager U, yeah, 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 yeah. but I, I, I watch a lot of their, their clips, right? Their, their clips. Yeah, yeah, I do the same thing. And you know what? And there was one that, um, I, you know what? I, I, I got to remember his name because he's fantastic. And he, I, I forgive me because I watch all his videos. But he actually goes to college campuses and he acts he, and he asks a lot of the students like just regular basic questions. And some yeah. of the questions were, "What's the difference between a semi-automatic weapon and an automatic weapon?" And people had no idea. They have no idea. They had no idea. They have. Listen, there are. <laughs> so real quick, what 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 you know? Se- what semi-automatic weapon is what? Okay, a semi-automatic weapon is a wep- is, is is a gun yep. where you pull the trigger once. Yep. And it shoots one, one bullet. bullet. Okay. Okay. You let go of the trigger, you pull the trigger again, it shoots another, another bullet. bullet. Right. Let go of the trigger, pull the trigger, okay. another bullet. Right. Okay. Right. An right. automatic weapon, you pull the trigger and it just goes off it off. goes. Off it goes. Off it goes. So as long the, as you're holding that trigger and it has ammo, it's and, gonna go. And the only way around that was what they've outlawed now, which is the the, the bump stock, right? The, the the actual you can no longer have one, correct? Correct. Which was correct. It would it would give the it would give the recoil of the firearm the The re- recoil would actually work the trigger. The so trigger. it would it would mimic an automatic, automatic weapon, right, right, right. But right. it honestly, yeah. Worst invention in the world. <laughs> But it was know, hor- it was horrible. And I, I can imagine because I can't even like I, again right. going back to being like if I'm aiming at right. something or if I'm trying to shoot something if if it's bouncing off my shoulder I mean all I'm doing is just spraying bullets and right and I mean that's, that's only going to work and I mean forgive me for saying it out loud that's only going to work at a James Aldean concert like you're not gonna if you're trying to hit a specific target right. unless you're... unless you are shooting at like like you said a, right. Jason, a, a right. crowd right. of people like this, the Las Vegas well, event is what I'm that's referring basically to basically what an automatic right. weapon right. is right, right. I mean, let, let's let's be honest an automatic weapon is a military weapon yes i understand a lot of people are gonna get mad at me because yeah. we have the right i i believe we do have the right to own them sure, sure even though we sure, can't sure i think we should be able to own them but because you, you, it's a free country and you can do that in texas right in texas uh, well can, in certain places in the country you, you can, can in other places you can't here technically in massachusetts you can you just have to obtain a green card they call it a green card it's a, it's it's a license to carry fully like to have fully automatic weapons Good luck getting one, right? But they do exist. I've seen them, you know. And but th- there, it is. It's a weapon of war. Think about this: you're on a battlefield, right? Yep. yep. Bunch of guys coming at you. You're just gonna spray and pray. Right. That's what those weapons right. are made right. for. That's what they're designed for, right? right. Civilians don't own those. <laughs> the, the majority right. don't own those. But see, but you know, I, I, I and, and you know, I know I can already hear people saying it. Well, then why would you even want one anyway? And I will, and I would rebuttal that and saying like, for me personally. I enjoy the shoot, bro. Okay. I like so going to the range. For those, and, so for those people, right? I have this question: Why do you need to? Own, why would you want? Why would anybody want to own a Corvette? Right. I know. I, I, Spe- I, hey, I just came down yep. one forty. Yep. Speed limit sixty five. Yep. 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 Why yeah, do you need we, a car that can goes, do two hundred? Yes, exactly. No, I hear you. Right. Because you, because you, it's nice to do it once in a while. And if you need to go a little faster, you want to go a little faster. Because you, it's, that's not even the point. Yeah. It's because. You have the right to do it. Yeah, it's this is supposed to be a free country, right? No, I agree. I agree. I agree. And as long as you are harming nobody else, I don't understand. I guess the part, the tough part for me is either you can or you can't. Like for example, if I if I if the the, the DMV issues me a driver's license, they're giving me the the right to drive a vehicle. Correct. Like. So I can drive a vehicle. Like, it doesn't say that, hey, listen, you could drive, you can only take right-hand turns, and uh, you can down the road, right. you can only take left-hand turns, and you can only stop right. at a red light. Like, there's none of that. Like, it's just, you can, so why wouldn't it be the same way? If I am, and again, I'll go back, because this is very important. If I am psychologically fit to, uh, to, 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 to have a license to carry, which I think, honestly, and, and, and I hope you agree, 
is I think that's important. I think being psychologically Ab- fit. And, absolutely. Right? And, and I think anybody, and, and, I, and I know I mentioned it in the previous podcast and I've said it before. Like, I think if you are a responsible gun owner, somebody who has a gun and has a license to carry, you don't mind knowing that the guy on the side of you is psychologically fit and sound to have that firearm because you Absolutely. know the dangers, bro. Nobody knows the dangers more than you do. I mean, you're a certified NRA instructor. Let's get it out there. Let's just yes. say it. So you know, and and I will tell you, everyone, um, if, if you guys are looking, I mean, you still you still do the yeah. You still yeah. So yeah. I mean, let's throw it out there right now. I mean, f- when I went for my license to carry, you were the catalyst for that. You yes, you were the instructor. I did, I got my safety my safety certificate from you. Uh, and I took that with me, and now I have my license to carry, which was an amazing course. Which, even in the case, and guys, and I'll tell you, my family participated. I, mean, I was, I yes. thank you, Steve, for that. My whole family participated in that because, to me, I always felt, uh, and I know you'll agree, if you're gonna have these things in your home, then everybody should know how to use them. Like, Absolutely, right? I mean, like take take the mystery out of it. Like, there is no reason that, why. That's that's right? that's it right there. Right? Take the mystery out of it, right? and your kids will not be. Curious. They don't care, right? If you, you take, take them shit. to the range and you shoot, shoot. with them. Shoot. They will not. Right. They they'll know. My right. listen, my kids all know. Yep. My, yep. my yep. kids are yep. all grown up now. They have yep. their own. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It's it's, right. it's right. every one of my kids yep. growing up had their own gun. Everybody had their own right. rifle. No mystery. They had, no. And it, you know what? They realize it's fun. You can be safe. You can be responsible. Absolutely. There's so many things that go with it, but I think, you know, that there is there is there is a narrative out there, uh, and I think people are using it. And trying to scare people into thinking a certain and feeling a certain way. You could take any of these tragedies, and you can try to point them at a direction and say, you know, guns are dangerous. Guns are dangerous. You know what? Guns are dangerous, just like anything else is dangerous. Listen, and, and, cars and, are dangerous. And, knives yeah, are dangerous. Yeah, and I hate to like repeat, like, like I hate to sound so like just so lame about it, but ultimately yeah. at the end of the day, if it's you, a tool, yeah, yeah, it's a tool, man. And if you just allow people to to be responsible with these things, um. I, you know what? The other side of that, bro. Do you think that the NRA wants that to happen? Because, quite honestly, like I, I, I so I'm a member NRA. I've been a member. I just I did I'm sorry, my. I'm sorry to hear that. I did my five year plan. I yeah, I, signed, I'm, I'm, I I signed up for my life membership. Yeah, and yeah. you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. I've I've been very disappointed with the NRA's uh, lack of. You know, a lot of things have come out in the, and about the NRA in the yeah. past year that many of the members they did need not them, know. Right? About. They need them. Like you need a good guy, a good guy and a bad guy, right? Like, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think that the Republicans help the NRA as much as the Democrats do, because without the Democrats, uh, hey, you don't need the NRA, listen, right? That's what I'm saying. Listen, like, right? The, the number one gun salesman a few years back was Obama. Uh, he yeah. was like literally yeah. crowned the yes, number. Yes, because he was because <laughs> people were afraid, right? Because they kept hey, saying they, they were gonna ban, they were gonna ban, they were gonna ban people. Yeah, right. People and were so buying like, them. She ought to buy my AR-15, right? Yeah. I got friends that have two or three of them because yeah. they were afraid that they were gonna get banned. It's crazy. It's crazy. And then and then Fast and Furious. Wow. Right. Whatever. I mean, that was about? didn't happen. Nothing Ooh, happened. Oh boy, that what was some crazy shit. And you know what? And even now, like I think. Um, and I mentioned it in the last podcast. If you, I don't know if you had a chance to listen to Joe Rogan. I mean, I again, I, I should never try to like. So I'm um, I'm on the fence about Joe Rogan. Yeah, you know I don't listen to all of them either. I, uh, yeah, no, listen, me too. Listen, me too good. I I love Joe Rogan. Yep, I love it. So I, I I don't know if you know this, but I shoot archery too. Right, I love I, I'm yep. a compound bow. Yes, I yes. love it. Yep, love it, love it. He's a big archery guy, right? So he's with John Dudley, who's a big archery guy. Cameron Haynes, who's a big archery guy. Big hunters and all that stuff, right? And he's really good friends with them, and he's into the archery thing. Yep. And I will say that Joe Rogan um, at least listens to both sides yep. of every story. But before... he, always, he always sounds stoned. He's always stoned. Well, that's... Listen. And that's okay. You know, if that's his that's thing. That's your thing. That's but, your but, thing, but, right? like, when I listen to him, it's always kind of like, yeah... Right. It, de- it depends on who's on. Right. You what? won't. You won't catch him stoned if John Dudley's on there. <sighs> Good, because John Dudley wants to have a serious conversation. Yeah, I would imagine so. Right. But you would want that. The thing with Joe Rogan is like he'll be like, yeah, I don't. I, like he owns guns, so he's like, yeah, I don't. I don't see a problem with owning guns. Yeah. But why do you need an AR-15? <sighs> and I'm like, dude, going, yeah. really? Yeah, and I'm like, like, dude. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Really? Bro. Like, yeah, don't go there. Just don't like, go why? there. Like, it's just you, a gun's why? a gun. Just let it be. Is, is right? it because you don't understand yeah. the AR-15? Yeah. yeah, right, right. 
right. like everywhere. Right. AR-15, right. assault rifle 15. No, yeah. Yeah. that's not what right. it means. Right. AR stands for Armalite rifle. I like that. I didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You AR just... stand. That's a company that invented yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Armalite, right? Or, or makes it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Armalite rifle 15. The model number. There that is go. what it there stands for. But again, and, and and I just in case you don't know, an AR-15 is is a, is a. a, a it's very popular because you can modify it in many, many ways. Yes. Am I right? That like yes. that's really and it comes the in many of, calibers. Yeah, you could do whatever. And it's right. Absolutely. Like so, if you had to like think of a, of a, of the the Swiss Army knife of firearms, right? <laughs> they call it the 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 Barbie for men. There you go. No, <laughs> no, I would. <laughs> I like that. But would you say that that's like in comparison to like your Rock Island, like your 1911? Would you say that that's what do you? What would you rather? Like, is it two different? Look, would you rather shoot a 1911? Would you rather shoot the AR? Like, what is what, oh, like? True. No, 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 no. Just share the passions with me. True. Like, obviously, two, two completely different. Absolutely. I get it. Absolutely, two completely different. Tell, share those passions with me because I know which that one that, would I rather shoot. Is that my? Is that the question? Yeah, right. Yeah. I'll tell you what. The AR-15 all day long. All day long. Let me fine, tell you right. a quick story. So my wife. Okay, my wife is licensed. She has her own gun. Yep. We go shooting. Probably not as much as we should. Right. But right. we go shooting. She gets on me sometimes about that. But you ask my wife, out of all the guns that I own, okay, yep. what gun is her favorite? And she'll put that AR-15 in her hands every time. My, my favorite? My Ruga 1022. I swear to God, bro, I love shooting that thing. Dude, then you would love the one. I just, I, I, I built right. one. I right. built one from the ground up. Uh, you would love it. Yeah. And I've seen some of the modifications, but it's so much yeah. fun to shoot one. The ammunition's dirt cheap. Like, yeah. you buy a box of twenty two. I mean, like, really, yeah, right? Well, I see all and, day. All day. And then the accuracy of it, and it's just yeah. fun. Like, I, you know, in the backyard, we can shoot. I set yeah. up some saw blades in the backyard. I number them. AJ and I will go out on the deck. We you know, we'll call yeah. out numbers, and we'll shoot the targets. And, you know, I like, me personally, I like an active target. I like that you hear it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't like that, paper. Yeah, I don't like, yeah, yeah, I don't like I got, paper. I go look in the back of my truck right now. There's steel targets yeah. with stands yeah, and everything yeah, yeah, yeah. ready to go. Ready to go. See, I, 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 I like active. I like to hear it. I like knowing yeah. that I'm hitting something. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. You know, for me, but again, just kind of back to what you're saying. Like, you know, you pick these guns, and, I, you know, I got the Ruger. I got the SR9C. But that 1022, man, what's so much fun to shoot, man. Yeah. It is just so much well, fun. So, like getting back to the AI-15. Yep, yep, yep. So I literally, I just watched, it's funny, I was going through, I think it was, I don't know if it was Amazon Prime video hmm. or if it was Netflix. I was going through one of them. I'm pretty sure it was Amazon. And I saw this thing. It was a show. It was called like Right to Bear Arms or or Bear Your Arm or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, this I, is on Netflix? I, I, I think it was Amazon Prime. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Pick your pick. It was a show about this guy who is a filmmaker, just moved from California to like Idaho or Wisconsin or somewhere out there, right? And all his neighbors have guns. Yeah. And he doesn't necessarily not like guns. Yeah. yeah. He's just not familiar with them. And um, neither is his wife. But he goes away a lot. And they have a lot of land. They have a coyote problem. They have all these issues. So he sets about on this journey mm. to learn about guns and to pick out a gun for himself and a gun for his wife and yeah. they go through this whole thing long story short they shot a hundred guns yep his wife picked the ar-15 no kidding you know why because she picked it up it was light yep no recoil right and she was accurate accurate with it. With she it. couldn't hit anything with, with anything else right Right. You know, most people will pick a shotgun, right? Because, I mean, if you have a shotgun. Yeah. She it, shot the right, shotgun. It knocked her on her ass. Knocked on her ass. See, that's where you get the and recoil. So you're trying to pick, like, a good balanced yeah. firearm. Because otherwise, you, uh, you're just pointing a metal gun at somebody. Absolutely. Like, if you can't shoot the thing. Well, like, you'd be the like hell? Biden and just shoot it off your back porch. There and you go. Good to go. Right. Just be done. That guy's sweat a moron. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyways. we could. That's a whole so, other episode. Get, you're going to have to come back and yeah, talk about him. You know what I mean? Go ahead. So let's get back to Virginia. Yeah. So let's circle back. Let's go all the way back. Yeah. Circle back. This this could be a long night. I know, right? So, uh, <laughs> um, so they voted in all these Democrats. Yes. I keep clapping. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's um, all right. That's they right. um, they voted in all these Democrats. They pre-filed all these bills, all yep. these different things. So now, they get into office. January seventh, yeah. they're they're sworn in. Yeah. Whatever. No, mind you, there are Democrats like hiding. Like there are people that are in safe houses, right? Like they are they are afraid for their lives. Absolutely. There are people afraid for their well, lives. I did. I won't lie to you. I did a little research and did the. I did do. The reading on it, and they were saying that there were some 
some of the people that represent like they've been getting death threats that on on Monday they well are... but see that's that's the problem is the death threats aren't coming from the, right. the, the pro gun people right those death threats are coming from militia groups White like supremacy. far far right. right. Right, um, uh, militia groups. Yeah, that have yeah. some have already been arrested by right. the FBI. Right, because they were gonna do, they were doing something with fence. Right, they were gonna do some fences. They were right. They well, was... they, let's get hold on. Hold on. <laughs> all right, all right. Don't See, jump ahead. I'm telling you, there's some crazy shit going it, on, it, man. Like, listen, seriously, hey, right. The Hong whole Kong. country, the whole country needs to be watching this right now, yep. because what happens in Virginia is gonna determine what's gonna happen throughout this nation. Right. And that's that's not even a joke. And if you don't believe it, the perfect example of that is legalizing marijuana in Massachusetts. Because if you noticed, yeah. once it happened, it became okay for everybody to legalize marijuana. Like yeah. we was, but go ahead, go ahead, go back, go, yeah. ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, what January? Uh, yeah, January twentieth is going to be Monday is going to be. It's supposed to be. Uh, uh, crap! What are they calling it? Uh, not rally day. Um, Protest. No, they're act- it's actually made for constituents to be able to go into the state house and talk to their representatives and set lobby day. Oh, lobby day. Okay, All that's right. what that it makes is. Sense. That makes that sense. is exactly what it started okay. out okay. as. Okay. All right. All so, right. so that's the event in, Monday. That's in, why the, that's why this is relevant for Monday that, because it's absolutely. lobby. All right. Okay. Monday All right. is lobby day. Okay. And so right. what it is basically is, up until a week ago, mm. it was perfectly legal for you to be armed on state ground properties. Ah, I did read that. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. As soon as the Democrats got in there. Effective immediately. Effective immediately. Yep. They passed a law that said that you cannot you cannot carry within the state house. Okay? So that was one thing. But you could still carry on the grounds. Right. Right. Okay. So now there's this big rally going to happen. Well, the governor. Yeah. The dipshit. Communist. <laughs> I got a lot of names for this guy. <laughs> he declares a state of emergency. Okay. Because of all because of all the the, Be, the noise. Because of everybody saying that they're going to rally the state house. Right, right. right so now right, he's right, shitting his pants. Right, right, right. So he declares a state of emergency starting I believe tomorrow afternoon mm-hmm. until Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> which I don't even think is legal. Right. Because right. in order in, in order for the, the state house to be declared, I, I read something where in order for the state house to be declared in a state of emergency or something, there has to, like, it, it has to be a shelter. So now <laughs> the state house comes. So, in other words, in the, in, in the event of, an, of, of a catastrophic event such as that, the location in which you're restricting access is supposed to be a That's safe the, place to go in the event that. Right. The, so there's the contradiction. So now, and great, you know what? That's really like the narrative of the, the Democratic Party, man. Well, like, right? Listen, like, geez, so now, man. if you like, like if crazy, I, I could bro. show you some crazy pic- man. I could show you some pictures on Instagram if you go through there right now. Yeah, yeah. the ridiculousness that's going on around <sighs> the state house right now. They have piles and piles of steel fence being erected. Right, right, cages. Right, right. So right, we're basically right. putting everybody in cages. <laughs> they talk about the Republicans putting, you know, immigrants oh, in cages and all this God. other stuff. We are literally caging. And this is in our country, bro. This hey, isn't. This isn't this is like. Bad. Yeah, this is here. This is the United States this of is, America, man. This, this is, is bad. Hey, it's so bad. Hey, listen. This, <laughs> this is how bad it is. It's so bad that Antifa, uh, Antifa has said that they are going to go there and protest with the pro-gun people because uh, they believe. Uh, they believe that him taking away their rights to yeah, carry yeah, is yeah. fascism and it's racist. Uh, so, if you're going to keep the Second Amendment, you keep how do you, is the idea to just completely like just trim and trim and trim? Like I keep, you know what I mentioned it before, like the brick by brick thing. That's like you just exactly you it. don't take it all at once, right? You don't bring right. a wrecking ball in and knock the wall down. You're literally taking it brick by brick. Well, you can't That's, have you can't have this kind of bullet. You can't have this kind of gunpowder. You can't have yeah. this kind of sights. You can't have a silencer. You can't have a magazine. You can't well, have a trigger. That, you can't have a safety. That's, right? exact, like, that's right? exactly right. what's going on. Right. So I don't right. know. If, so like probably ten years now, right? They had the Heller de- decision in in the Supreme Court. Yep. Heller said that every American, law-abiding American, had the right to have a handgun for protection. Agreed. In their house, in their home. Okay. Didn't say anything about carrying it. In, in public. In public. Okay. Everybody right. had... So, they've already had that decision. So, they cannot tell you that you can't own a gun for protection in your home. 
See that that's yeah, but now how do I how do I how do I buy it? So I go and I purchase. Well, no, do I do I do I need a license or do I go into a store and I say I'm buying this for protection in my home? Depends on what state you're in. Let's say Virginia. Virginia, you could probably just go to a gun store and just and, and just buy a gun. Past background, the federal yeah background yeah the check, background like, test right. The, no, is, that's, is, that's is, what is, people that, don't is that understand. The Brady, is that the Brady bill? Is that still in effect? The Brady no. bill. That 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 was that was that was, that was a Clinton thing, right? Yes. That was that, that was an, an event, an individual wheelchair, if I remember correctly, and then yeah, that was Bill that Clinton was that it. was the assault weapons ban yep. that started in ninety four. F- that sunsetted in two thousand four, but that gave it birth never got to that waiting period, right? Like that's kind of like where that came from, because before that you really didn't have a waiting period, right? Like you'd go in and you could with a you didn't just buy it, and then now you've got that. Right, like six it depends on where. It, again, it all depends yeah. on where you are. Like Rhode Island, yeah. I know has a waiting period. Yeah, Massachusetts yeah. doesn't. Do you, ca- do you have a license to carry in Rhode Island? I do. Oh, you do. I was gonna try, hey, and it seemed hey, like it was I almost just, impossible. I just got it. My goodness, I got Mass in, in, in New Hampshire. I have those two. Yeah, right? which you don't even need. New Hampshire <laughs> New Hampshire's fun. Well, you know what? I do it for the fun it, of it. It gives you to... no. It actually it actually gives you more rights. Yeah, 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 yeah. Than if you didn't have it. Yeah. Like you don't have to. So now, if you get pulled over, if you don't. Yeah. Have the license? You have to tell. Them you know, that. I, 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 few times in my life, few times, um, and I'm just gonna tell a quick story, just because I mean, we're talking about some. You're some throwing me off, man. You're no, no, no me but off. I got you, bro. I got you. <laughs> bro, we in, speaking of New Hampshire, I was in New Hampshire with my wife. We went up for the weekend. Quick story, long story short, bro. I watched a moose get parlayed by a van, like a, uh, an Econo van. Um, Damn. Like it was, you know what? I tell people the story all the time, and I say, you know, the things you remember in your life, like you remember the birth of your children, mm-hmm. like that's vivid in your mind. This like see, watching this moose get hit by a van was vivid. Like we stopped to take pictures of the moose, and then watched the moose. Get, look, dude, you can't make this stuff up. But anyway, the reason why I'm even bringing this up is, after this catastrophic event takes place, um, a New Hampshire resident actually had pulled over and like, does anybody have a firearm to put this poor animal out of its misery? And if there was like, you know, you always think to yourself, Steve, like, you know what? Uh, mm. You always think of the situation where you're in a location that you have to protect yourself. Yeah. You never think of the other side of that. Here was a poor creature that could I I don't you, think you could have. Right? Even if you did, man, I yeah. think you'd get yourself in a world of shit if you did it. Who, you know I you know I would agree in but if you saw the situation and the poor creature like the way the 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 um and you know how they the, would the get state, you and you know how they would get you. It yeah. wouldn't be that you discharged the firearm. They would get you with like with with like shooting, shooting within yeah, yeah, right. within you know fifty feet of a road yeah, 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 or yeah. shooting it without a hunting oh license. My goodness, you think so? That's how I they even would get I didn't you. even think of that. Dude, I that's even, that's I was, how they would I get felt, you. I was feeling terrible because I couldn't put the man out of out of its misery. You no. know what I mean? Like because it was like there was listen there yeah. was no there was there was no vet for this animal. Like this no, was, no no no. This was yeah, nine this was nine one one. But the state had to show up and do it. Yeah yeah. But but you know what? I never even thought like when the woman came out, she's like, does anybody have a gun and I'm like, I, I, I'm like I turn around and I'm like Rachel let's get out of here you know what I mean because yeah. you know what? I'll be honest with you bro I kind of felt like dicky that I didn't do I don't know maybe I could have waved the van like I didn't even think like I didn't even it was so fast I didn't even think to stop like maybe I should have waved my arms and said hey stop don't right I don't know man I, I struggle with that sometimes I, like that's yeah. that's that's embedded like I maybe I should there, you know what there are certain things <sighs> I would take a chance with yeah, yeah, yeah. that would imagine I, as that. much as I love animals that wouldn't. Could I you don't imagine if I would have had it like I would have got arrested and went like for an endangered species or something? Yeah, bullshit. you would have been. You would have right. Been, and my luck, it would have been pregnant, right? And it right. No. That that would have been my luck. Well, I, yeah, I, I, that's they would have shot. They honestly, they would have got you by that, like. Man. All right, do you have? Well, you know, do you, maybe I shouldn't feel so bad. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to have a New Hampshire hunting license? Mm, no, Why no, officer? No. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to arrest you. Oh my God! Right in well, nowhere, New Hampshire. That's how they. That's how Hampshire. they would get you. And they'd be like, "Hey, man, New Hampshire's be changing, like, bro." Mr. Kudo, uh, you got a pretty mouth, <laughs> dude. Hey, New Hampshire's changing. Wow, and, well, not, and not yeah, for the better. No, right? Look, everybody's moving up there. Listen, I remember. I know. Not I for like, the better. I go up there, and I remember going up there, and you like the road was two lane, like one lane up, one lane down. Yeah. Now, man, if you got like eight lanes in both directions, yeah. it is definitely. But yeah, it's you're right. Like people aren't afraid of the cold anymore. People go. People used to stay away because of the cold. Now everybody's going up there and there. They're, 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 right. Every, you know what's funny is everybody goes up there to get away from people. Yeah, yeah, That is so funny, bro. Have, yeah, have yeah, you seen yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen it? Because they're building houses on top of each everywhere, other. Everywhere, bro. Everywhere, everywhere. Like, like New no, Hampshire is yeah, not yeah. what it used to be. No, it's not. No, I told Unless you, yep. you got to go north, yes, north New Hampshire. Yes, you got a minimum of three and a half to four hours north to yes. get. Like you got to get into the White Mountains to. Yeah. to otherwise, oh, yeah, you're in just nothing. Absolutely. But, but Dude, if you move into southern yeah. New Hampshire, yeah. you're living in Mass. 
We went to. Well, they um, should just secede that part into Mass. I took the family to Rangeland because we were going to uh, hike the Appalachian Trail. Spent the whole. We spent a week in a cabin by the lake. It was beautiful, bro. Eight hours to get there. I we went for Fourth of July weekend. Mm-hmm. It took me eight hours traffic going up north. Where before, brother, you just you'd hop in your car and it was the travel. Now you yeah. got to fight traffic all the way. The, yeah. It's insane. It takes the fun right out of it. You know my rule: for every hour of travel is a day. So if I'm gonna, if, it, if we're going up for if it's three hour drive, we're staying for three days. That's my rule, because otherwise it's I not it's not worth the drive, bro. Listen, nothing's worth the drive to me unless I'm staying somewhere for two three days tops. Right, I, I mean right? minimum. Minimum, no, you got to, you have because to, right, right, because what otherwise what the hell's the point? Especially I, now with traffic and everything else. Nah, it's crazy. Oh my god, where the hell were we? We were talking about Virginia. We were Jesus talking about Christ. Virginia. All right, so it's so, lobby so, day. So, so lobby day. Uh, we're, we're, so we're, now we're, we're, we're in cages. Things. We're in cages. Yes. All right. Yep. So now they're actually. Clearly, the uh, VCDL, uh, which is the Virginia Citizens Defense League, yeah. is 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 setting this whole thing up, right? So they're asking that. I mean, so they were asking for ten thousand people to show up, and I'm going to be honest with you. I know for a fact that there's fifteen hundred people from New Hampshire as a group alone going down there. Mm-hmm. They're, so they're 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 asking for ten thousand people. Whew. They're going to get well over fifty. So this is going to be a, a this is so the new this, this is, is going to be listen, real this is so this is there good. was there was a um, I think she's a senator in Virginia put out a statement today mm. I, I really I, I wish I had brought it up on my phone so I could have read it to you real quick because it it was basically she was saying please be careful yeah because I have no doubt they're going to be something, that something that the, like that the governor yeah may purposely set something up. Ugh. Like, there might be a government plant oh, in the man. crowd to, just yeah. to set things off. Well, they were saying that the Dems were paying people to hold signs, too, right? Like, they make, they well, make yes. signs and they... But the problem here I is... I shouldn't say Dems. You know what? I apologize. I'm not going to say Democrats anymore because it's not fair because there, cause there are Democrats out there. That I have some friends that are Democrats and they're logical people. It's it's really... I'm really... We're really talking yeah. about those people so far left that they can't yeah, even... liberals. Yeah, the, like, like, like mega liberals. Like, yeah. people that aren't even... They're not even open to conversation. Like, well, they but, couldn't... You know what so, I mean? Like, I would challenge anybody to come on the podcast or have a civil logical conversation about some of these situations such yeah. as as this because these people are so just b- brainwashed that like you said they're, they're so into this idea of you know what let the government protect me i don't want to worry about me yeah. i don't i don't want to you know ask, what yeah, ask uh, ask right? the jews how that worked out right not good man not good just saying not good you know what? Ask, man? ask um, ask um, the Chinese people how that worked out with Mao. So, 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 right? Because even in, even if you talk about the amount of people, right? The amount of people that Adolf Hitler, um, um, Stalin, right? Like we're talking millions. We're not talking hundred. We're talking okay, you're millions. Talking, you can talk millions. You can talk millions. about Hitler. You can talk about Stalin. You can talk about Mao. You can talk about um, Venezuela. You can talk about Cuba, right? Ask all those people how it worked out for them. So Hitler killed over 13 million people. Recorded. That, that's that's recorded. That's, that's not even... Right. So, so he had 13 million. Uh, Stalin had 20 million. And your your friend, the communist chairman Mao wow. from China, the communist, he, um, him... Communist like Bernie Sanders? Oh. Yeah, bro. He was, uh, he was legit, dude. 45 million people. He gets the record. Yeah. Like imagine, I mean, I know China. They, the populace is, is it's happening right now. Yeah, right now. It's right happening now. right yeah, now yeah, in China. Yeah. It's not even Mao, and where it's happening right, in China. Right, right. It's happening in Venezuela right now. Imagine that. Imagine that. You know what's funny? You all of a sudden, here, you know, here come the elections. All of a sudden, you don't hear about Venezuela anymore. You don't. You know why you, is that? You don't. And, and Venezuela was very prominent. One, the amount of crude oil that we 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 bring in from yeah. Venezuela. And the relationship, how terrible that relationship was with the with Venezuelan president. Always, if you go to Venezuela, they they don't they hate Americans, right? That's that's oh, that's, that's the narrative there. They don't want Americans. They don't like Americans, and that's always been what they've said. So now you've got to. Does it not matter? Is it not important? Is the, are they not a threat? Is that why? Like, is well, that, it doesn't is, fit the narrative. It doesn't fit the narrative, bro. Right? It doesn't I, fit right? the narrative because when you look down there right now, they disarmed all their citizens. Yep. And now they're running them over with tanks. Oh, I saw that. But I all of a sudden, that, but man. all of a sudden, nobody's covering the story, and I don't mean, and I don't mean just CNN. No, no, right, the world, even, it's listen, the world, the world, even Fox, the world. right, yes. Fox, yes. Fox, yes. right, right-leaning Fox. They yep. all of a sudden, all you talk about, dude, it's all 
impeachment. Yeah, Isn't that man. funny? How yeah, all of a sudden, yeah, yeah. impeachment, a fake impeachment, yeah. is is the story. Right. Not right. Right. these people being hit by trucks. And you know what bothers me? The, what bothers me the most, brother, is I, I know you had a chance to hear Pelosi and her actual her comments were, and I you know what and I and I and I will go on record and say this, ship all of them like I, it's so the, the corruption is so bad because they're following one and they're following Pelosi, and if you go back, I to don't the, know if they're following Pelosi. I tell you what, man, if you go back to the beginning, I don't Pelosi think... the way Trump went at Pelosi and the the things that he said about her, like he literally called her some some. Like you know what? If you said those things to your wife, she'd probably like would have punched you in the face, right? Look, this is right. Say, but so he said from gotta, that moment, she's had a personal vendetta. Well, and, not just her. You got uh, pencil. You got pencil yes, neck shift, yes, right? Pencil right, neck. Yes, but but and she, she. If you look at her, like I think for him, it's 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 the the. I think it's the the drawer of like he's in that position of power. For her, I think it's personal. You could see it in her face that she's literally. But do you in really loving? Well, let me ask you a question. Do you really think Pelosi can stay sober no, long man. enough for a it's thought? Terrible man, that's terrible. And I, you know, do you remember? Me- so let, let, let me tell you this story, right? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember when we when we killed Soleimani? Right? Yes. Yes. Okay, and they yes. said, but he didn't call us. Right. Do you know where she was when she right. when the phone did ring? Where? At a bar. Of course, right? Where else would she be, right? But you know what? If you look, she was I at a said, bar, bro. I said it in twenty two. Did Obama call to say they were going to take out Bin Laden? Of course not. And he shouldn't right? have. And Nobody, he shouldn't. And have. he shouldn't have. Right? That's exactly what. That why would you he, call? Because you know, right away, as soon as you call over there and say, "Hey, Pelosi, listen, we're going to take this guy out." Well, let me call my buddy Ship. Let me. Yeah, yeah, let, yeah. Now no, everybody he's a great knows. Guy. Right now, everybody knows. Like it's yeah. no secret. And that's why you can never catch anybody. That's why they could never catch because they kept telling them when they were coming. Yeah. Hey, we're uh, we're going to launch. How a, many ch- we're yeah. going to do a special. Uh, we're going to launch. Uh, <laughs> right, and everybody knew. How many chances did we get? There? Right. Yeah. Hey. Right. Listen. Right. Clinton had a chance to take out Osama yeah, bin Laden. Did. Yeah. Never did it. I don't think, you know, because it wasn't, it wasn't the political popular thing to do. No. They say they pulled them. Like, you know, again, not, I hate to even bring up 9-11 because stop, people could stop thinking conspiracy. But they pulled Clinton. You can go and you can research this. And they asked him, what is, what is your top three? Is it, is it terrorism? Is it the economy? Or is it health care? When they polled people, people were all about the economy. You need, and the thing was, it's the straight thing was yeah pre nine eleven. The economy was great. Yeah, this is pre nine eleven. Yeah. So they said because of that reason, Clinton he focused more on the economy and yeah. not the terrorism. You know, the fact that we had already bombs going off in the world trade. Yeah. Like Clinton. The, Clinton had a lot on. He his had mind. a lot on his mind. Yeah. Uh, a lot on his mind. He had a lot on him. That's for sure. I don't know if it was yeah. on his mind or not, but yeah. Um, you know, when you're he was taking, he, he, he was, was prob- already, yeah. Was he already flying on on yeah, pedophile he, airlines? Yes, he was. Then yes, he was. All right, bro. That was you know just what? checking. That was even that was even pre presidential, bro. That shit was going on for a long time. It only ma- it only mattered when he was in a blue dress and he yeah, had he, that oil hey, painting. Hey, be right? careful. Be careful. I know. Because right? you never know when the Clintons are listening. Tomorrow, man. Imagine my truck doesn't have brakes. Remember? Hey. Oh, right? Right? Listen. <laughs> it could happen. It listen. could happen. I could I could, um, hang myself t- you, right? tomorrow. You, you probably, you could. It yeah, don't. could happen. You can't. Because you got to come back. I got to have you. No, you no, no, no. Not, not, you know. I, I got you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. The same way, so, that, the same way that Epstein yeah, uh, did it. Uh, yeah. Epstein hung himself. Uh, so, so you know, back to what we said. So, so that was again not to talk conspiracy theory, but that was the. They say that that really was the beginning of the nine eleven. And again, and I, I'll repeat, the world has never been the same. Well, I mean, Soleimani is a great guy. He was. Well, let me rephrase that. He was a great guy. Imagine, man, just, just killed Americans, bro. Ask some of these Democrats. Killed Americans. We shouldn't have killed him. He was a great guy. And they were all like, well, you know, uh, you know, he, he did, you know, but. You know, how can you have a, like, again, I didn't you know, repeat, but how can you have a but? The guy's responsible for American lives. And I and I, and I hate listen. to say this out loud. If that was your son or your daughter, right? Absolutely. If you're a military mom well, or a military absolutely. dad, you would have a completely different, and I will not, a completely different frame of mind and not well, be thinking that way and, well, and, and apologizing just, to a freaking terrorist. Listen, it, just, it just goes to... Um, he he didn't do anything they said he di- he didn't do anything but i i clearly remember two days before that yep. an attack on our embassy let me ask you a question when you saw him for the first like if i, if I said the name Soleimani, right prior yeah. to this event would you have known who he was yes you would have see i wouldn't have but i most will tell people, you that, most people yeah, wouldn't. and i wouldn't have but i will tell you that when i saw him on television when i saw his picture on television yeah 
I recognized him. So I know that this wasn't the so, first. Oh, he's been around. Run. He's yeah. been around. It wasn't yeah. something That's that why was, I knew his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so like, he's been around. So it wasn't like it was a, like it wasn't like somebody I've never heard of and I'm like, oh my God, like what happened here? No, I, I could have heard of this guy in the past. Because it, he, he looked familiar to me. They're those guys. They're, they're like, all right, so we killed Bin Laden. All right, so some, you know, uh, we're not stupid. Somebody right. jumped in his spot. Right. Right. Of course, right. It's six, and those, right. this guy right. was with Bin Laden for a long time. And they say that even the Bin Laden, like the fact that they took him out, the val- there was more value in the information that he had in that compound than him actually. Because at that point, he was already he kind of... Yeah, uh, yeah, he was in hiding. Yeah, he was... He wasn't controlling right, anything. Right, he was getting right, out mess- messages right, with right. that messenger, which is how we found right, him. Right. But they were few and far between. Well, you need a villain. I, you know, I hate to say it out loud, Listen. but you, you need, look, without a villain, where, where, what's the government protecting you from? You know what I mean? Like, it's almost like they pick and choose when they want to take these guys out because they need them. They need, you know what I mean? They do. I, you know, and, and, and again, not to shift into something else in a different conversation here, Steve, but even the environment. You know, I, I, I would... Don't get me started, Bro, please. When you think, How dare listen, you? when you think for one <laughs> second, right? Check this out. Like this is just me logically thinking. When you think for one second that the government can change the climate, you're giving the government a god complex. Like seriously, guys, I don't know that the government, our government, the United States government, can fix the global problem that we have with Are the you environment. Listen, right? Listen, the U.S. All right. Mm-hmm. I'll even go U.S., Canada, yes. and Mexico. Yes, sure. We can continental. All, hey, we can all go one everything one hundred percent green. Yep. Right now. Yep. And it wouldn't listen. Right. The stuff coming out of China. <laughs> right. Right. Is bro. They're selling these toys with lead on it. Right. Like they did. Terrible, bro. There's so, no. Again, so again, uh, just for the climate people out there, the, the, the fans of the show who will love the climate, how do you think? And I and I ch- and this is I'm asking wholeheartedly. Like, if you can answer this question for me, then I will be on your. I will be. I, I will fight your fight. Explain to me how the government is going to save the planet. But I, that, that, that's that's it's that simple. And when you think for one second that you're going to talk this way and say, well, you know, climate change and climate change. What are you changing? How are you going to change the climate? We are, you know, the the climate that has bro. been, mm-hmm. the climate that has Millions. been. It, it literally is the, the the in history we have written history. <sighs> yes, of how the climate changes. Right, right. Heat, cold, right. Hi, hi, ice age, cycles of the planet, cycles, bro. brother. Cycles, cycles right? You're, how are you going to change that, brother? We are on, and we are on a rock, floating in the middle of the galaxy. Mm-hmm. Right, controlled by some unknown forces floating around a huge ball of fire, mm-hmm. and you you somehow think that the government can fix your climate? Don't worry, it's all going to end in twelve My, years, right? Well, that, that's what they, right. That's what they're faced, right? Twelve years, right? Cortez, that's what she said, right? How what, dare you? Right? Uh, you know, why, <laughs> why would you question this? According to Al Gore, according to Al Gore, we shouldn't even be here, right? Because he made two movies. That guy made a fortune. Wait he a minute. A Wait a minute. Fortune. Wait. Al Gore? Yeah, Al Gore. You mean the guy who flies around in a private jet? <laughs> Bro, he made two movies. Two climate change movies. How many books? Yeah, a couple. Four? Okay. Four? Four? I'm not positive. But uh, yeah, yeah, like four books. And, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. And, but yet he yeah. flies. So climate change, why isn't he rowing across the Atlantic yeah, to do man. a speech? But to go meet with Greta. Him and Greta could hang out and yeah, have some Greta. lunch together, right? Greta. With the, with hey, the somebody guys. made a funny joke. Oh, uh, what's his face? Jarvis there at the Golden Globes. Yeah, yeah. Right, you people, uh, you know, hold you on, people hold on, have hold on, less education. Yeah, you guys, go. <laughs> that's me. That's me clapping, ladies and gentlemen. I love that man. That was absolutely. Hey, I will tell you, even before he liberal. was done, and even before he was done, I was already following him on Instagram, man. I went yep. in there right away and I yep. followed him. I got to tell you that his, you Twitter, know, his Twitter's a little, yeah, it is a little, a little much. Yeah, it is. It's a but I will much, tell man. you, the idea that somebody um, <laughs> would actually go on it was so great, and you know what? You know what the best part is. Do you know what the best part about this whole thing is? What? He's a liberal. Yeah. Right? But and, and, and he's actually like, hey guys, listen, like this is a little over the top. And you know what the best part was like when you look at Tom Hanks, who's more pretentious than Tom Hanks? Like, dude, I remember when John you were, Travolta. But, hey, listen, guys, listen, if you really like yeah, he is, but John Travolta, I think he's got some skeletons. He's got some other stuff going on. D- Tom yeah, Hanks he, I I well, think John Travolta was part think, of that pedophile I think, airlines. I, I think he was flying the plane because he's a pilot. I think so, right? Them Rolls Royce engines that he likes. Um, if you guys don't know, right, maybe you don't know if you're not old enough or maybe you just don't know, go watch the movie 
The Bachelor Party with Tom Hanks. <laughs> and go see how uptight Mr. Tom Hanks actually is. Because when, when Jarvis was going at it, did you see the faces he was making? Like he couldn't believe. Yeah. How dare you, yep. bro. Bro. He was like, mm. right, like, right, dude. What it hurt, bro? You had a it donkey hit, hit had, home. It hit had home. a donkey doing lines in that movie, bro. So don't tell me you talk yeah. about right. Don't talk yeah. about pretentious. Well, no, that's all right. That that that's all right because it was it was it was for the art. I just I love just like that. guns. Yeah, <sighs> dude, who's made more money? Yeah, right. It's true. It's than some of these guys. Yes, yes, with movies and yes. their guns and yes. but yet in real yes. life, yes. Don't worry, the government will protect you. Uh, if tomorrow, right? If tomorrow the government said, uh, listen, we are going to tax bottled water uh, $5 uh, on next Tuesday. Do you know tomorrow how many people are going to go out and buy cases and cases and cases and cases of water before? They're right? Because they... Absolutely. They go, oh my God, I got to get water, crazy right? Not to. I got to get my water now because yeah. if I don't get it now, I'm going to have to pay a premium. Same idea, bro. Like they just, they yeah. apply these things and you're right, man. Who's making the money? Is Smith and Wesson making money? Right? Uh, is Colt making the money? Like are these again? I go back to the NRA. What we were talking about earlier. Without the government, without this push and this fight from yeah. the government, well, is, is the NRA I, relevant? Do you? I, well, so honestly, you, I I believe him. I, I, I believe that the NRA is 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 in bed with the government. That that's yeah, how that's how yeah. dirty. You need it. That's, you need it. See, I don't want to say the NRA because we are the NRA. I'm saying the people at the, the people, head. The people running the NRA. You know, yes. he's got to go. Yeah. he's He's got to go. Yep. The vice president there. Yeah. He's got to go. When when you're spending $300,000 of our money. Yes. Instead of lobbying and, 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 and doing good things with that money, you're buying suits. Bro. And taking island vacations at my expense. You got to go. And um, in, Wayne LaPierre has got to go. And until then, yeah. I will not send the NRA another penny. I'm a charity guy. I'm all about charity. I'm all about benefits. I'm all about helping our fellow man. Did you hear about that scandal with the with the Wounded wounded Warrior Project? Did you, yes. Same idea. Yep. You know, you've, you had, you've got an organization that, that uh, like Trace Atkins, right? Like big yeah. advocates, like, hey, just donate yeah. your money, donate your money. The good cause, help these people. You see the commercials on all the time. And then it turns out like they're having these lavish fucking conventions. That's, and been, that's been cleaned like, up. Like that f- infuriates me. The that idea. has been cleaned up. Oh, but you know what though? Did, but, it, did it have but, to happen, bro? Did it? No. Like what a black I'm, spot, right? Like what a what I, a listen, right? Nobody. A lot of people will not donate to that anymore because because of, of that, right? How absolutely. do you blame people? Like the VA, same idea. You know, I have friends. VA is another problem I have friends, bro. Like again, and you thought like you know that whole scandal where people were just waiting to die. Yeah. You know, and then you thought like there was that like that it got fixed and it got better. And you know, I have a friend of mine uh, who's also named Steve, um, who goes and you good know, he, name. He takes advantage of like the the bus, like the bus takes him. And he, you know, there are times that he goes, brother, and he'll get driven there, and then the doctor won't be in that day. Like you spend your whole day, you get on this bus, yeah. you drive to the Jamaica Plains, right? You're yep. going into Jamaica Plains, you which sit, is never a fun, never thing a fun trip itself. anyway. You yeah. sit there all day long, and all of a sudden they're like, oh well. Oh, your doctor's not here today, so, so he's, he's playing golf, right? Yeah, like I mean, no, so come on, you know. And if the doctor's not there, there shouldn't be somebody else there to read the chart and maybe just be like, "Hey, listen, you know, you're still okay until you know we're gonna reschedule you, or yeah. you know, even if you had a kidney thing or something." You know what I mean? Like something that needs yeah. attention. Now we we definitely don't give oh, our warriors man. the attention that they deserve. Listen, man, I, you know what? Uh, I I don't know, I, 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 and I hate to, to sound like like I don't want to sound ignorant because I always know there's a cost to these things, but. Listen, man. If you're willing to give up your life to protect the freedoms of this this great nation, then shouldn't you be awarded at least? We're spending a lot of money on a lot of worse. Like right. W- like we could take money from things that we really shouldn't take be doing. Take care of these people and take care of the people that take care of was us. Was it? I, correct me if I'm wrong. Was it in North Carolina the mold? Like they, they were living in? They were. It was the military. It was the military. Uh, and all these. I'm not positive it was, where it was. It was. You know what I'm talking yes. about, right? Like yes. Like the, their housing was the, the, so dilapidated. I think it was North Carolina. Was it right? Fort, I, Fort Bragg. Maybe. I, maybe I, I, it was I somewhere. Sure. Pro- and there was bro mold. Like these. Like these. They, and you know what? It's not even the troops because the troops are overseas and they're fighting the good fight. Yeah. It's their families, their wives, their children, their babies living in these dilapidated buildings. The roofs are leaking. They got mold in the freaking house. You know what? You can't go buy a house, brother, without a fucking lead paint test, right? Oh, we swearing you, now? 
Well, yeah, we can drop it. Because yeah, you know what? I get upset. When I'm very passionate no, I'm, about listen, this, man. I'm with you. Because you know what? I, yeah, I, dude, again, you need, you need, a, you need right? a home inspection. Right, right. Then lead, the insurance company lead wants paint. one, too. Oh, you can't have lead paint in your house. But yeah, meanwhile, yeah. we have our troops, the families of our troops, yeah. the ultimate sacrifice, brother, and they're living in mold. They're yeah. living in mold. I right, listen. Right? Yeah, absolutely. But if I'm a congressman, or I'm a selectman, or I'm a representative, and again, again I, I don't want to, not a political show, right? I have life. I have, I have health care for life. I have the best health care for life, and my family has the best health care after as one long term. As I, after one term, after one term, yeah. right, right, yep. right. So, 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 even regardless, of, like, like you know, some of these people that are in office right now who hate our country. I mean, I think that their one number one goal is like, oh my, like they want to just go ahead and take us out. Like that's their plan from the inside. They want to think us so. Out. I, I, I believe so. <laughs> and meanwhile, I could name a few. Yeah, you and I. Right, like the, yeah. like the Cortez, like you and I, we're paying for the healthcare, and that's that's okay. And it's not just healthcare, bro. It's not just it's not VA healthcare. You're not going to the VA. You this we're talking top notch, no premiums, no yeah. copays, no deductibles. Like whatever yeah. you want. Oh yeah, no, you. we'll fly you to the and best we'll doctor. We'll fly you, man. We'll it fly makes you to me the best absolutely doctor. crazy. But yet our troops, the people that are giving you the ability to do that, you you just out in the right. Yeah. I mean that just guy, and and I. <sighs> right. Take a deep I'm, breath, brother. Dude, I'm right? with you. Take a deep breath. Like I'm that's, with you. I can't get. That's the stuff that I can't get past because you know. It, uh, yeah. It, listen. Absolutely. Meanwhile. Yep. Pelosi's doing all her little things. What? Hey. Meanwhile, mm. in her district, there are people shitting on the streets. Right. That's a problem. Hey. Imagine that. Listen. That you, you the, think the feces, bro? Hey, feces. Here's, here's, here's feces. what I find hilarious. It's a problem when somebody literally invents an app. To tell you where, where the shit, shit is, right? is on the, the sidewalk. Is. Hepatitis, bro. Like the, I think, like just diseases. Like, Dude, imagine, bro. Imagine you're walking down the street. You're on your phone, right? And you step in somebody's heap pile of shit. You know what I mean? Like this massive steaming pile of shit. Yeah. And now you got human feces on the bottom of your foot. Yeah. How? I mean, again, we are the greatest country in the world. Yet do we have a situ a third? This is a third world country problem. Like if you go to Somalia, Absolute, right? Francisco, if you, right? Like now. you go to Somalia, yeah. you go to you go to yeah. Haiti. Like that's what you're living in. You're living in and then Swalder. Like like you look at Brazil, right? Mm -hmm. Like what a beautiful continent. But yet, like you look at the pollution. These people are literally living in their own feces, yeah. brother. And now you go to California and you go down. San the road. Francisco, San Francisco, is Francisco right? literally right. Their solution was bathrooms, right? Weren't they going to put bathrooms in the street? Like, wasn't that their idea? Yeah. Like, they were going to actually put restrooms in the on the sidewalks so that people won't shit. Yeah. But her... Listen. Uh, uh, I will say this now. Uh, the <laughs> president uh, is impeached and will always be impeached and forever will be impeached. That's what she said, man. Like, Where's that my was, vodka? That was her goal. Yeah, that was, was her number one goal was to say that she impeached him. And you know what? Again, a waste of money for everybody because we know this is going to so go So this down. is a little off topic. Let me yeah. ask you this. Sure, go ahead. Just, do you think anybody, do you think that they should like maybe make her blow into a... Uh, uh, they should make her do something. Like, you know what? <laughs> you know, she goes on stage in yeah, front of a mic yeah, and she's plastered. Yeah, yeah. Nobody sees this. Did you see that thing what she did when, you know when she actually read the two articles and she hit the... Did you see that thing where they were actually going to start clapping? And she was like, yeah, 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 no, yeah, 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 yeah. No. And she does like the, and she actually does yeah, no, the, yeah, very, yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's supposed to be solemn. Right. And then, and then she signed the bills with all the pens, and then they had a celebration afterwards. You know how much those pens cost? Come on. I, no, I don't. Do you know? $3,250 a, a piece. A piece. Of course. Of course. Gold plated. Uh, now, I will tell you that. I have seen presidents, <laughs> not just this this current one, but I've seen all presidents when they have a bill or they're yeah, signing. Oh, Obama loved they, it. Right? They, they, they yeah. do that like one letter at a time. They yeah. sign the bill. But it's usually like a, a for a good thing. Like for, yeah. a, you know what I mean? Like it's a good bill. It's yeah. good. Whatever it is. It's, 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 and those pens are going to the people that might have had something to do yeah. with getting that. So, Still stupid. Right. It, Still it, it, stupid. It, 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 it is stupid. But, but I tell listen, you what. If if you came up with a great idea and the president was signing a bill with your name on it, would it be cool to have a pen that he signed that bill with? It, like if you're you know that what? person, it, it would be. But at at what cost? And no, no, yeah, not at three thousand dollars. Not that's you know what I'm saying. Just, like, listen, hey, yeah, you yeah, want right. to shine it with? A, you want to sign it? Shine it. Shine. <laughs> you could shine yeah, it. You want to shine it? <laughs> you want to sign it with a sharpie? Yeah. At a buck a piece. Yep. All right. I, yep. You know what? Fine. I can live with that. Yep. You know, three thousand yep. dollars for for a freaking pen. Yeah. I don't. Listen, yeah, it's all it's crazy, bro. You know what? It's crazy. I'm gonna mail her a box of big pens. Correct me if I'm wrong. She is the speaker of the house. 
because they voted her in, not because the people voted her in, right? Correct. Like she's the majority voted. The majority, her in. she like the, the they did. Which not by us, the which by us. the way, when that happened, because she got, I thought I thought they were gonna fist fight because they didn't. A lot of them did didn't not want, want her. it because I thought she was out. I thought she lost and she was out, and then somehow all of a sudden they're like, "Well, the speaker of the house now is Nancy Pelosi." And I'm like, "How is that possible? Like she didn't have a district, she lost it, and then somehow became the speaker of the house yeah. and got her district back." I don't even know how that happened. I yeah, I don't. You know, know and, and bro, how can you win? And again, I not to get like so political, but how do you win when you make your own rules? Like I, 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 and I try. Look, and I never pretend like I'm like this scholar. I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm a guy from Boston, bro. And I, and and I only know what I know, what I read, what I see. But when you hear on the news, well, they're voting on whether or not they're going to have witnesses, and they're going to vote on whether or not they're going to have. Like I'm saying myself, well, is uh, a trial a trial? Aren't there certain you, rules? Yeah, how bro? do you how do you have a trial without, without witnesses? witnesses? Right? Like aren't there like if I'm going to if I'm going to a trial? First of all, rule number one, I I have the right to 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 address my accuser. If you if you are accusing me, yeah. or of, of of wrongdoing, you mean you want liberties? Number one, I have a I right. You're losing so, those. You realize? All that, right, right. So how is it the president doesn't get to address the whistleblower? Like well, uh, what whistleblower? Uh, right? What are you protected by? Like that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You make your like ship. You're making your own rules. How can that be okay? And how is it that we're just sitting here watching it? And I and again and I'm asking. What are you, you gonna do about that's it? That's what I'm saying, Stephen. I'm gonna. I was about that. You took the words right out of my mouth. What are you like, gonna do about it? What do you do about it, yeah, brother? They, what do they, you do about dude, it? Dude, they they take polls. Yep. The polls. Sixty yeah. percent of American people yeah. don't give a shit about this impeachment but yet we continue with it she why does. Because, because she does man she wants what are you gonna it. do to stop it yeah you're gonna, she wants you're gonna it. washington nope. say stop nope. yep no nope. nope. yeah right and even that like what do you like i said is it does it mean and you know i know you'll agree with this because steve you know we all know if anybody knows steve you work at comcast yes and i'm only the only reason i'm going to mention this because when i say this you're going to be like right have you not been to that customer's house that somehow so, I don't know how, but somehow they got an email or a phone call to the president of the company, right? Yeah. To oh, Brian yeah. Roberts, and you're at their house because they've been having an ongoing... Look, how does that person get to that channel? Because I've had problems with my cell phone service. I've had problems with all yeah. kinds of services, and I've called and I've complained, and I've never once been able to get to the top. How does that person get to the top? Because you don't know the right people. Um, t- Right? Right. That's that's right? what it comes down to. Right, you have to know the right person. And, but but does that mean if I know the right person, I'm in, I'm in that I'm in, I'm already in that circle. And so to me, I don't know or feel the impact to the to the common man because I'm not in that circle anymore. Well, again, I and I and and I bring this up because if you look at the our, well, it's uh, funny you say that because that's exactly what Ricky Jarvis said. Right, you people have no, no idea, idea right? what the common American right is you, thinking. You or don't do, even you don't even go through like you don't even graduate high school like you don't even go to you don't, yeah. your education is kicked back because your your career is. Is, you know you're a movie star like yeah. you don't need to be smart right you can, as long as you can read and you can read a script i mean in all honesty and fairness you know, again no difference like if you're a sport athlete right and you go to high school if you're a freak and and you know you have those those talents that you know listen i couldn't do it right i, I couldn't do it either i couldn't do it right i couldn't do so it i'm not gonna say that like they're they're stupid i don't think they're stupid no 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 right i just right. think I just, that they're 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 not they D- their lack of experience. Yes, they don't live the same life. They, don't, live they don't know the, the common Bro, person's know. life. Bro, they don't know what an overdraft fee means. They don't know what it means to feed their family. They don't know what it means that you know that you don't have gas. They don't know. Yeah. They they don't they don't know what that is. So again, so how can you have a, an opinion or try to shape you know a, a, a opinion if you don't know? Like again, I say your experiences in your life is what. Right, that's what we're all made of. Like Absolutely. the reason, bro, the reason you get up every day and you put your boots on and you go to work is because you know if you don't, like nobody's gonna pay your bills, man. No, right? They're gonna come take everything you got. Absolutely. Right? Like these people don't know yeah. that. They don't know what it's. You know, again, like MC Hammer, right? Like the guy had a bazillion dollars, blows every single dime. Now that's somebody who tipped, who obviously has no idea the value of a dollar. Like you don't know. No, if you keep right? Spending it, came, like you're gonna have anything. Right? He came. He came from nothing, and that's what happens. That's what happens for a lot of lottery winners, right? So they yep. have nothing. Yeah, new money. They say they new get money, right? all of this at yep. once. Yep. Yeah, it's like they don't know what the hell to do. Like athlete, right? You you get you sign a contract, big yep. contract, right? Like you know, and I say athlete, and I and I'm thinking because he's fresh in my mind. Have you had it? You have Netflix. Have you had a chance to watch the, no, the new not Aaron, the new one yet. The new Aaron Hernandez. I've been waiting I, on my wife. Yeah, I tell you what. Because if I watch it without her, she'll yeah, kill me. You know what? 
absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. I will. I do have one critique. I watched the other one. I mean, yeah, the original one. I watched this that. one's a little better. I like this one a little better because it's un, it's it's unedited. There's a couple of f bombs in there. Like you hear the all the phone calls, every single phone call from jail, they play it. So I mean, uh, I, not to let the oh. cat out of the bag. Yeah, I mean, it really. I watched the first two episodes. I got one episode left. It's a three part series. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Even if you're not a you know, if you were yeah, not, yeah, yeah. you know, one being from New England, it, it's pretty cool it, because it hits close to home. Because yeah. you hear, like, you know, he talks about Fall River, he talks yeah. about, you know, like Dorchester. So it's local, it's home. You know, but yeah. but but when you really look at this and you you look at the idea, here was a, it, it, and you would automatically think, and I don't want the cat out of the bag because I know I know you're gonna watch it, and I and I encourage all of the fans if you haven't seen it yet, if you don't have Netflix, get Netflix, watch it. It's fantastic. You would have thought. If I was to ask you where did Aaron Hernandez come from, like what was his upbringing, like I think you know me, my what I thought was that he was a gangbanger. Like I thought he was like you know in the streets of Connecticut, um, like a gangbanger, he, right? Like if I remember correctly, yep. he grew up in a in a pretty middle class home. Yep. And then yep. he just went to shit. He he when his dad passed away, kind of went a little crazy, but that's what it was. Yeah, his dad, and then he just started hanging with the, the Patriots, wrong people. The Patriots awarded him a it was a forty million dollar contract, and that's kind of. He, you know, and it was funny because, you know, you and I are sitting here talking about, you know, pl- you know, like uh, the, the Hollywood and how they're desensitized. He was a perfect example of that. When he was playing, and again, I, I, I don't want to let too much out, but he ended up going and playing for college, and he went down to Florida. He played for the Florida Gators. Mm-hmm. Um, he did a lot of shit down there, and a lot of shit that I didn't know is really where a lot of this came from, and he got away with all of it. And because of the organization, because the down there, football they, is that's, life, bro. That's it. They yeah. were saying that they were protecting him so much, like lawlessness. Like he was doing yeah, whatever he yeah, wanted. And then when he came here, it almost you get that god complex, bro. You think that you're untouchable. You think you do whatever you're gonna do. But um, what I will tell you, in case you didn't know, and, I, and this is, and I, and I, and I don't want to keep talking about it because I wanna, I wanted to, um, I want you to 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 watch it and enjoy it. But um. He was he was he was gay. He was. He I heard was, rumors. Nope. It, you know what? If you watch this, you I it, heard there rumors. Is, it, it from start to finish, they don't hide it right from the beginning. He was. Yeah, he was. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but they were trying to say. Oh, and again, you know, back to what I was. I had a critique about the the the, 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 uh, the documentary, mm-hmm. and the document. The, the, my critique is this: it was the Boston Globe. Like they interviewed a, a reporter from the Boston Globe. Boston who? <laughs> right, like I never heard of him. I am absolutely anti Boston Globe. Like, <laughs> never every, heard I, of like, him. oh my god, like I am everything. And they interview her and the things that she says. And of course, they talk about Jerry Callahan, Kurt Minahan, because in that whole process, they were like the first ones to like date that they were the ones that kind of dropped the news that he might have been like having a relationship yeah. with another man in yeah. jail. So he, they were, and they were, and, and the boss, this reporter from the Boston Globe actually accuses them of murder, that they were insensitive. And that, like, that was a journalistic no-no. That, Why? Because they, they outed him. Because is that, they, is that the is right, that the concept? Right, right. That and so we're talking about a murderer, someone who was responsible. Like what they say, they say there might have been more murders, but what they know were three guaranteed I, murders: the two in Boston, and then of course uh, Odin Lloyd. Those were the the three. But they were was saying, there three? Well, he shot his buddy in the face. He didn't die. The buddy didn't die. All right, yeah, and yeah, And there yeah. was the two guys in the in the club, which he, I guess they bumped into him, and he spilled a drink, and he next they were in a BMW, and he went out, and yeah. and, and one of them, the last Fatado, was because it was a Portuguese name, and they were both actually Cape Verdean. Cape, yeah, um, a lot of Cape Verdean up in those Yeah, and, they, and then he shot him, and he shot them both. So, so those were the three, but they said in Florida there were a couple of cases where people described seeing a Hawaiian or Puerto Rican-looking individual yeah. In these certain events what, of what exactly was he? Do we do you know? Uh, he is. Uh, hold, on, hold on, They said he was. I mean, he's white, and then I I'm just black. I think he's just African American, black. Because Hernandez is like, yeah, yeah, Puerto yeah, Rican. Yeah, yeah. yeah or... like I think there's some point. Like his dad, but his dad. If you look at his, his dad, it was black and might have had some other nationalities. Yeah. But his mom, which was a total douchebag, um, was white. What a surprise! You're told. I mean. When you got listen, just if they had just done the Aaron Hernandez jail conversations, like phone calls, yeah. they could have done the whole series just based on that. These phone calls are just they blow your absolute, they blow your mind. They blow, and so they did yeah, real well. I think Again, I know what I'll be doing tomorrow. Brother, Netflix is ab- an absolute powerhouse. I think they've done a great thing. They put out some yeah. great products. I mean, the wife and I watching uh, the Mind of a Killer. Like there's a lot of these really yeah, yeah, great yeah. series. 
And hey, I, you like so so you like um, uh, Ricky Jarvis? Yes. Have you seen his show? Uh, that is a serious. Is it? Is it? What's it called? Uh, absolutely serious. Is that what it is? No. What's it called? Shit. What's it called? It's pretty good. It Dude, is, I told you, my it, memory guy is. Yeah, is, that's all right, man. You know what? You, um, you, you, the more we do this, the more you I, get. If you, yeah. if you, no, seriously, like if if you go to Netflix and you you Jarvis, yep. Dude, oh, damn it! Hey, that show. Yep. Season two is gonna be coming up. He talked about it at the Golden Globes. Um, season two is coming up, guy. That is it, now is it like a comedy? Is it? It is. It it is. It is. It's a comedy. It's hilarious, but it's also serious. Like, like this guy wants to, his wife die after life. That's it. His wife dies. Okay. And it just, dude, it fucks up his whole life. So how many, is it like a, the, 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 look, the reason I love, I love Netflix is the idea that you can watch it all at once. Like I hate yes. waiting. So I hate, season one is yep, all out. It's all out. Um, I, I want to say there's like eight episodes or something. And then season two is going to come out this year. All right. He talked about the going. You know what? I'm glad you're telling me. I will watch it. I, Listen, I did he, see it. His wife dies. Yeah. Way off topic. No, no. Oh, this shit. is not. This is what. You know what? This is beauty, Steve. Can I just say that this is the beauty of the podcast, brother? <laughs> is that this is we can just. I. Yeah, dude, man. You can go anywhere, bro. This dude's wife dies. They have no kids. Yeah. She's his life. Yeah. Like he is in this little town. Works for this shit. Free public, free newspaper that gets published once a week or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. like a Sun Times like, type of deal, dude, right? Literally, right. you see him. He's interview. I don't want to give everything away, but like yeah. he interviews these people and he ser- he looks at him and he goes, "Are you fucking serious? Like you called us f- to get in the paper with that fucking story? Like, I, right? Are you serious? Right. Like there was a cat up in a tree type of deal. And this right? guy, like, he keeps talking about killing himself. Like I, yeah. he's like, "Fuck this, I'm done. Yeah. I just, I yeah. just want to go." And then. He has a dog. So one day the dog keeps him alive. Right? The next day he meets somebody else. I can see that. I and can I, see that. Just oh, I, I, and, 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 Absolutely. And I only mention this. Now you, I mean, I I will bring Sadie. I German Shepherd, 13 yes. years. God rest his soul. Uh, we put it down just about a year and a half ago. But you, my friend, is is that a shepherd? Do you have a shepherd? What? Shepherd, Great Pyrenees mix. Amazing, beautiful dog. Dude. I happen to take a look. I noticed it on the Instagram. I, we we rescue. He's two. He just turned two. Do me a favor. Give people your Instagram so they could take a look. What is your Instagram uh, handle? SCFS underscore Steve. All right, good. All South right. Coast Firearm Safety underscore Steve. So SCFS. And, it's, and so you can go and just go and take a look and see. And what's, so, his, what's it, what, 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 his name is? You're cheating. No. Yeah, well, I, I would be cheating. You know me. I always cheat. Uh, <laughs> only one yet. What is it? I saw it. I saw it. What is it? What is his name? What is his name? Asha. Asha. Cool name, man. So he, he just turned two. Yep. Okay. And so like a year and a half ago. So come July. It was July. Um. Because we had put, we had Odd Dog too. Yep. He was he was a rat terrier, little little guy. Yep. He was my buddy. We had him since he was eight weeks old. Lived to be twelve. We finally had to put him down. He was just too much. His liver and everything. And, else. and what was he? What was it? What kind of breed? He was a rat terrier. Okay. It's like a All miniature right. Jack yeah, Russell. Yeah, yeah. So 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 you went from small dog. Yeah. Because because to a horse. Ash is a big dog. Yeah, Ash is two years old and he's about one hundred and ten pounds. A big boy. Yeah. yeah, he yeah, stands yeah. up and we're face to face. That's cool, man. And That's I'm about cool. six feet tall. Yeah. So you gotta go. You gotta, if anybody, go check out the Instagram. Go take a look. I mean, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. And so um, I kind of noticed, got a he's got a harness right with yeah. his name on it. He's got yeah, a yeah. collar with his name on it. You know me. No. So <laughs> do, do you do any training with him or house pet friend? He, like he's no, no. He's he's just a pet. Yep. But he's really smart. Really smart. He is yeah. really yeah. smart. I, I say you know what? Like, I had many dogs, bro. Yeah. I had I had uh, retrievers. Sadie Shepherd, the most, the smartest dog. Yeah. Not because she was mine, but just there was. No, Shepherds are just. There was smart. a level of intelligence. I could look yeah. at her. She looked at me, and you knew she. Yeah. Could, and I would imagine you have that same relationship that yeah. you could see that's that they my buddy. Yeah, I, man. I, yeah, yeah, that's my buddy. Yeah, yeah. But we we rescued him. He was he actually came from um, Arizona. Came all the way here. There's there's a there's a. Well, listen, I'm gonna plug them because they're great people. Yeah, do it, do so it. So, Road Home Rescue out of Rhode Island. Okay. Had they don't so they bring up these dogs. Oh, so they, so he was already in Rhode Island when you got yes. Him. Oh, so they actually great. they don't put them in like a shelter. They don't put them in a pound. Yeah. They actually get fostered. 
So okay. all these dogs all right. come up and they have a bunch of volunteers that So you're not take... putting me you're not putting them in a cage. They actually go with a family that dog, structure, the right? The only right, time right, my right. dog has ever been in a cage, well, I'm sure he was uh, when he was in the pound he yeah, was in a cage, kennel, kennel, and he was kennel. in a cage on his way up here. After that point, never more. He hit Rhode Island, he never went in a cage again. Nice. I don't even nice, own nice, a cage. Nice. Nice. I don't nice. even own one. You know, and and I and I'll so, tell you, those dogs uh, and, and only because I mean from personal experience such a powerful breed. Yeah. So a couple of things. One, energy level, super high, right? Like, <laughs> right? I mean, like I know that yeah. like, if I didn't walk Sadie, I've talked about it before, like if I didn't walk her daily, it was almost like ADD. Like she would get like rambunctious to the yeah. point where it was like, listen, man, you, you, we, let's go. You know what I mean? And, yeah, it, yeah. and, it, and I would, and I, every day, man, I would just do happened. it. Say, it just happened right? I left the house. Right? Like, like, so hey, I man. got home. Yep. I got home and he's like, hey, what's up? He went and grabbed the toy, came back. And I'm like, dude, I ain't got time for this. Yeah, give me some. And he's like, no, no, no. We're gonna, <laughs> right. We're going to play. Yeah, I've been waiting for you he, all day he, long, and he, man. And he does this thing where he literally runs. So my room's on the, my, our bedroom's on the first floor. Yeah. So he'll run, he'll jump on my bed, he'll come out, he'll jump on the couch. He literally moves my couch when he jumps on it. He, he It slides all the way down. And he'll run around the dining room table and then he'll, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, and then I got to, I got to. Either take him outside and throw the ball or something because yep. Yep. he's got to burn that energy. You, well, so. yeah, you, I would imagine. Listen, I'm, and like I said, I only know because of my own personal experience. It would, it would literally, and she would be patient. She'd give me a minute. I could get home, <laughs> but but it would be a minute. Yeah. It, it, when it was time, she knew. Okay, listen, it's time. Like I gotta, yeah, we yeah. gotta go. And it wasn't about, uh, it wasn't about peeing or pooping. It was about yeah. going out yeah, and you gotta just, burn that energy. Yeah, right? burn that. energy. I've been locked man. in this house yeah. all day. Yeah, I went out. I, I want out, and you know man. what? And I, you know, and I, and I hate to even bring it up, but I, I someone I work with, uh, and actually an outside vendor comes in, and he recently, like you, had a he, before this dog, he had a, a smaller dog, and I believe it was a Yorkshire Terrier, um, and then they he wanted to get a larger dog. He ended up going with a, a lab, uh, getting a a yellow lab, uh, and right from the get go, he told me he was going to be driving down to Virginia to pick up this dog, blah blah blah, and I told him like, listen, man, I'm like. Uh, Listen, man. I got a little out of the bag, man. I'm like, listen, man. If you're gonna get a dog like that, I said, and I only know this from experience, brother. Be, you gotta commit. Like you just and I and I and this is yeah, just this not, is PSA a lab, to everybody. A lab is not a Yorkshire yeah, Terrier. Yeah, man. People yeah. have the misconception that they think of a big dog is like again, like a tractor trailer truck, right? Same idea. Like you think a tractor trailer truck is slow. It's not. It just takes longer for it to stop. Right. Same idea with dogs, man. There's, a larger dog just needs that much. Like it's a. They call them working dogs. Like you yeah. have to take these dogs and you gotta burn them off. Otherwise, you find yourself if, in a situation, and he's telling me, he's like, dude, the dog bites everything. The dog eats everything. The dog is, yeah. like, I can't be, I'm like, you know what, man? You got to walk the dog, bro. It's the yeah. power of the walk. And I go back to, and I'll say this, and I'll give him credit, Cesar Milan, bro. Like, the dog whisperer. Yeah. When I, like, when we got Sadie, that show was just getting big, and I applied a lot of that, dude. And I will tell you, the power of the walk, you know what I mean? Like, that yeah. dominance, like, all of her structure, all of her structure came from the walk. Like, I taught her, I was living in Fall River. I lived in a three-family house. We yeah. had a three-bedroom apartment. Oh, yeah, it's even And worse. I got, a, I got yeah. a dog that weighs 120 pounds. Yeah. I need a dog, like, yeah. you know, a powerful breed like this. I got people walking in and out of this house. I got to have control of this animal. Like, I cannot allow, because, again, no different than, than a gun. D just as dangerous. Like, oh, so, yeah. right? So I spent the time with her, season Milan, like, the power of the walk, did all that, brother. And I will tell you, it was the most rewarding relationship like one of the most rewarding relationships i've ever had in my life was with the having structure with her made it just a, a great experience with her it wasn't about me coming home to a house torn apart it was like she yeah. was so balanced because she knew that there was always that you know the experience of the walk the experience of me and her if i was in the yard she was in the yard if i so yeah. like it was always her mind and she was always it was never just a dog full of this this amazing amount of energy parked in a cage in the corner of a house so yeah, I, you know and back to what i was saying like and i told Matt, i'm like listen bro like the only way you're going to stop that dog from being that way is by burning them off like get get a treadmill like even if you watch season a lot like he got he teach a dog to get on a treadmill and walk for 20 minutes like <laughs> you just got to burn off this yeah. energy right because ultimately a canine right these 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 animals are bred to to run right to, to yeah do right? something yeah to do something man like just yeah. move around a little bit man yeah. and then people, people I don't know what don't. to do. I don't know they what just, to do. Everybody, like, you know, listen, everybody wants a dog. Yeah. Until they have one. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. And, and then, then. Yep. And then yep. they don't yep. want to walk it. Right. 
right. know what I mean? Right. Listen, they don't want to clean up its shit. They don't want to. They don't want to do nothing. You know what I mean? They they just they just they don't want to feed it. Nothing. And then and you know what? Then that so. then the animosity grows because now you can't go on vacation when you want to. You can't go away mm-hmm. for the weekend when you want to because somebody's got to watch the dog. Somebody's got to feed the dog. Yep. And again, and I don't think people really really think about the commitment, man, because. And that was my thing. And even now, my family, and, and it's funny because my, my my wife and my kids are like, oh, another dog. And I had a great relationship with Sadie. I mean, probably yeah. the best. You know what, man? And I'm sure you as well with Ashley. You guys have an amazing relationship, so you can understand what I'm saying. And it's almost like I'm a little, I want to be a little selfish right now, man. Like, I was so committed to her. Like, I wouldn't go on I, vacation. I, I swore. Could, no. When, right? So, right? So, Sparky, my, my, my little rat terrier, um, when we put him down, so we had two dog, three dogs at one point, and then it went down to two dogs, and Ooh. then a Ooh. cat. And you know, we put the first dog down because he was a beagle and he was a jackass, but he was a great dog still. You know what I mean? But he had right. His right. heart was three times the size it was supposed to be. Ugh, that's so, terrible. Yeah, and I you don't want the thing to suffer. That's you got to do the, the right. Vet, yeah, that, listen, that's the, the right. vet said we can try and medicate it, and I'm like, what? So my daughter can watch him fucking die of a heart attack right. in the backyard? Right. No, right. I'm good. You can go with some dignity, I'm good. man, right? Just, just let me go out with some dignity. Absolutely. Right, right. So we put right. him down. Uh, that was Josh. Then we ended up with the cat and Sparky, and then we put the cat down because her liver was, was fucked. Sparky was blind, mm. um, was diabetic for two years. We were giving him injections twice a day. <sighs> like, you know what I mean? Like, listen... Oh man! Like, like and, and, and we did what we right. could. How difficult! That's such a listen. Sh- we did what we could. Right. Then, right. then the liver went, and and no, that was enough. That I, I've been selfish long enough. Yep. That now, it's just it's it's time. So when we did that, we were pet free. And I said, "That's it. Done. Done. No Me more. and my wife agreed. Done. No more. I'm not doing it." Now we're free. We, you know, we we can go on vacation, like you said. Do you right, right? Free, right? Yeah. Then my wife <laughs> saw a picture. Yep, yep. So uh, she, so she, so she's the one that found. She, she's the one. And she, listen, they were at. He was at his foster home in in um, West Greenwich or Warwick or somewhere down there in Rhode right. Island. Yeah. And she drove down there to see him. So, so let me. You mentioned these people; these dogs are fostered, right? They're fostered. So, so you did, did you meet the people that had the dog? My or? wife did. So, was it rough for them? Like, I I can't imagine. Look, look, man. They I, didn't want to let him go because I'm look, I'm stupid like that, right? Cause <laughs> once, I couldn't do right? it. Right? Once, right? Exactly. Because no. once you know, and it's no like once you get the animal, I'm like, I yeah. fall now. I'm in love with you, and I'm not no, gonna lie. Right? I'm not right? gonna lie. When right? we got him, yeah. he was housebroken. See, man, they did it. That's even better. They that's did even it. That's even better. My wife was sleeping on the floor. My wife was sleeping on the floor with the dog because she didn't want because we didn't want the dog to piss her. So yeah. she'd sleep on the floor with Sadie, and then Sadie would move a little bit, and she'd bring her out until she was yeah. eventually trained to. to... Yeah. No, well, that's he, a big that's he, a big feat. He, I think. So somebody a, put the time in with the dog. He he had a couple accidents when we first got him. Mm. Yeah, that's normal though, right? Absolutely. New environment. Like you don't know. Absolutely. I don't know. Hey, listen, I don't know where the bathroom is, right? Listen, somebody, absolutely. Somebody's all, gotta, hey, somebody's got to tell me where the bathroom's at. For all I know, he. Uh, he, he he was giving me signs and I didn't know it at the time. Right, 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 we right, right. Yes, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. So and then right. I, I actually I I went I do I went to Petco and I did dog classes with him. Oh, that's like cool. Him, that's right? cool. It, just basic stuff. Yes, but yes, I want yes. He, the girl laughed at me. She laughed at me. She's like, you know, what are you the, doing here? Yeah, what are you doing? What here? are you this? doing? Right. Meanwhile, they, they got a Rottweiler over there that's chewing on the guys. Because you know, <laughs> he was already doing everything that we were there. You're there for right. Because they do like, it was like a basics, like one-on-one yeah, kind of. Yeah, basics, like, yeah, you know, yeah, sit, yeah, and, yeah. you know, you give him a treat when he does it, and, yep. you know, all right, now we're going to go over here, and uh, how's he interact with this dog, and then we go out into the store, and we walk him on a leash, and yep. that, he like, I had already been working on him with that, you yep. know what I mean? Yep. And then we went in there, and by the time we got in there, two minutes in, he was he was doing what I was telling him to do, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's pretty so, good, man. Listen. I'll never find another dog like him. Yeah, I, yeah, I say the same thing. I, man. I got lucky. I say the same we thing. got lucky. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, yeah. he, he's a great dog. Like I, and and people look at him and go, "Oh, he's the nicest dog in the world." Yeah, man. And you know what? And that it's funny you mentioned that because it was the same thing with Sadie. People would be very intimidated yeah. when they see her, but in all reality, man, she was just a great dog. You could go over, you could pet her. Like it wasn't. She wasn't aggressive. She wasn't. Yeah. Uh, but I will tell you, 
if I wasn't around, she was very protective of the family. Like I, if you, you couldn't come in my house, you couldn't yeah. come in my house if I wasn't home like that. But as long as I was home, typically like Steve, you came in tonight. We haven't seen each other in, in quite some time. You yeah. and I like tonight, you would have came through the door. She would have, obviously she would have barked. You would have came to the door. I would have shook your hand. She would have seen me shake your hand. She would have sniffed you a little bit. And she would then at that point would want you to pet her. Yeah. If we never had that interaction, if you just had just walked in the house, she would probably she would probably attack you. Yeah. But but as long as that 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 inter that 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 interaction took place, yeah. she was totally fine, man. Never had an issue. But dude, I had they to know. be around. They but, know, dude. Right? They know. Right, right. And they unless know. you have and I believe this, you know what? The fans and people unless you have it and you have that, you don't know it. You don't realize no. that relationship. But when you have it, and again, her and I were connected, and I can imagine, like, it's just, yeah. you have that connection with the animal. But, it, bro, again, I... My wife's going to be really mad at me for saying this if she ever hears this, but... she's Bro, she's hearing it right now, brother. I don't know if she is. Yeah, she, yeah, she's, she is. Yeah. She's, she's, pretty, she's pretty sick right now on the couch, oh, so... Well, you know what? Let's send some good... We're sending her Absolutely. some good energy, man. But if she hears this, dude, I, I look forward to coming home to that dog. Right? Right? I right? do. Right, unconditional, brother. It's unconditional. It is. Like, you know what they say? The funny story, and I'm sure you've heard this before. If you took your wife, right? Just, just we're just listen, everybody. Like this is just <laughs> we're just talking. We're just talking. Oh man, you're if you get me listen, in if you took your wife and you threw her in the trunk of your car and you drove for an hour, <laughs> right? And then you pull over to the side of the road and you open that trunk. I bet you, when she gets out of that trunk, she is gonna punch you and knock your ass out. Correct? Absolutely. If you put your dog in the trunk, you drive for an hour and you open the, the lid to that trunk. He's happy to see you. He's like, happy as shit to see you, right? <laughs> and there it is, brother. That's yep. the difference, right? That's yeah. that that unconditional, a terrible example, but oh, right? Yeah. But oh, dude, at the end of the day, like that's that's what it, the yeah. unconditional love, and it's a shame. You know, you got some people out there, man, that just, you know, like the Michael Vicks of the world that, um, I, you know what, that's, again, I don't know what that bone is, brother, and and I will be honest with you, man, I, I, I am a believer in an evolution, and I think, even right now, like, say, for example, the grid goes down, right, and we're all back to, like, you can't go to the grocery store, I, if I gotta go hunt for deer in the woods, like, I'll do that, I, I'll go, because I know if I don't do that, I can't feed my family, but for me today, day and age, like, I to go out and shoot, like, I just, you know what, man, I, I, whatever that bone is, I don't have it. I mean, I, it's you, not, it's you, not for everybody. It's not for everybody. And you, like, you're a hunter, right? Like, you I, hunt. No, like, actually, I've, I have never hunted in my never life. You've never hunted in your life? Never. No kidding. Would you, would you, would you? I absolutely want to. You want to. So, like, and you mentioned bow, like, archery. Like, That's, would you rather? Yeah. Yep. So, would you be afraid of missing? Like, in, like, maybe, like, you impale the thing and the thing's running through the woods. For, like, you know what I mean? Like, it could happen, right? I guess I don't know. Like, I, but then again, I understand. Like, you need population control, bro. Because, like, people, okay. right? How bad is it out here? Yeah. It is. It, you know what? Like, it gets to a point where it's not even like I, when I moved here. Yeah. And I, hey, guys, quick, hurry! Yeah. There's a deer in the backyard. No, 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 nobody cares, bro. Like they, they're everywhere. Like I, I yeah. almost on a daily basis, they're in the backyard. Yeah. Um, and you need to get a bow. Right. I, I, I mean, I could survive out here. You could survive <laughs> out here. Like just, dude, you right need to get the, a bow. I have one. I, you know what, I, I have one in the garage. I, you know, my issue is with it. I, I don't have the strength to. You know what? If you want to take a look at it, turn I'm, it down. Listen, I'm not to get to. I'll let you take a look at it. But for <laughs> remind me, I'll let you. T- it's a bear. It's a compound bow. Yeah. Uh, I bought it. Like I wanted to go. It's a bear. And, it's a bear. It's definitely adjustable then. Yeah, I, and it's. I, I wanted to go to like you know the like trade. What is it? Trader Trade Jans. Trader Jans. I was gonna like shout out right. I wanted to go over there and shoot some. Love Jill at Trader Jans. I think. It's and like, Jonathan. What, what is your what, how many pounds is yours i just turned mine up to 60 okay see so that's a problem because mine's like 80 plus like it's it's over 80 pounds and i yeah and I, i'm not a, i'm not a big guy and i i, yeah, dude, I listen, got the i got the one I, and you know i got a little I, mild tear in my I, rotator cuff. Yeah, <laughs> listen I, I like i just told you i just turned mine up to 60 yeah, and yeah. i mf i was at trader jans just the other day with, yeah, yeah. with my buddy and that's a cool place. Is that still like have they changed it at sore. all, or is it still I, the same? Is I was it still... I was sore the other day. I, let me right, tell you, the yeah, day that's after. That's a lot, man. Yeah. And now, do, how many? A lot. You do a lot of them. Uh, we fifty plus arrows. Woo! That's because that, we were sight, we were sighting it in. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. We were sighting it that's in. That's a lot. So, yeah, a trader Jans. Yeah. She um she changes stuff up. Like she has some cool stuff there now. Yeah. Yeah. She's got, like, and is it busy? Thing. Like, are you waiting in line? Uh, no. To, to, no, you just. I've you, never waited there. That's nice. Never. That's nice. I said I've been and there they're a couple really, of times, and they're really great people. Yeah, like, yeah honestly, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are there I, are there many places like that? Or are there, there are many places around there, me like that, right? Are there like for archery? There, there are a few. There's so you have her there. You yeah. have um, there's one in Middleborough. Um, 
There's one in Attleboro. I think that's it around here. There's a bunch in Rhode Island, though. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I know a couple of people like yourself that are really into like the archery and. and I mean, for me, it's fun. Reedies, I, I Reedies fun. in Middleborough. Reedies. Uh, there you go. I, it's fun. I mean, it's a blast to shoot. Rachel actually was the one. She's like, "Hey, I wanna, I wanna learn how to shoot." So I, I ended up yeah. buying the thing. I mean, I bought it on eBay, and then I obviously didn't realize that the thing was so like no joke, bro. Like, hey, what I'd a have good to, time. Yeah, I'm telling you what a good. Well, time. we should go then. We should go. We should make. You know what I mean? We should do it. We should do it next time you hey, go. Let me just, know when you go. Just, just throw this out there, right? Yeah. There's something yeah. called a Tri County Archery League. Yeah. And you like like tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Holbrook, right? They have a, a shoot. You go. You pay whatever it is, ten bucks, I think, and you you actually shoot at like three D animals. So you walk through the woods. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And you shoot different distances at different animals, unknown yeah. distances. So you have to gauge the distance. And then shoot the animal. But now I'll tell you, unless you've shot a bow, it's not that easy, man. It's no. it's it, there's it's a talent. There is yeah. a there is a, 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 a and typically yeah. I know you can rent a bow, right? You can go to training, you can yeah. rent. They'll let you borrow a bow, but I mean, unless you like really you're practicing with the same bow, yeah. you right to, yeah. to, to in order to compete or do something like that because probably shoot a tree or something, bro. I, you know Dude, even yeah. when you hit a tree, it's such a good time. You know, I, I, you know, I'd have to hope that, like, even like if I was hunting, I'd, I'd need like a, I would need a full automatic like to shoot a deer because I, <laughs> brother, I'm such a terrible shot. I really am. Like I, I can't. You know what? And I'll tell you, like, not, not we're kind of full circle here, going talking about guns again, but I was doing the wrong. Like when I was shooting, I'm right-handed. Yeah. I was closing my left eye and using my right eye. And then I realized that I should close my right eye and open my left eye, and I was able to shoot better. Or was it the other way around? It uh, might have been the other way so around. So this was covered in your safety class? It was covered in my okay. safety class. But listen, I was trying so. to... The only reason I bring it up is because... like the, I know you mentioned like adjustment. Like You always want to be able to find that that spot, right? The, the, the comfort spot where you know the recoil, and you can aim, and you can shoot. Yeah. But I always try to adjust, and I found that the difference in just your eyes... Well, really? that, so that would right? mean that your left, even though you're right-handed, your left eye dominant. Dominant, right? And but I and I, I showed there you. is a way. There's a method, Absolutely. right? There's the yes. method, like the of, now, now to do that is what? Like you put your your so fingers. So you, you got your triangle there, like yeah. this, yeah, right? Yeah, you yeah. focus on one spot on the wall. Yep, yeah, yeah. Right, triangle. Focus like, on a spot on the wall. Yep. And don't even think about it. Just bring it back, and it's going to automatically go to your to dominant, dominant eye. eye. That's you're cool, man. Tangled. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But so, so in, in so. saying that, unless you shoot, you don't know, right? Because you, you know what? I could go to the range, and if I didn't take, the only reason I'm bringing this up is because I, I just want to just, just let people know how important it really is to do the safety course. Because I, and even, you know, and maybe I know whatever state you're in, um, I'll, I'll let you know that, bro, the podcast is all over the world. Like, where everybody, yeah. every state, New York, California, Wyoming, Virginia, like everybody's nice. listening. So there's a lot of different states that are listening to this. <laughs> I just got way more nervous. I don't know nah, why. No, no, no. But, it's, but like in the state of Massachusetts, things are different, right? Like things just are, are different. Yeah. So I can't get my license. I couldn't go. Um, I know I'm going to bring this up because I know we promised our fans a little bit of the talk about getting your yeah, license. Yeah, I don't know how we ended up. Like, I know. Well, you know what? Because you know what? Yeah. We're, we're great friends and we haven't spoken in yeah. a while. So this is just it's so organic yeah. and fantastic. I can't even tell you. By far the best podcast, I, in my opinion, anyway. But And then I'll listen to this five times and I'll yeah. critique it. But um, back to my point is, is I could not go and get my license to carry without that certificate from you Correct. saying that in I the went state of Massachusetts, in the state of Massachusetts, you have to have one of various classes that are available. So the reason I bring that up is like, so even if you're in a state where you're, you're not required to have that safety course, right? I personally, me personally, I would recommend that you, oh, ab- that you do absolutely. that. Like there's, you know, and if you can involve like, in, you know, and I know in your case, which is fantastic, Steve. And if, if you don't mind you email, do you have email? Like, yeah. is there an email that people could could if, yeah. I, if I wanted to book some time with Steve for a safety course? And I know you do the group events. Like, you can have like in my case when we did ours. Um, I don't know what it cost today and what a different ones. I know it's been a few years, probably yeah. close to ten years. But what it, it obviously the value if I could get a couple of my friends together, right? Like, say I could get five friends together yeah. and say, hey, Steve, can you come to this place? Yeah. And so do if, the- if you have a group of like five people or more, I'll actually travel to you. If not, then I do them at my house. All right. So what? No. So so what are some? Like, could you? Can we talk about some of the pricing? Is that something that fluctuates or typically? Yeah, I typically get a hundred dollars per person. Per person. Per person. Yeah, which so, is what I've always gotten. I've never 
raise the prices. So, so like, what, what if, what if? Okay, so does the the size of the group matter? Like, if I have more people involved, is there a discount? Or Depen- is it just yep. well, depending on how many people. Yep. I, I may throw like the person who's hosting it. I may just say, all right, you're not paying. That's a good idea. Do you know what I mean? Like, That's a great idea. But everybody else, or if they mention like the Bobby Kudo show, like they heard right. it on the well, Bobby you, Kudo show, right, and they want right. to and they want to book some time with you. And yeah. that's the reason why I bring it up because I think that's really valuable to someone. Like, for example, if I was thinking about getting my license to carry, the idea that I could do it with friends and family, I think it makes a instead of you know what, Steve, if I had to go to a place, it always it, makes it more fun. right. Right. If I got to yeah. go to a one gun. Uh, gun uh, yeah. dealer, right? And I got to go sit in a classroom with like you know ten other strangers. Uh, okay, I might do that. But if I could be one your home or one my home, right. and have like ten of my friends and family with me, or absolutely, six, right? it, al- it always it always makes for a good time, right? Those are the best right? classes, honestly, I- because everybody's they always come up with questions, and then this guy starts busting that guy's balls and. It always turns into a, f- a fun class. It always right. makes it go by faster. It always makes everything better. And the more I, I personally, I am a, I like to answer questions. Yep. So I have my whole spiel right that I have to do right legally right right right. right. And then, but people don't always understand everything because I'm not gonna lie. Massachusetts is the laws here mm. are very very convoluted, and they don't make sense. Um, A lot of them don't make sense. A lot of them, uh, you know, if you you could literally have five police officers in front of you and ask them the same question, you're going to get five different answers because it's Because they all interpret it. It's all in how you interpret interpret the law. So people always end up asking questions, which I love, right? They think they're bothering me, but I, that's. I live for that. Right. Well, it, it, so how many, I mean, you know what? There's no such thing. It's, sir, I'm going to say this. There's no dumb question, right? Because I mean. Well, that's when, not necessarily true. Well, but. when you're talking gun safety, <laughs> right? I'm like, yeah, right. When, when you're talking gun safety, I would imagine like people would probably ask. I mean, I can only imagine. What, yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. So it, it, but then, you know, everybody. So then this guy has a question off of that guy's question. And then they, you know, yeah. and then it just, it just snowballs. Right. right. And that's when it turns into the best class for everybody because everybody gets and they're comfortable extra knowledge because you always have the people that um are scared to ask a question right like they don't want to look stupid so they don't want to ask you that question right so they walk away if it was just them in the class they would walk away without that knowledge right now you have the guy the ball buster in the group that starts it off right right all of a sudden everybody's up yeah nobody's got a question but all of a sudden now you broke the ice everybody's got a question which is awesome because now everybody's questions get answered. Right. So right. It, right. So I love it. You know what? Like I, you know what? I, I think of like a midwife, and they, that you see that recently that that midwife she officially delivered the most like five thousand babies. Oh, I, so I, I would bring it up because if I was to ask you, see, how many people have you have you served? Like, um, if you just throw like right, imagine if you kept track of that, like few hundred, right? I, 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 right? Because like, I. I go long stretches without doing a class. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it just seems like... Spurs. All of a sudden, like yeah. ev- like in the spring, mm. everybody's going to want to get their license to carry because summer's coming, everybody They're wants to shoot. They're going outside. Everybody yeah, wants yeah, to go outside. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, now yeah. it's, oh, wait, my husband has their license to yeah, carry. Yeah, yeah. I want to go shooting. Yeah. Let me get mine. Right. All of a sudden, it's... but I And I will say that in the past few years, it has been majority... Well, majority women. No kidding. That's awesome, bro. I love to hear that. Women. I, Absolutely. Because again, it's always been the stigma that women are afraid, and they yeah. shouldn't be. You know what I mean? Woman yeah. power, like protect yourself. And I think even if, again, the idea, not even no, for me, I never want to pull up my gun. Like, because I mean, I have the rule of which is it. Look, if I'm pulling my gun out, <laughs> then then chances are I'm, I'm going to use it. Like, I, I, like you gotta you gotta you gotta yeah. bring me to that point. Like you, it's not just going to be the fact that you cut me off on the highway and I'm pissed off. I'm right. never that's never going to happen. But if I get to a point where I feel that myself or others their lives are in jeopardy and I draw my firearm, yeah. like my intent now is listen, I I'm I'm going to shoot you. Like I I've made that decision because yeah. I have Jordan. You know I have a gun now. You see it. Yeah. And I think, you know, getting women, right, I think now women being in that same state of mind of, 
you know what? I'm not going to be a fucking victim. Like you're not going to, you're not going to, you're not going to you're not gonna get me yeah. in an alleyway. You're not going to get me getting in my car. You're not going to get me coming out of the mall. Like I am going to be able to protect myself. You know, one technology I think is fantastic. Phones, like no longer can you hide you know, no matter where you are. Yeah. So, so that being step one, but step two, you know, you get into that Uber and you, you know, it turns out that it, it, it's that psycho and he's going to take you, you know, into the woods somewhere and, Never be heard from again, and you. And now that's the difference, man. Right yeah. now, this or, woman or, or right? flip that, or flip that over, right? Yep. So like, um, you you're the you're the Uber guy. Yeah, yeah. And you, right. you're yeah. just picking you some go. random guy there up you go. off the side of the yep. street, man. That just decided it to lose it. Not that long ago, in just decided to lose the taxi cab yep. driver. Yep. Just all of a sudden, yep. off it done, I mean? and you're the right. Yeah, because he took the didn't he? Right. That was was that Florida? Was it Florida that he took the? He was driving around with the taxi cab, shooting at people, right? <laughs> Yeah, but like it was know about it, this. it was the, it was another like crazy gunman. They ended up shooting the guy, but he was in a taxi. He ended up it was you know what I gotta I'll have to do the research on it. And it was one. Was, it was one that was a UPS driver. That's what I'm thinking of. The UPS. U, uh, that's what hey. I'm thinking. You know what? You're right. That's, that's what even, I'm thinking. Let's of. not even talk about that. That's that was, what I'm thinking that of. That was horrendous. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. UPS. Listen, I I love law enforcement. Yep, yep. That was the Bad. most ridiculous incident I've seen in a long time. Whew, Man, you know hiding hiding behind. <laughs> hiding behind people's cars yeah, with man. them in it with them in it that's doubt yeah are you shitting yeah. me I, I, and you know what i and i and i and i i am very cautious with that and the only reason i am steve is yeah. because i wonder how would i react in that situation well like, that it's one thing for us to be sitting here right in the right. comfort of this room and saying you know what man absolutely i would be it. like blah, blah, blah. but uh, when listen. you're in that situation and that chaos is all around you hey absolutely right? i get that i get that right but here's the thing man these people are supposed to be more trained than you and I. Yeah. Because yeah. not only because like, not like only combat ready. Like combat ready. Listen, like if, if not only are comes, they hiding not only are they hiding behind innocent people. Probably <laughs> honestly yeah. hey, it probably yeah. never even crossed their mind. I would I would right. imagine it right. never crossed their mind. No. No. Not only yeah. that, but they're cross firing at each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was bad. That Do was you know bad. what I'm saying? Yeah. That yeah. was just wasn't there another one where a police officer got shot? I believe it was like a storefront of some sort, and the, the police, like, it was one of those situations where it was like a crossfire. Yeah, it happens all the time. It happens all the time. You don't even, I, right? I mean, listen, right, I've right, never been right, there, so I right. can't talk about it. It's, but it's you know, a tunnel beyond, vision. Yeah. And... and again, you know what? And for me personally, like, it's beyond the woods. Like, when you think about, you know, it's one thing to see a tree line, but when you're yeah. shooting that bullet, realize yeah, you gotta what's, on the, right, what's on the other side of that well, that's, tree that's, line, right? That's I mean, rule. that's the, one of the rules, right? You right. gotta know what your you target is and what's beyond it. What's beyond it. Right. Right. And so you would think that being law enforcement, you, they, you know, but you see some of these people, man. And like hey, they, listen. Listen, and, I, and no offense to anybody, but these people can't even control their own weight, but yet they're in law enforcement, and these are the people hey, that listen, are right? you like have, I, You have law enforcement that, um, um, you know, they do. They pull their gun out. Ultimate respect. Twice. Absolutely. Yes, ultimate. Listen, yes, I, yeah. I couldn't do yeah. what they do, because right. especially nowadays, right. Right. I couldn't do it. Right. But, you know, you, you have some that are avid shooters and, they know what they're doing. Right. I would say that that's even the majority. Mm -hmm. But you have some that they pull their gun out twice a year when they have to qualify. Right. And then they never shoot they it never again. They never shoot again. No. And it's, 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 do, do I, you, I mean, do you, do you, you know, I don't know. It, it, to do me, you, would you, de would you want to depend on that in no, your life? No, 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 no. No, again, listen, if my I mean? job was jumping out of an airplane, like if I, my, every day my job was, Bobby, your job is to, we fly 10,000 feet and you jump out of an airplane. I'm checking my parachute every day, bro. Oh, absolutely. Right? Twice like, a day. I mean, twice a day, right? I yeah. want to make sure that when I pull the cord, this thing's going to, right? Yeah. So this should, no difference, bro. If I got to, if, if my job, this is a, this is like a, a you know what? Aside from a taser, because I think a taser is a great tool to have. Absolutely. Outside of that, like this is the difference between life and death. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like this is I'll tell you not only mine, but the people yeah. I'm protecting. So and, and shouldn't you I? say that? Because I I believe that the taser was probably one of the best things that we gave law enforcement. Modern technology, in a right? Long like time. just right, amazing. But you know what? I will also say that I've seen those videos where people are just not even affected by it. Like they say, I guess yes. PCPs. Like if you're on PCP, <laughs> meth, and right? That. Meth oh, and all dude. that stuff. Like, it, like literally yeah. psychologically. But the thing that, that that puzzles me about that is, is you know, you work in the industry, I work in the industry, I've worked in the industry, knowing 
the dangers of electric electricity, yeah. right? And the idea of like the you know like the idea of uh, of of an energized uh, uh, situation, like in your muscles contract, right? Like yeah. if if you touch something, the, the the fear, like you know, you work in Comcast, you know, you climb the pole, you're up there working. If if that if that conduit, if that if that cable is 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 yeah. energized and you grab it with your hand. Chances are you're not gonna be able to let go, right? That's right. That's yeah. The, no, that's, that's the. So thing, how yeah. is it, man? Explain to me, like the forty thousand. What is it? Forty thousand volts or whatever it is. How is it that these guys? How is it the brain tells the? Like, how do they not constrict and just fall to the ground? Like a I don't. Lot, a lot of I don't times, get it's, it. It's a lot of times it's a bad taste too. Do you think that right? Yeah. Okay, so thick so skin, bad, maybe bad, a bad spot, dude, bad and, connection, and because you got to get both. See, probes I, never, in. I never even thought of that. So there's two probes. Right. You got to get both in. Uh, right, right. They're it's like kind of, kind of like a defense. They're like right? they're like hooks, right? They're like Absolute, fishing hooks. Yeah, Once they, they're in, they, they kind of they, they, they stick. But yeah, it, it, it's, I didn't it's, even think of that, bro. Dude, it's it's kind of like a defibrillator, right? Yeah, so yeah, you, yeah. You, the closer one, you one get, pad is not gonna defibrillate. Right. You need both. Right, right. So that, one pin goes, the other one. Right, man. and that's where the charge is. is I never even thought two. of that, bro. So yeah, listen. But when they're in that far in in in, in a drug induced state, yeah, a yeah. lot of times, dude, it's they, amazing, it, bro. Hey, man, the it's, strength that right, ten right, like five foot, right, one chicks, eighty pounds soaking wet, right, dude, they will kick the, the shit, shit out of you, right? Like, yeah, it's it's, ama- it's, it's absolutely amazing that yeah. you know one that that's even possible, and two, the 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 strength of the human body right that yeah. you could actually you alter strength you don't even know right yeah. like that's the idea that once you get past those <laughs> mental limitations in your mind yeah right and that these you have these drugs that you're able it blows absolutely like blows my mind and it's it's amazing yeah. so again back to your original the original point of us is even talking about it is you know being just you know i guess proficient with your firearm and being able to I, shoot this if, thing and yeah, knowing I, that, I tell people all the time yeah. if you're if you're gonna get your license to carry and then you're going to buy a gun and you're gonna go to the range once a year. Yep. Don't buy a gun. Let me ask you this: save your money. Let's just kind of just. And again, I only want to just kind of really get into a little bit of the detail as far as the process goes. Like you know, so you live in New Bedford. Yes. I was born, raised Fort River, Mass. And those are two cities that are pretty notorious with difficulty in obtaining a license to carry. Would Absolutely. you agree? Absolutely. So. Um, I moved to a different town. I live in a smaller town, Berkeley, mm-hmm. and I didn't have my license when I lived in Fall River. It just so happened that when we went through the process, I had recently, we had just moved here. Yes. We're having a problem with coyotes. I'm like, I got to do something about coyotes. Like, it's funny you mentioned coyotes in the beginning of the podcast because yeah. that was really the reason why I got my firearm. Yeah. Primary was I didn't want to be in a situation where I got a coyote or a rabbit animal in my because I live in the woods, yeah. attacking some like my dog, for your example. Dog. Yeah, I, I was my just dog. thinking that, right? Yeah, you know what dog, I mean? Like, like I would just to be like, and I walk in the cranberry I'd bogs grab that thing every with day, my own hands. right? Like I, I walk in the cranberry bogs every day. Like I, I wanted to be able to protect myself, but outside of that, you know, living in Fall River, living in New Bedford, I knew that in Fall River, I was going to have to get like a letter of recommendation from a fire, like somebody from the police department. Like I was going the, the the amount of red tape that was involved yeah. in me going to get my license to carry. It almost seemed to me, and I hate to say this out loud because you're probably going to be upset about it. Is I almost felt like, geez, it's not worth it. Like, what? Well, well, I'm not upset about you know, that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I, feel, I, like, I actually said yeah. to myself, like, what? Why am I going to go through all this bullshit? Right? Why, why go to yeah. all this trouble if they're just going to deny me? I'm going to pay a hundred dollars. Like, well, that, so that's the thing. So they can't, they can't deny you. They have to have a really, really good reason to deny you. So perfect example. Like, even if they don't deny me. Like, so I, when I applied for my, and this is, guys, this is value in, in this podcast. And here it is right now. When one of the biggest questions or one of the most difficult questions when I had my application and the answer was, what is the reason, or I should say the question, what yeah. is the reason you want a firearm? Like, right? What yeah. is the reason and purpose you want a firearm? And right away, right, right away, like I'm thinking to myself, okay, uh, I like to go to the range. I want to shoot the range. And, I, and that was what I was going to write down. But then we spoke. Yep. And you told me something different. So if I'm going for my application and it says reason for firearm, your answer is? All lawful purposes. All lawful purposes. And I've told people that. And I have people that have applied and gone for their license. That's exactly what I tell them. I would have never even thought something as simple a phrase yeah. that small is purposeful, and that's act- you know yeah. what. When and I- honestly, it it you can write whatever you want in that box because mm-hmm. if if they're going to restrict you, they're going to restrict you. And that's so New Bedford. Yeah, and so that's here's the thing, say, like, right? So New Bedford used to restrict limited. You. Is it what? what is they it? they like New Bedford would restrict you to hunting and targeting. 
So in other words, even though you had a class A yep. license to carry, lots, lots of capacity, capacity, even though, yeah, anyways, <laughs> you couldn't carry. Wow. So, so oh, you could uh, literally look, take your I can gun. have a gun. So, so okay, so walk this with me real quick, just yeah. so just people understand. So I get a license like that with that restriction for, for sporting purposes Sport, right so yeah they they would either put sporting purposes or hunting and targeting, targeting, targeting. i think it was it, it was hunting and targeting so, and, and they migrated over right. to sport so i want to go to the range right i'm home right now right yeah. and i want to go to the range to shoot my gun what's my process like what do i have to do to be in law and unload right? your gun okay put it in a case or <laughs> or a, put a trigger lock on it of some sort lock it up store the ammo separately in the furthest compartment away from where you're at so in other words I, I, you know you always get the smart ass in the car i say in the trunk of the car yeah, yeah they say well i have a pickup truck okay well then in your back seat if you don't have a back seat then under your under your passenger seat yeah so Somewhere, the idea is like the, the two the, being so, as far so apart the idea from one is another it's not possible. within your reach and right you can't use it <sighs> okay so now you get to the club you, un, you know How whatever is that man God, I mean, that's, I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm just, I, I, I struggle with it because I'm trying to play it out in my head. Like, how is that even like logical? But, but go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go so ahead. then you shoot again, you uh, unload it, unload it, and do all the same bullshit on the way back. Right, right. And God, and, and, and God forbid, like I have it in my holster and my, and I get pulled over. Right. And I tell, right. Cause now the, uh, my license that's says. That's all it takes for you to get revoked. Done. 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 Depending on the cop. Clearly depending on the cop. Oh. <sighs> But it, I think in today's climate, brother, it, it's a little different, man. I think you're not getting away with it. I think, like, it, right now, I and, and, and you know what? I think it could be the coolest cop around. No. I it, don't think it, they're the, willing to take the chance, right? Cause, it depends on the cop. Right? Because it, you have to remember a lot. So we talk about law enforcement as if, it, if, if, as if they're against us, right? You have to remember a lot of law enforcement. Is us like, right? Is right, with right. Us, right. They're, they're yes. patriots. Yes. Okay. Yes. They are with us. C so uh, cops, citizens on patrol. Okay. Right. Exactly. All right. So it, it depends on the cop. Mm. Okay. I mm. guarantee you, here in Berkeley, you get pulled over. Yeah. They wouldn't do shit. Yeah, probably not. Especially if they see my address, they know I'm from the town. I I, I could probably okay. see that. But, they, but but what if now I'm in downtown Boston? Well, listen. Boston in itself, anywhere in Boston, right? It's, it's gun free everywhere. Like is, you can't, right? You, like do you know that Boston Common is is bro, and that's is weapon is no no weapons allowed. I'm it's literally written in the written in the DCR <sighs> bylaws that you I'm, cannot have a weapon. I'm within so glad Boston you brought Common. that up because that's the re and and again, forgive me, brother. That's the reason why I tend not to carry because. What if I end up in the Boston Common? Like I, you know what? I'm I'm out with my wife. I'm enjoying my day and concealed, right? But, but, but technically, I'm breaking I, the law, I, right? I, listen, technically, yeah. But, oh, all right. Here's okay, so, all right, here's so, my scenario, real quick. Go ahead. And, and, go ahead. Just, no, listen, I will play this with me. So I'm in Boston Common, yeah. right? I have my I have my gun. It's yeah. concealed. Nobody yeah. knows I have it. Yes. Something happens. I witness an event take place, which would warrant me to draw my firearm. I do so, but I am in a gun-free zone. I'm doing a good thing illegally. Am I correct? Yes. How, like, am I willing to take that chance, right? So Are so, you? That's what I'm saying. So Are what you happens? in danger? Is your family in danger? What if, okay, how about this? What if it's not my family? What if I see a man and a woman, and I see a man strangling and killing a woman in front of me? As, as horrible as this is going to sound to yep, you? Yep, yep. Turn around and walk away. Jeez, man. Because of where you are at. Imagine. Hey. Imagine. Because of where you're at, yep. and I'm not talking about Boston Common. What if it's a terrorist? Okay, how about... Listen, about listen, no, 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 no. Yeah, no hold if it's on. A terrorist. Let, me, let me finish okay, my thought. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because of where you're at, and I don't even mean Boston Common, I mean Massachusetts. Yep. Okay, because only in Massachusetts can you shoot somebody... Who just broke a window to climb into your house at two o'clock in the morning? Yep. Shoot him, kill him, and his family sues you. It sues you because he got killed on my property. On in your house, in not my house. on your yeah, property. In my house. In my house. Yeah. In, in my the house. house. In my house. So that makes me or, technically liable. Or even worse, right? liable. I'm liable. Hey, Tell listen. Even worse. This is the same state where the guy can break the window, cut himself coming in into through the window, the window and, sue, and sue you because sue he cut himself on your window uh. and win. Uh, that's okay. terrible. Yeah, 
But, so. So, so, okay, so back back to Boston. Like, we're yeah. in the common. What if it's a terrorist event? Listen. Do, am I a hero? Am I a hero? I, or do or, In my eyes, yes. Okay, great. But how about the law? Like, the I, letter of the law. What happens to me? Am I am I now at, in court? Like, because now the you news... Know, oh, dude, like, you're dude. in court. As, as soon as you pull out that's that gun, right? you're in court. Oh, man. Guaranteed. That's what I'm talking about, bro. They make it impossible. Okay. They make it impossible. Again, Steve, I am all about it. Second mm-hmm. Amendment. Like, I support it wholeheartedly. Like, it's on my wall. But I say to myself, there's so many restrictions and, and, and limitations to it that no matter where I am, no matter what I do, somehow I could get myself in some serious trouble. Absolutely. Right? I, so I, Listen, dude, they go after law enforcement for using deadly force. You're a good guy, Steve. You are. You know what? You are a good guy. And I know for a sheer fact I can say this wholeheartedly, like myself, if you and I were in a situation where we could do something to save someone's life, we would do that. I would. Yes. At all costs. I don't. If I know that there's someone, I, like, listen, right? I've always right, said right, this. Right, I've, I right. have always said this. Okay. If it's you, the criminal, yep, or my wife, or my kids, or me, my family wins every time. Every time. Yeah, every hands down. Time. That's the reason why, right? That's the that's the whole hot reason why. That's... And and what comes after, I'll deal with it. I, but but in my heart, yep. I'll know my family. Yep. Is fine. Could you walk away? Could you, it, it, we're in the common and it's not your family you, you and I are out we're, we're, we're hanging out we went out for some drinks and we're hanging out in Boston yeah. and that event takes place you see a terrorist event take place you're gonna draw I am you're gonna draw I am yeah but I can't tell my students to no no of course not but like, if you're asking is, me if I will totally like in, and we're talking about I a am. situation where you know without a shadow of a doubt there is a terrorist act taking place at that moment you can save lives you you're the guy you're yeah. the guy look like, just in that like in that church like in that church Absolutely. you're the guy who can draw you know what and and in all honesty, if anybody's pulling out a gun and boss a comment, I want it to be you and not me because I'm this innocent bike. Dude, I'm not that good. Of a, I'm not that good of a shot, bro. I'm terrible, man. I am. Yeah. Like God forbid. Like I. I am. So but, I. I. I am. Yeah. But so save. You're saving people. You're saving. But again, now there you go. You better get a good lawyer. You better hope right, that listen, there are people absolutely. that have you back because in a situation like that, now you're gonna have to defend yourself because you had your gun in a place you shouldn't have had it. Well, I. You know, you you people who carry. Yep. And I and I don't have this, but I should yep. need to carry need to have carry insurance. There you go. So USCCA has some. There's uh, it's an organization called yeah USCCA. Tell me about it. Now, that's very interesting. I've never so heard of this. I've never heard of this. They they uh, clearly you pay them because I I'll tell you what I I paid goal and goal sucks ass because I had a situation well, and goal- I call I called goal and they told me pretty much to pound dirt. Like I you know what I'd love to sit here and say the gun owners action league w- is a good organization and they were helpful, but the one time that I called them and asked them for help, I had a situation. Just long story short, with a tenant and it was it was a little. Oh, I remember gr- this. Yeah, that whole situation yeah. where my mother was assaulted. Yeah, and- they're not they're not gonna do nothing. Nothing, for you. man. No, because no, that's not what the, Bobby. That's not what they are. Yeah, but you know, I thought like they legally like I had legal questions like, hey, listen, what can I do? In they're this not situation? they're not lawyers. No, they're not. She's like, well, we can give you a name of a lawyer. Yes, they're that's then not. What the hell am I paying for? They, all right. What's the what's the tell me? Gun owners action league. Yes. is. I don't want to say a political organization because they're not political. They're, they're but they fight for you at the state house. So they're lobbying. They're, they're lobbying. They're lobbyists. They're lobbying at at the state house. That's what you're paying for. Aww. You're paying for the same thing that you're paying the NRA for. So the NRA would do it for you on a federal level, <laughs> and gold does gold it on does it for you level. on a state level. Listen, uh, and I, you know I, what? And, I, and, I, I get, get you. And your, get fr- you. and your frustration with the NRA, I express my frustration with Goal. Same idea. Like, I it, called you once, man. Like, you know, I asked yeah. you. For, I, I don't call you. I always send in, like, I pay my membership fee, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. I don't want anything from you. The one time that I call you. Yeah. That, but yeah, that's it. it right? I'm, and listen, I have no affiliation to Goal. I yep. am a member. But yep. besides that, I have no affiliation with them. Goal yep. is an educational. Yeah. They do a lot of education in the state. Yeah. Um, so you think, in your personal opinion, you think it's a good organization? Absolutely. I don't want to give them a bad rap because of my own one personal bad no, one no, experience. No. Gun, you, gun owners actually you, is you have it, much more experience with this a, than I do. They're they're an awesome organization within the state. Yeah. They they have they've done stuff yeah. like they've tried to do stuff and not accomplished it. Yeah. Because 
we live here. Right, okay? right, right. And, I mean, you can't, you like, know, yeah, sometimes it's, it's listen, the David and Goliath situation. If, right, right. You just can't. Right. We're the state that Elizabeth Warren came from. <laughs> oh, my so goodness. if I need to say anything more than yeah, that, yeah, then you yeah. don't know Massachusetts, right? Right. So, but they've, they've changed stuff. They've, they, listen, pepper spray, thank goal for that. Yeah, right. That, that was... Again, okay. if anybody who doesn't know, you don't live in Massachusetts. Pepper spray was actually treated as if like a firearm. You needed, like, you needed, you to, needed carry to get a license. a license to carry. Not anymore. Like anybody can carry now. If you're someone who a woman, you can have it in your pocketbook. You can have it. And correct. In, eighteen. You have to be eighteen. Yeah. You can have it. Nobody's dying from from mace, right? Nobody. No. So why the fuck would they have it? Like again, there's no, another situation. Well, that's where, goal, right? right? So then we right. used to have. Then we used to have, so we used to have the uh, the FID card for pepper spray. We used to have an yep. FID card yes. for just rifles and shotguns. And yep. then we used to have yep. a Class B license yep. that I've never even seen in my life. But it was there. And it was a low-capacity license to carry that you couldn't carry with. Yep. Okay? Yep. And then we had the Class A. They got rid of all that. So now we have a Class A yep. and we have an FID card. Yep. That's it. Simple, right? So FID card. If anybody, sixteen years old. I'm a you know minor hunting. You could write federal identification yeah. card, and you could buy. Well, like a, fif- you, fifteen with parents, um, with with parents' permission. And what I well, what is it like? I, then, I can buy like a thirty thirty. Like I could buy like a rifle. You, you could buy a rifle or a shotgun, low capacity. So low capacity. it'd be ten rounds or less on a rifle, five rounds or less on a shotgun. So my license is high capacity. I still can't get a magazine. You, more than, you, right? you, I, so if you have, <laughs> you can carry mm. high capacity. If you have it, pre-ban, pre-ban. <laughs> okay, I love it, man. I just the way so I, right, like right, but you can't man. buy it, so you can't physically buy it. Like you in go cross-eyed with the shit, man. Like Dude, they make it impossible. You don't know that yeah, you don't know that, right? I mean, and, and again, like somebody like yourself who's so like just astute with these laws and these rules, but somebody like me, man, the layman, I'm like, I'm like, just it, it almost gets to a point where you say to yourself, like, I'm afraid of it. You want listen, right? Like, listen, is, is listen, that the plan? You want to you want to go cross-eyed? I know you're not a big fan of Goal, yeah. but Goal offers a class, and once in a while they do it down in uh, New Bedford or whatever. Th- they offer a class called um, Mass Gun Laws for Citizens or something. Take that class. Ooh. Do you want to go cross-eyed? Really? He John Green is yeah, the yeah, tra- yeah. he's yeah. the educational guy yeah. at Goal. Yeah. Great guy. Yeah. Wicked smart. Wicked smart guy. Right. Um, talents wasted. And this is like on the law. This is like the legal law. This is, end he of is it, going right, to. Right. He is going to go over every mass gun law there is. I I don't even know how that's possible. What you can yeah, and can't yeah, do. It's and crazy. Like, crazy. Yeah. And that's and again and that really you know I I I, I got to be honest with you. Out, out of I mean just so you know we're two hours into the podcast. Yeah, out of, I and I have to and I have to admit like out of everybody at, at this podcast that I probably mentioned your name. Do we have a most, time limit? No, I really don't. Right. No, because you know people can listen as long as they want. They can pause <laughs> and rewind and come back. Just but I've had I, I probably mentioned your name most often on the show, I, and it's I always look, I look forward to it. Well, good. I hope so. But it's <laughs> but in all reality of it is it comes up so often Steve, because there are, I always have these questions about yeah. you know the, the again I only bring it up because I feel and I and maybe I sound corny when I say this when I was awarded my. When I got my license, my second amendment, when I was able to do it, yeah. it's gonna sound corny, bro. I felt, I felt good, man. Like I, when I had it in my hand, I'm like, this is really like I can exercise this right. Like not yeah. every, and not everybody can do that. I mean, we're all Americans, right? We're all born yeah. with the Constitution that governs. Uh, yeah. But but I had a legal license to do something. Isn't that, is that, is that, is that, wait, now stop and think about what I you know. just said. I know. I right. That fucked up. Right. Right. That that's so that to me like so, again cross side like struggle for with the people that don't understand what I just said. Yep. Imagine having to get a license in order to say what you want to say. Imagine. All right. To right. exercise your you're, freedom of you're speech. Right. Your right to freedom of speech. The the God given right. 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 It wasn't everybody talks about the Constitution and this and that. That the Constitution guaranteed your rights that you already had. Okay. It, it it didn't give you those right. rights. You already right. had them. Right. right. So right. now imagine th- this is how gun owners feel. Like if if I can try and make anybody understand what we're trying to say is, imagine having to get a license in order to say what you want to say. Imagine, imagine seriously. Because that's what we have to right. do in order to right. exercise right. our right. To be able to protect ourselves and right, our families, right, right, that's right, what it comes down right. to, and people don't understand that. And again, and not to repeat what we already know, 
but the only people you're restricting are the the law abiding oh absolutely right psychologically yes. sound individuals who follow the law yeah. the letter of the law are the ones that you're restricting the criminals the ones that are actually I, causing the harm don't care what the I've, laws and the rules I've spent, are i've spent i've spent I don't want my wife to hear this. I spent a lot of time in gun shops. Yep. <laughs> Maybe a little too much. <laughs> and I've I've never seen a criminal walk in and buy a gun. Right, me neither, man. Like right, like you never you right? Seriously. I've like never, it's always because when I walk in and I go, Ooh, that's a nice gun. Yeah. Can I see that? The first question they say to me is, Can I see, see your a license? license? Right. And then if you want to buy it. You can't even buy it with just your license because you need your license and you need your PIN number. Correct. Your state-issued PIN state number. Your state-issued PIN number. Like a prisoner. I cannot buy a gun. I, again, if anybody doesn't know, yeah. uh, you would think with my license, my Class A large capacity, which is in the state of Massachusetts, that's the highest, right? We, yep. we decide a machine, like having the automatic. Besides a green card. Besides yeah. a green card. That's yep. the that's the big, right? Yep. So with, with that, I and, I and I still need my, what is it, seven-digit? Four. Four-digit? Four four-digit digit digit. PIN number. Yep. Four-digit. I think mine was more than that, bro. Maybe it is more than that. I think it's more. It is more than that. Six. I think it's six digits. Yeah, because I, I think right now it's in my phone. I got mine because I, I keep my I keep it in my wall. Like I think yeah. I have. I, I should. Yeah, I know it is. It's more. It's six. Yeah, I think it's, it's six, six digits. Five or six. I digits, I yeah. need to have that. So on. So again, you know, talking about gun safety and gun laws. Yeah. Like how? I mean, there's so many already hey, in place. You want, man. you want to hear something fucked up? Try California. I can't even imagine. Hey, there. <laughs> I don't know if they passed it yet or if they're talk they're just talking about passing it where you actually have to you're going to have to get a license to buy ammo <laughs> every time you want to buy ammo. You're going to have to ask the state for permission to buy ammo for the guns that you legally own. That's amazing. It's just it, and again, you know, and and, and they say California being the regulation state, right? Mm. Even the idea of making a vehicle for sale in in the state of California is almost impossible. And I have think, you looked on Amazon lately? Like every product, has, right? It has says, to have, right? What has is to that have like about? a California yes, warning? I will tell you, in my job, I order a lot of stuff from Granger. Yeah, and a lot of the stuff, everything I order from Granger, it's got that little triangle yeah. with the California. Everything. What is that all about? Some what lead, is that lead, all about? Something or lead or right? Like are you so China. Me? China can send us, you know, toys with lead loaded in lead. Yeah. But you can't go to California and right. Like that's the I dude. I don't. Again, I don't know what the hell that's man, all about. But every product I've bought in the last year, it's, it's, somebody's, getting somebody's getting rich. Somebody's getting rich. Somebody's getting rich off the that same thing. state where yeah, people are yeah. shitting on the streets. Shitting on the streets. I think they have better things to be doing <sighs> than to be. Regulating law-abiding citizens. Talking about, listen, we we'll shift. Want to shift a little bit? I've been talking about guns for a long time, and I, I know we're two hours and fifty minutes in, and I want to talk about this a little bit because I, I want your opinion on it. So tonight, Conor McGregor is fighting MMA. Did you know this? Yes. I don't know. Are you are you are you into I'm not, MMA? I'm not, not big. I'm not so really big. Me, me neither. I'm not like a these big fights, yep. whatever. Yeah, yep. but um, we. Yeah. I do have. Um, if you guys are out there, take a listen. Um, uh, Twitter. Uh, our combat, which is the, the word hour, like the time, H O U R combat. Go give them a follow. These guys are fantastic. They're um, always talking about the MMA and they're talking about this Conor McGregor fight. And he's fighting this guy, Cowboy, uh, tonight. Both came in, weighed in at 170 pounds. I don't know if did you get did you catch the weigh in? No. McGregor looks good, man. He really does. Yeah, but he's like two feet shorter than the other. He dude. is two feet shorter, but check and this in, out and in mma that makes a difference it does make a difference reach and height yeah but i will tell you this mcgregor guaranteed for this fight three million dollars no matter what win or knock lose. out whatever it doesn't matter wow. he gets three million even if he gets his ass handed to him he gets three million dollars cowboy on the other hand he is guaranteed he is guaranteed uh is it donald cerrone i think his name is he is guaranteed two hundred thousand. and if he wins four hundred thousand. figure that out bro why? Right? I don't get what. How, he, why would he sign to that? <laughs> you know what? I think a couple of things here. One, uh, in case you didn't know, he's he's thirty six years old. So, so he's a little on that. I I think side. you know what, Dana. I think the whole idea with the I think with UFC, I think they're bringing McGregor back in, and I think this is kind of like a segue. You know, eventually this is to fight Jorge. Like he's gonna fight. Yeah. Like this is all a build up to that, 
And I don't think you could just put him in the ring with Jorge right now. I think I, I think he would get his ass handed to him. So I think bringing him in like this, this guy, this guy, Cowboys, is probably like one of his. He's he's an American, probably one of his last fights. He's gonna probably fight, probably get beat by McGregor. I I, well, think, I didn't real I didn't realize he was that old. So. Yeah, yeah, and I and I think that in itself, like, because even and you know what, and I'll be honest, I thought McGregor was much older. Um, he's thirty one years old, bro. Yeah, he's not. He's only thirty one, and uh, and uh, and um. Jorge, he's, he's also he's thirty five years old. Imagine that. Like I didn't think they were. I didn't think he was that old. But McGregor being that young, obviously, like he's a smaller guy. Yeah. But he came in. Bro, they he's both quick came in, though. One hundred and seventy pounds. He is quick though. And he's a fucking maniac. Yeah, he is. You know what I mean? So I, you know what? Like not to just get on kind of root for for the McGregor thing, but I kind of hope because I'd like to see him fight again. I like, you know, and I and I, you'll have to forgive me for saying this out loud. Callan Kaepernick. I, I, bro, I, you know what? Come I hate, and now we know what he is. We know what he is now. But before we knew what he was, we knew what he, he was a long time ago. But, but you know what? When he was in San Francisco there for that, those beginning couple, he was, he was kind of, he was interesting, man. It was, you know, what the fuck happened to him? I though? know what, Forget, like, you put, know what? Put, Yoko. Uh, hey. The Yoko Ono effect. Dude. He, it was that girlfriend. Guy. He ended up getting that girlfriend. She was like an activist, like maniac, yeah. right? Like this. No, 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 no. Like I'm not. That's not even like. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's do. Put the kneeling aside. Okay. Put the yep. stupid yep. Yep. cop hate and bullshit yep. aside. Yep. Put yep. all that aside. Yep. What happened? He was a decent quarterback. Like yeah, I remember yeah. watching him and going, right, right, kissing biceps. Like wow. he was. Like this dude is all right. Like he, yeah. he might actually yeah. be all right. Franchise, and, right? And then all of a sudden, to power the pussy. What the fuck? He can't I'm throw telling a ball. You, I'm telling you right now, power the pussy. That's what happened to him. He he met that girl. If you go look in history, it was right after he. I can't. Her name escapes me. But she had some. She was like a it's social. Not important. She was like a socialista. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. She's hot. I mean, she's like really good looking and pretty and all yeah. that. But 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 as soon as he got with her and those the whole social injustice thing started happening, he grew out his afro. Like he, yeah. you know what? Listen, guys. I don't know if you know this. He's half white. So, yeah. you know, he, 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 right. He <laughs> kind of kills your case. He really does yeah. kill your case, bro. You're, yeah. you're, you're playing both sides. So you, you, you nap out your Afro. So you make yourself completely black yeah. and then you have a message and an agenda He's trying to make himself relevant. That's again. it, man. And you know what? Dude, when you have companies like Nike, which pisses me off because I own a lot of Nike gear, pisses me off when you I don't, back. I you, won't buy well, it. Anymore. No, I'm not buying anymore, but what I already have, yeah. I have. I mean, yeah. I, I got my dad sneakers. They're Nikes, man. They're comfortable. <laughs> you know, my kids yeah. call them dad sneakers. I get a pair for yeah, Christmas yeah, every yeah. year. But yeah. my, my the bottom line is, you know, you got companies like that that back people with those kind of ideas. Again, you don't know the situation. And how disrespectful is that to the law and the, not just the law, but just everyone, you know, because it's, it's everybody. We should all be offended by that. And again, I was, I, Steve, I know you will agree with me when you say this, you, you, you can't like everything that's going on in this country, right? And at any one given that there's gotta be some things in this that you're not happy with, right? That just, right. but does that ever sway the way you feel about your country? No. Does that sway the way you feel about the flag and the fact that we have troops and people that are dying for the fact that you and I can get up every day and be miserable? Like, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. but, but in all no, so, so when you take a knee like that, man, I get it, bro. You, you know what you Listen, think you want? You, you want to fight? Listen, here's the thing. Here's, what's, here's, what's the fight? Here's, here's here's my thing. He's got a lot of fights, right? Whatever. Listen, you, you want to fight whatever the environment. You want to fight you, you, police brutality. You think there's a police brutality issue? Okay, listen. Does it happen? Absolutely. Yes. You want to fight it? Fine. Hey, I'm down with that. Yep. Why are you kneeling for the American flag? That's the thing. Why? What? Dude, because, that's your flag. Well, but 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 again, I I think you lose, and, and this is what the point. I think you lose sight of what the flag represents, and right. you get so caught up in your own agenda yeah. that now the news and the media is paying attention to that. Well, because here's the thing: like you you could have had people on your side. You said, yes. "All right, listen, yes, this police brutality, even you know whatever, right? White on black, okay? That's yeah, fine. There, there's fine. a problem, fine, dude. You might you might get me on board. You have influence. Show, show it to me. Show it to me." Show it to Show me. Show it to me. Absolutely. Right. Don't, what, but but you lost me. Yeah, when you do it. When you do yeah, stupid yeah. shit like kneeling you know for the flag. Funny? He had that, me. He had that practice recently, right? He yeah. had that practice in Atlanta, like the whole, the dog and pony show. We had everybody show up. <laughs> the one that didn't exist. Right. That he moved. That he moved and, and yeah, then, like all of that. And then was upset. And the best part of that story, yeah. the wide receiver he used, he got, got signed. Washington Redskins. <laughs> Wasn't and that love, great? Hey, yeah, the Washington Redskins. It. Yeah, that was fantastic. I love it. But, you know, even in doing that, right, you would think that he was given another opportunity. 
and that teams and you know like everybody sent somebody just so that they wouldn't say you didn't send somebody, yeah, yeah, right? Because yeah, yeah. it would have been, right. It would have been, been if you didn't and, show up, yeah. then you would have been racist. So you're given this opportunity again. I honestly, between you and I, Steve, I thought like he, sh- something shifted for him. I honestly thought like, you know what? Maybe somebody got to him and said, listen, you got a very short window here where you yeah. can still play in the NFL and compete and be successful. Maybe you kind of put this kind of this, this, this fight aside yeah. and you take, you do you and you play the sport and you, right. Cause, cause you could be make captivating, your make your money, right? Absolutely. Like do what you got. And then later on, bro, write a book. You know what I mean? But when I thought, I thought he was going to get picked up. I thought somebody was going to pick him up because there is a desperate need for quarterbacks. And I said to myself, I said, gee, and I was talking to AJ and I said, Hey, listen, I said, what? How funny it's going to be when Colin Kaepernick's playing for you know, let's say Cleveland, right? Like whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, I said, you know, what are they going to do? Not record him when he comes on the field? And he, my son says, no, they just won't have him come on the field. And it never even dawned on me that that right, like it's yeah. that simple. So what do you do? You just keep him in the locker room after the national anthem. Then you send him out there. Yeah. Like nobody has to know, right? Like Absolutely. so, so, so. Well, Even, they did that. They did that with Pittsburgh for a while. Yeah, Remember they, when the whole team yeah, wanted to kneel team, and shit? Right, they right. Just, so, so, but I didn't even think that that's something that could have been an option for him to do or the team that picked him up to do. But nobody even, like, right there at that interview when he went well, on that Well, because right at the last moment. He, I am ready. We are ready. Right? Yeah, right? At the last minute, he pulls some stupid childish. Yeah, again. Pull, I don't know. I don't want it there. I want it here. <sighs> like, really? You have this... NFL facility. They said he wanted to control the media narrative. That's, well, that's what it was. And that's what he wanted to do. And look, he did. And now he doesn't have a job. That was terrible. So And you know, and what a what a what a huge waste of time for everybody. Again, just another reason to be in the news. And again, and I thought you know how many do you know how many people flew down there? I know, right? And killed the environment. Right. <laughs> imagine. Imagine. Imagine that. Dude, they killed the fucking environment. Yeah, they to killed. To fly yeah. down there for yeah. nothing. Yeah. There's some bird. Greta. There's, there's some bird, yeah. Greta is pissed. Yes. There, How dare there you. There was a turtle or a frog or something that is no longer in existence because yeah. of all the flying that took place. I tell you, man, like full circle. Yeah. Steve, I first of all, let me say that you have a radio voice. I mean, I know you You said you might uh, yeah. mention, but you mm-hmm. do. Yeah, very soothing voice. I'm actually enjoying myself. I'm sure the fans <laughs> are going to enjoy this, I mean, immensely. I mean, we could... Listen, we are two hours and twenty five minutes into this podcast, and I know you and I. We could I'm probably, just warming up. What are you we're, about? Right, we could like keep going on here, but you know we do have to come to a close at some point. But I do want to mention a couple of things that I don't want to lose sight on. You know, one always the Shriners Children's Hospital. I'm a huge advocate yeah. for them, and I always like to mention them in the podcast. Always a shout out to my brother Lou because it wouldn't be a podcast if I didn't Lou. mention brother Lou, um, who is probably my aside from you, sir, my biggest fan. Um, but you know, at some point we gotta, we gotta come to an end. Um, uh, but you know, I, I know we talked about a little bit about Etsy and I just want to mention it again. If, 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 you know, you got the shirt, man, like, yeah. what, what'd you think? I mean, yeah. quality Where shirt. It? Where is it though? Oh, that's all right. You he gotta, promised he was going to wear it. And then he went home <laughs> after work, threw on I a got mine on. Didn't look, even, I got, look, I got mine on. Didn't even like think a, about no, it. That's all right, man. Hey, halfway here, I went. Oh, Listen, shit. in all fairness, and in, in, in the, in the audience, just so you know, Steve worked today. You worked a full, you worked a full shift, brother. Yeah, I worked still, a ten-hour day today, and you still made it here today. It's snowing out. It's miserable. You still kept your word. You, you were here. You were here when you said you were going to be here to be a part of that podcast, and I am truly grateful for that. And I, you know what, uh, I think awesome being here, right, bro. I, you know, and I was talking. I've to been Rachel. looking forward to this, just so you know. I, I, yes, and yes. you can tell Rachel. Yep. That. I hope she wasn't talking about me because I always <laughs> said I will be here yes, when you when yes, I get the call yes, yes. I will show up. Do you know what? Can I be honest? And I'm going to be honest with you. The reason I waited a little bit was I honestly wanted to have something for you to be a part of. Like when I started the podcast, you know, you obviously I mean I know I mention this all the time. It's like a, it's a dream, and I'm here, and you guys yeah. all know the story. But to actually have something, create it, and now that it actually has traction, Steve. Like there are people listening. I would never want to waste. A podcast with you here, yeah, with but nobody just talking listening. is always fun. Yeah, man, and now, yeah. but knowing that I, there's an audience, there are yeah. people that are listening. No, I get it. I get and it. And the idea that I this is only gonna this is only gonna increase listening. I mean, this is again, this is the content that I was always I was I know I knew that once we sat down and we sat yeah. down and had a conversation, like there's just so much commonality. Do we even talk about guns? 
A little bit. I think we might have, right? I, mean, <laughs> we like, more, I think we were more political than anything I, I, else. I think, I think we did, but I mean, there was some That's gun right. talk in there, and you know what? I, and I'll always kind of give like a little heads up of what we think we're going to do, but at the end of the day, brother, like I have a whole, I took, I mean, and none of it because- I'm, I'm looking over there. Yeah, no. there's, I mean, there's, I mean, you know, again, I, a lot of it, like all the stuff that happened in 1976, you know what? Quite honestly, at this point, it really doesn't matter yeah, because not important. there was so much substance Wasn't that what we good talked about. Yeah. I'm hoping that, you know what? We walk away from this today, brother, and we just say, listen, when's the next time you come and back and you know again these topics are just open-ended because yeah. i mean i think you and i uh again very like-minded uh but yet i mean i think we have different views on certain things and we look at yeah things i differently. think i think me and you definitely have different views on uh universal health care yeah i think I, yeah definitely you know I, what and that's and i think that that's a great segue for i, I mean we, we I talk about so. the next podcast and we talk about health care yeah. and where that is because again i think that that'd be a great topic for both of us to get into i think there's a little maybe a difference of opinion have you ever experienced it uh i have not i have not but i do have family that lives on the northern border and from what i've heard from them maybe because where they're at i mean they're right in toronto mississauga they're right in the middle of maybe because that's where they're at maybe Maybe that's what it is i don't i i again right right i've i've never personally experienced it myself right but like i have family in 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 Portugal, yep, right? So yep. socialist Portugal, yep, where yep, yep. everything's free, yep, right? Yep. Like Bernie wants, and um, I, I, but I get the listen, cost. I get the cost in that, and you know, listen, it's, it's, I, no, it's not even the cost. Yep. It's because I mean, it is the cost, but it's not the cost. Right. It's it's I've literally known people that have died, yep. waiting for waiting surgery, for, waiting for health. Yeah. yeah so uh, it. Yeah. it yeah, it's a very slippery slope. So, with that said, brother, that's <laughs> I think that we talk about that on the next one, brother. I think we make this like I mean, again, now now that you're a co-host on the show, like we we will continue to do this. We'll we'll bring you back in whenever you're um, ready. Yeah, man, we'll just I mean, we'll keep the flow going. I mean, this I don't want I don't want to hog everything though. You know no, what I mean? Man, you we know, need to bring in some more people, but I think so. Whenever, but I, I think I think whenever you're ready, I, listen, yeah, I'd man. be more than happy to come back. Listen, I can I tell you, uh, and I and I was gonna say when I was talking to Rachel about it. The humble, it's very humbling for me, the idea that you'd want to be a part of the podcast. Because if I if I look at this from the outside looking in, I say to myself, gee, if Steve wants to be a part of the podcast, then you must have, you must think highly of the podcast. Oh, you I must, do. Because if you didn't, like, you, what the hell would you want to be on a podcast, yeah. right? You know what's so, funny is sometimes, like, it'll come out Sunday night or Monday morning yep, or whatever, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I won't listen to it because it'll be Monday morning, my day yeah. off. Yep. You would think that I could just no. I don't want to listen to it in pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to listen to it. My brother does the same thing. Like I yeah, want to yeah, sit yeah, and he want it. Did, like, I, yeah. If I'm driving or something, like I, I literally, I want to, I want to hear the whole thing yep. once. sitting. I don't want to break it up because then, with my memory, <laughs> yeah, I forget yeah, yeah. what where we left We're off. Right, yeah, and I just want right, to listen right, to the whole right. thing. And you know, and so I, sometimes it's like Tuesday, Wednesday before I can actually listen yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah. But I look forward to and it. And it's every funny because, so. and I kind of look for you. You know, there are a couple of people that I mentioned, like I said, and you're one of those people. And I kind of look for those comments from you because I, yeah. I always appreciate the honesty. Because guys, this doesn't get any better. Like if, if everybody keeps saying, "Yeah, hey, great, fantastic," like, okay, yeah. well, well, how does it get better? Like, how do I, yeah. how do I make the podcast look? How does Joe Rogan get 400,000 listens a day? Like, what is he doing? Right? I'm going to be honest with you guys. Other than the topics and having, like, I don't know, like, famous people come into a studio, what's he doing differently or better than I am? Like, I, right? Well, for so- a lot, I, I'm going to be honest with you. For a lot of them, he's, he's their, um, their pot guru. And he's, he's put, listen, dude, I, yeah, but, right, but he's pushing that, and a lot yeah. of them are listening for that reason. But, Right, but it, but but even that, like, the idea of like four hundred thousand people listening to his yeah. podcast, right? Yeah. And I say to my, and I listen to him, and I say to myself, all right, I'm gonna listen to Joe Rogan because you know what? It's almost like if 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 you're watching somebody paint a painting, right? I want to watch a technique. Like, yeah. all right, how do you? How is he doing the shading? How is he? So yeah. I'm listening to Joe Rogan, going, gee, what's he doing? You know what's funny is I I can't listen to Joe Rogan. Mm. I have to watch it. Right, that me too. That's funny you say that because I watch half, him on YouTube. Half, yeah, I put him on half, YouTube. Half yeah, the yeah, yeah, shit yeah, that yeah. he's yeah. talking about, they'll yeah. throw it up on the screen. Yes, yes. Or yes, um, yes. You know what I'm saying? Or even just his mannerisms yeah. and, and the way he reacts. I think he's on purpose to, to draw like the audience to yeah. like the YouTube channel because you already have. That's like, what Ben Shapiro kind of pisses me off. Mm, yeah, because he does the same thing. I listen to him. Yeah, yeah and you want he does the same thing because yeah. he'll bring stuff yep. up. He'll play clips, and you can't see it. Yep. 
And then he'll only do like an hour. Right. And then he's like, well, if you want the rest, you can yeah, go subscribe. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, And that's, that's yeah. where. So. And I, you know what? And even that, like, I, and, I, and again, I, going two hours and 30 minutes in, I was, I mentioned sponsorship. I don't have, I don't have a curfew. I that's promise. cool, man. No, me neither. Me neither. Just, you're going to have people like fall asleep at the wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I um I, I was talking about like sponsorships for the show. Like I mean yeah. I think if the show's gonna grow and we're gonna get into that point where you know what, bro, maybe I'd like to do this like more than once a week. You know what I mean? But I only do it once a week now because I think, you know, I wanna have the substance. But I mean, obviously, like you and I, yeah. if we would do this three days a week, bro, we would have content. Like we're you know what most the podcasts way shit's going down right? lately. Yeah. Most podcasts are like an hour. Like I typically do a two hour show yeah. because it's seven days. You know what I mean? So I figure a two hour show is good for but if you're doing this more often, like three days a week, four days a week and you have a sponsor, I mean, then it becomes your job, right? Like, that's... Yeah. Well, how cool is that, man? To be able to sit here, like Joe Rogan, for example, right. and have great people come in, great guests, and, and deliver a product that now, again, you have a consistent audience. But again, it's finding that right sponsorship. And I said it from day one, and I'll say it. I will not ever do a commercial on here. I will do a read. Like, you know, I mentioned John Tassonis. Yep. And Yaya's on Facebook. Oh, Yaya. Right, man? Jesus. Right? I haven't been there in a while either. That's Once my a fault. week, go Greek. Like, that's so it. Yaya's. Right? Mm. So, so e even in that, like, I mentioned and I talk about it, that's how I'd like to do a sponsorship. I don't want to, like, uh, you know, oh, we'll be right back. I don't want to do yeah, that. Yeah, it would yeah. be like, hey, listen, you know, go eat at Johnny's restaurant. You, you know listen, what I mean? Do you listen to Graham Adel? Graham Allen at all? No, I did not. You I should not. try that. Yeah? I yeah. will. Dear America Podcast. Dear America Podcast. I'm not trying to stare yeah. anybody away from No, yours. no, no, right, yeah, but that's, this, this is, is great stuff. He is, he's a yeah. vet, and uh, dude, he calls people out. I love it. Good, good. It, 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 well, the reason I even brought that up is because that's kind of what he does. Like, he has We the People holsters yeah, 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 yeah. sponsoring him and, and yeah. all these other things Yeah, and stuff. like cool stuff yeah. like that. And he that just, just reads it. He, like, he just yeah, reads you know, it. Like, yeah. it's part of the show. So, I mean, like I said, so I only mention it, throw it out there. Anybody who's listening and anybody who's interested in doing, like, a sponsorship and being a part of the show and the Bobby Kudo show... If you enjoy what you're hearing, you enjoy what you're listening to, I mean, having Steve on the show today is just testament to where the show is going. I think, you know, the idea that I could have somebody of your caliber, your knowledge. My caliber. You listen, saying you know, that, I People do... that actually know me yeah, are laughing yeah. at you well, right they, now. Well, they shouldn't laugh because, you know what, I somebody like <laughs> myself, I appreciate what I know about you, Steve, and, and the value that you bring to my life. You know what I mean? Well, I thank you. I always appreciate, you know yeah. what, I can appreciate the 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 craftsman i can appreciate the educator you know what i mean and in someone yourself like yourself and i have friends and other friends and i know people that listen that are very passionate about certain things and even though you're passionate about it it doesn't mean you're very good at it or no yeah you my friend not only are you passionate and responsible but you're very knowledgeable about what you talk about people could talk shit people can say what they want to say but you have the knowledge and you've done the research and you've educated yourself in a manner that you're able to teach people the right way to go about handling probably one of the most controversial and you know what in all fairness dangerous mechanisms on the planet oh absolutely a, a, a gun with a long hand yeah, right with, yeah dangerous or, definitely if you're not it, it, listen it's like anything else right i mean if you start throwing hammers at people right they're right. dangerous like, yeah they're dangerous but like, if you know how to use a hammer then properly, you're good then you're good to go yeah then you're good to go so, so again you know and, and give you credit again just one more time if you don't mind just throw your with your instagram what's the best way like if i was gonna like i mentioned it earlier if i was gonna book a course with you. What's the best way to get in touch with you? So the best way to get in touch with me is South Coast uh, Firearm Safety on Facebook. Okay. Or um, is there an email in there? Uh, there is. It's 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 funny, but it's Magoo ten twenty five at yahoo dot com. So M A G O O ten twenty five at yahoo dot com. Okay. And typically, if I wanted to book a, an a, a, like a, a class with you, yep. how much time do I need? Like typically a week, two weeks, couple weeks. Uh, it, you know, just so I can set a date and 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 get it you know what i mean to get it set up because right, i only right, have right, right. I, I have a full-time job just sure. like you right, right? Yep, so yep yep you know i have certain days off so i i try and work around people's schedules yep. and and you know I, I i'll do sundays whatever like we yep. can work it out yep that's yep. the best way right 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 so let's so just again that's the way to get a hold of you yep uh the magoo email Magoo1025 uh, at yahoo.com. Uh, and then, of course, South Coast Firearm Safety on Facebook. Facebook and then Instagram. And then Instagram is SCFS underscore Steve. And then, of course, if, if I was to book it, how many people? It was prime. What would be a good number for people if I was going to? Uh, listen, I, I'll do classes for one people. For one people. Yep. For one people. For one people. Okay? <laughs> one person. You just got to come to me. All right. And I'm in New Bedford. If you want 
you know, a class, you know, five or more, yep. I'll come to you. Yep. Now, I mean, I know you got listeners in Australia and stuff. I do, man. I'm they not do. going to Australia. It rained in Australia. I would, I would love to it? go, but I can't afford it. <laughs> and going, doing a class down there is not worth it to me. Right. Right. <laughs> Although, well, unless it's all expensive. Well, well listen, like hey, you listen. I mean? If like you want to pay, yeah, yeah right. Come I'll on, go. Don. Right. I'll go. It rained in Australia, brother. Thank God. Did you see that? Yeah. Amazing. I, I actually posted it uh, on tw- on my Twitter account. Uh, on the Bobby love, Kudo show, I love that Twitter, don't you? I do, man. Yeah, Dude, I, can't, I can't. I can't. I try, man. I can't. This is too much. I can't survive without it. I never used it. I was. I'm an Instagram guy. You know what I mean? Instagram. I, I like Instagram. That's my thing, man. I'm new to Facebook. I never had Facebook before. Nah, I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. I mean, yeah. I'm a mess with that. And then Twitter, brother. I got to tell you, I don't think the show would have the success it has without. How, oh, dude? How can you it? navigate yeah, all it, of that brother, at once? I, dude. I realize how bad my eyes are because I'm like I'm, when I'm trying to scroll through that and I'm trying to. And it's just, Dude, it can't. takes, you know what, one of those posts, I don't think people appreciate it. Like, it takes me like 45 minutes an hour to put a post together. Because you got, with Twitter, unlike Instagram, you know, like if you post to Instagram, if you make a, like a typo, you yeah. can go in there and hit edit and fix yeah. it. In Twitter, you can't. No. Once you post it, you like have to delete no, it and then redo yeah. it. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you go to all this trouble. I make the memes. I do like the gifts. I do the whole thing and then put it out there. And then I look and then I, you know, the word this is the. And you're like, what the? You know what I mean? Now I got to yeah. do it all over. So, again. Twitter is just too much for me. It man. is. I can't, like, yeah. it, there's just. There is a you, lot. You follow yeah. people, it's right? It's the opposite. It's the op- yeah. Instagram, you scroll down, yeah. and Twitter, you go opposite. But even that, dude, like, just to, to, to read everybody's posts. By the time I get. To the bottom, not even scrolling, just to the bottom of the page. Yeah. It's already telling me I got new yeah, posts. Yeah, there's man. new posts. It's, like, it's so tough. I can't keep up. You, you got to, you know what, man? For me, like, I, I just scroll and I pick and choose. And there are some selected few, like anything else, that get my attention. But outside of that, I'm just kind of using it as a catalyst for the show. I don't know. It's just, I keep you, trying, man. Brother, you can't, can't, I'm telling you, you can't survive. When I did the research for the show, when I finally decided I was going to do a podcast, I, and all the research that I did, they bottom line, you cannot survive in this in this market without a Facebook and an, a, a Twitter and Instagram. Like you absolutely, otherwise nobody knows you exist because yeah. the, the the pool of Twitter, pod- no Twitter Twitter is no. tw- dude Twitter dude, is the look thing. At, look at the president, but it, but dude, right? Yeah. Like everything in his grandma. He's the right? reason I can't keep up. Right, right. Like I mean, <laughs> the guy is not. And I give him credit. I, I will, he's older than me. Yeah, and he's much better at that than I you am. You think he's really doing it? That's what I wonder, bro. That's a good question. Like, you know I, think, I, I, I think this, at I, one point, he it might was have. Him. I think now he's going, hey, listen, blah, 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 yeah. and somebody's typing that out with I the just, proper I, grammar, and they're making sure he's yeah. spelling things right because every single word, period, yeah. like they, they are, they a, dissect that to yeah, the. Yeah, a public service announcement. Yeah. Punctuation makes a difference. It does. Huge. It does. Commas are people. very, very important. Right, man? Like, it, yeah. it, it, you need to have them. And even that, like, I'm Portuguese. And uh, <laughs> Siri's, Siri doesn't like me because I'm from Boston. Yeah. So automatically, I know I have a very strong accent, and already that doesn't help me. Yeah. So and like, even now, I type how I write. Like, if you're reading something on Twitter, it's the way I'm saying it. So yeah. it may not always be, like, exactly correct, but if you're reading it and it's punctuational, you know what I'm trying to say. You know right, what I mean? Like, right. I think you need to have some personality. Yeah, but you got people that are just yeah, it's trying, terrible. trying to find that. Yeah, that's they're yeah. looking for it. They're looking for it. Yeah. You know, and I will say something. It's, I'm glad you mentioned that. In episode 22, um, I dedicated the, the episode to Neil Pert from from Rush. He yeah. passed away. Uh, amazing, amazing drummer. And I mentioned in the beginning of the podcast, and I kind of got a little. I, 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 I let me apologize to everyone if you're listening. If you're a Rush fan, I mentioned that he was born in 1967. The truth of the matter is, he was not. He was born in 51. He was 67 years old when he passed. So I just wanted to kind of put that correction yeah, in there. Yeah, autocorrect. Ep- autocorrect on episode 22. Yeah. That I, I apologize. No disrespect to him or his family, but he died at the age of 67. So I mean, wow, he was young still, huh? He was still young, man. Wow. But there, there was a lot of tragedy in his life. I know his wife was. I think his wife passed from cancer, and his children, I think, had some battle with cancer. Three and a half years, he, he ended up dying from brain cancer. That's what ended up taking him out. Wow. But I mean, you don't have to know anything about music if you listen. To you hear a rush song, everybody man, knows it. Unbelievable yeah. talent, and yeah. it's just a tragedy to lose somebody like that. You know, I think like Chris Cornell. I think of you know, the the the. the just a bad he feels like these people that are just oh, so amazing and so See, I was, talented. I was, I was a big Lincoln Park fan. Me too, man. Remember, like, I was just listening right, to Numb on my way here, right? Right. Because people what, on the highway were making me numb. That, right. So right. and do you drive on twenty four? Do you ever drive on Route twenty four? I don't know that you would have to. Because you know I mean, how many I, times I drive by your house in a week? 
I I cannot draw it. 24, bro. Yeah. I have like literally just tried to, I try to I, like forget it even exists. It's, just, yeah, it's unbelievable. It's terrible. Dude, it's the stairway to everything around it, here. Right? Man. It and really it, is. There's no yeah. way around it. And it's terrible. It's the gauntlet. Like it's you, the worst. You literally. Dude, they, just, they just redid it, right? So like yeah. they did this one good thing. A lot of people won't know what the hell I'm talking about, but you will. Yep. So you come off a of 140 and you get on 24 North, yes. right? They added that third lane so you can get straight yes, up. Yes, yeah, 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 right. Beautiful right, thing. Right, right, right. Dude, the asphalt's already gone. Right. D- torn up. Like, it's it's all hacked up. Dude, it's yeah. like you drive down there and you're hitting three potholes it, in it, a row. You're right. You're trying to avoid being in that lane. Now, the purpose of the lane is to let you, like, yeah. catch up, speed, speed up, up yeah. to get into the lane. And now you don't even want to ride in it because it's all... Dude, there's, like, literally three in a row. Do you that... ever drive in Fall River at all? Do you ever... Do you, do you make it to Fall River? Do I want... Do I... Do I? Brother. Unfortunately, I, yes. Every Sunday, if you listen to the podcast, every Sunday I go yeah. see my mom. You know, I yeah. mention it. I drive on Eastern Avenue. Somebody painted the road. Like, I, I don't know. Again, I, it, it boggles my mind. <laughs> the, the potholes, bro, uh, literally, like, if yeah. you hit a pothole, like, I got 22-inch wheels on my truck. If I hit this pothole, I'm losing a wheel. Like, that's how big these are. And it's, they, they, they painted in, like, a bicycle lane. Yeah. And all the potholes are in the bicycle lane. If you rode your bicycle in the bicycle lane, you're going to die. Yeah. You're, you're not going to make it. <laughs> and I say to myself, like, Dude. who, like. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What is with all the fucking bicycle lanes? I don't know, man. Like, I guess they're trying to, because they're trying to save the planet. Like, Dude, if, if you ride a bike, then There's you know, not that many fucking people no, on bikes. No. And I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> hey, and let's be honest, right? New Bedford yeah. did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. And let's be honest. Yeah. Most people riding around on bicycles. Yeah, it's because they lost the license. So they're, Dude, they're, yeah, they're crackheads. Yeah, they are. Yeah, okay. Yeah, typically. So, yeah, typically. We're giving them their own lane now? Uh, well, if you're a crackhead, I guess if you're on crack, then I guess you want to have a lane so maybe you don't drive into oncoming I don't traffic. Just, I, I, I don't know, I'm brother. I do know that if you're a crackhead and you're on a bicycle in Fall River, you're going to die because the potholes. Gonna, <laughs> you're not, <laughs> you're not going to make oh, it, bro. Man. It is that. I am, I'm dead serious. Like, and I even hate to. It's it's grotesque enough that you notice it. Like, you can't help it. And you're going to notice yeah. it now. Oh, no. Yeah, like you go up East oh, Avenue. I know exactly you, what you're I mean, talking it, about. It is unbelievable that somebody, like, listen, man, you got one job, bro. You're the listen. You're the tar guy for the city of like yeah. public works. You got one job, brother, and you allow that to happen. Like just one job, man. Hey. Like it's not even a hard hey. one. It's not. It's not a side street. Ugh. It's like it's, it's a it, main it, road, bro. Uh, right. It's right. one of the main yes. roads. Yes, of an artery. Road. You would call it like an artery. Yeah. yeah. Like it's it's, and and that's and that's and the people paying taxes and they pay the rain tax. They pay all the taxes, but yeah. yet somehow New Bedford's we, the same way. Yeah. Dude, we just spent. Terrible. I think New Bedford spent. This, I don't know if you've driven down Route 18 lately. Mm. Well, that, that, I'll be honest, with you, I almost got lost because it's it's all different now. From yeah. the, I mean, you know, you see, see those bushes on the side. A of little the history. You and I, we worked in New Bedford together, yeah. Comcast yeah. together, like the South End. Like it, it was, yeah. it was the North. It was us. That was us. Yeah. And now I go down 18, and I, I I'm not sure like where. To yeah. get, where do I get off? Over you see here? the bushes on the side of Route 18. What is that? Three hundred thousand dollars worth of bushes. Where do they come from? They, did they ship them in from uh, Zimbabwe or something? Like listen, where do they? I, I couldn't tell you, but. It actually looks stupid because the <laughs> N goes into the B and it does. But it's all like concrete. Like it's not yeah. even like it's pretty, it, it, right? It's all like yeah. concrete. And then you got these yeah. bushes that just out of nowhere. So then, and then for the people that are not familiar with the area, mm. they took a two lane highway each each way. Yep. Right. Speed limits were like forty five, I believe, yep. if I'm not mistaken. And they literally just put crosswalks across. It, like six different spots so, what, right. so they actually put lights at those crosswalks yeah but now so you're now you're on a highway you're wasn't doing, there a bridge there was a pedestrian there bridge. was a pedestrian bridge we knocked bridge. that down we knocked that down and so we put you knocked down, down the bridge you put walkways in and increase the speed limit it's perfect it's a perfect it's perfect like yeah. that's engineering at its finest right there hey. oh amazing bro what what's gonna happen is the yeah. first person's gonna get hit yeah and then yeah they're gonna tear it all yeah. up yeah yeah uh, you you wonder, you wonder honestly you wonder and you think to yourself like who's making those decisions and you know what know. shame on me because maybe I'm the guy that should go to that town meeting like maybe you should be the guy going to that town meeting yeah because maybe that's where they're making those decisions because I, I I don't go I don't typically go because I again me I'm like what am I what am I yeah. right? no that that's like, like, that I've been to city council meetings yep. and I've sat there and I've I did go to the one here like what, if, you, if you knew Berkeley had a very a major you remember they were trying to restrict gun laws? That was in Berkeley. Berkeley was oh. going to pass a law 
um, as far as firearms go and restricting firearms in the town of Berkeley. Oh, like being able to shoot on your own yeah, land. On your own land. You remember that? And yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody had complained. That was a while ago. Uh, probably like a year, maybe a year and a half ago, maybe two yeah. years ago. Somebody shot and it was somebody's backyard. Like, and they were afraid. Like, what we talked about earlier, knowing what your boundaries are. Yeah. And something had taken place and right away, Berkeley was going to try to pass some type of town legislation that you couldn't shoot a firearm in your backyard if you wanted to. Like, so that didn't happen. A lot of people showed up. I showed up. There were a hundred. Yeah, because it's Berkeley. Because it's Berkeley. Yes, and it's yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's right. farmland. So there's still yeah. normal people here. We have a lot of people wearing camouflage baseball hats. So that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's you, that. That makes listen. Those are the greatest. Oh, people absolutely. In, the world, in my absolutely. opinion, absolutely. I'm. I live with them. I lived amongst them. That's. Yeah. I. Like, I'm kind of jealous. I love it. Here, I'm, man. I'm, dude, I'm so jealous. Yeah. Like I drove down your driveway and yeah. I went, fuck. I'm like, bro, this was just luck. Honest yeah. to God, bro. This no, I remember I remember that. Yeah. I, like I remember you telling me that. Yeah, it was but a dude, very lucky wow. situation. I mean just, I just, yeah, I love it here, bro. I'll, I'll, I you know I hate to be morbid, guy, but I'll I'd, die I'll die I'd, here. I'm gonna drag I'd, my dick body out of this place. Dude, I'd I'd give my left leg for your garage. Yeah, it's pretty nice too, man. I don't mean yeah, I do like, really, alone. Yeah, yeah, I love it. That was one of the reasons why we bought this place. Yeah, it, it just just luck, bro. Just I, I'm telling you, man. Yeah. The the stars were aligned; it all worked out. I mean, otherwise, <laughs> I'm I, happy for you, bro. I'd probably good. still be in the city if it wasn't. You know, if this didn't happen, like a, a yeah. foreclosure, like it was all, it all worked out, man. I'd still be in the river. I would. I'd be in the river. You, you know that. That's so. Here I am, bro. I love it here. And dude, I'm so glad you're here. I'm this glad is, I'm here too. You know what I mean? I'm we here. just keep talking. You know, we're I know. Be at three I know, hours. So. I know. Actually, we're two hours and forty eight minutes. We gotta. I got it. Yeah. We got to come nah, on, dude. Bro. I yeah, got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to put my hammer down, like you mentioned. Throwing hammer hammers. What are you? What are you, Pelosi? <laughs> right. Knock, knock. Right. Oh, You're not gonna God. fall off, are you? So listen. Let's. I mean, I'll walk us out of here, but just real quick, uh, things to look forward to next time, bro. We got a lot. We got. Yeah. I mean, we could. I mean, seriously, we could talk about healthcare next time. I mean, we could cut a couple of topics, but. Guys, I'll invite... Talk about Virginia next time. We could talk about Virginia. Well, you know what? Let's see how it turns out on Monday, I'm right? Dying, I'm dying for this. And then problem. we can come back and we can talk about it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, just real quick to walk everybody out of here. Steve, you know, I really appreciate you coming in, brother. I just want to... It means a lot to me that you're here. Um, I think for me, this is a benchmark uh, in, in, in the podcast lifeline. Uh, I think that this is only going to strengthen the show. I think this is only going to bring more listeners in. I mean, I know that... Your friends and family are listening, and I and I and I always mention it, and I say it. Yeah. Tell your friends, tell your family, even your enemies. I don't care who you tell. Just tell them about the show. Tell them to come and listen. Yeah. Otherwise, what's the point, right? Like right. that's what we're Absolutely. doing here. Like this is, again, I, I for me, having an outlet like this where we can have these conversations and we can talk about topics such as this. We talked about a lot of things, brother. Yeah. We um, did. <laughs> and, and we, I mean, from guns to to to, to sexuality to yeah. I mean, you pretty much name it. And I think. If these conversations were taking place all over the country, I think we would all be in a better place. I think, oh, unfortunately, people yeah. aren't having these conversations. They're not talking about these things. And I think, ultimately, at the end of the day, if you can understand, then I believe you can be compassionate. If you don't understand, then I think people just become angry. You know, if I don't know what you're doing, what the hell are you doing? Right, uh, yeah. but if I know what you're doing, you know when you go to the doctors, if he touches you a certain way and you didn't know it was coming, right away you're like, dude, what what are you doing? <laughs> right? But if he tells you, hey, listen, yeah. I'm gonna do this because I want to check for this, then you're like, okay, uh, I'm ready. Right? <laughs> you know what's coming. Brace it. Brace it. So again, that's then, then that's really the, the 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 reason why I do this, bro, is because yeah. I I believe that we all need to keep talking and. You know, one, I, the gift of gab, I love to talk, man. I, I don't know if you no, can tell. No, you? Um, and there's one, if you want to stop me, bro, tie my hands behind my back. Because then I, I mean, you yeah. see my hands what are all over. What am I going to do? Right? Like, I, you're, right? I feel like yeah. Ricky Bobby. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, all in all, brother, I know we're having a lot of fun here today, man. I just, again, I wanted to thank you personally for coming out here and sitting down and doing this. And I just hope that this is the first of many, many episodes I hope for so the two too, of us. Because this was fun. Yeah, I mean, this is a blast. And I, and I know that we'll be back. We'll be doing this again. Um, and then like everybody listen, if you have a second, go over, uh, support the show, uh, shoot us an email, the Bobby Kudo show at gmail.com. Uh, obviously hit us up on Twitter, uh, Instagram and Facebook. I love the comments guys. I know I've mentioned if you guys are watching and you're following, uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, I've mentioned, uh, Apple podcasts. You know, I think the only way the show grows is by metrics. You know what I mean? Everything yeah. I mean, you work at Comcast, brother. You know what metrics is. Jesus means. Christ. Yeah. Um, so in, in my, my case, same idea. Uh, knowing who's listening, people leaving comments, people going in and rating the show. Can you believe some fucking asshole gave me a two rating? Somebody did that. I and might it, know who it is. And that was at the beginning. 
You do? I might know who it is. Who, uh, dude, who was it? Blast him. I'm not blast him. Blast him. Blast him. I can't blast him. All right. Because it's only a hunch. I don't know. All right. I'll tell you what. I t- I, how about after the podcast, we'll go off and maybe you can tell me because maybe- I, I can tell you who I think it was. Yeah. I can't tell you Why for sure. Why would somebody do that? Why would, you know Listen. what? It's not even fair. Like, I, I honestly, I think I was two podcast. I think I was two episodes in. Yeah. And it's not fair. Like, you know what? I, I challenge anybody. Wow. Right? Funny I, bone. Right? I challenge anybody to get your shit together, right? Yeah. Do the research and then put one of these freaking things together and then and then go give somebody a freaking two rating. Man, I'm Doing it tomorrow. <laughs> right? right? <laughs> I quit. You, know, it's just, it's, it, you, you put so yeah. much into this. And you know what? I, I would take the two if I thought I deserved a two. You know what's funny is, is and so you got a two, but did they yeah. put a comment? No comment. Just a two. Just a two. Fuckers. See, that ain't right. If you're going to give somebody a two... Then you tell me why, man. You're right. Give me then a fucking you, explanation. I, I want to know yes, why. I want to know why. I maybe, will take Maybe it. I did something wrong. Maybe I can change it. How am I supposed to get better? Right. Right? That's bullshit. That, so, but uh, outside of that, a lot of fours, a lot of fives. I take the fives. I love the fives. So I encourage everybody, if you have a second, if you haven't done two already, go over there. You're already in there, Apple Podcasts, and just rate the show. You don't even have to leave a comment. If it's a five or up, you don't have to leave a comment. No, no, but That's if you're cool. going to get a two or a, a two, one you or better leave me a freaking Anything note. Anything below a four, you better put a comment. Give me a chance. Listen, I'm not even, just give me a chance. At least give me the opportunity to fix Absolutely. whatever it is that, like, you know what? I'm going to say this word, and I will say this word. My, hairdre- uh, my hairdresser, Jen, she listens to the show. Her boyfriend, Randy, is a huge fan. I don't you know, just I, say hairdresser. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I've been yes, hairdress. I got, I got to go. I go to a hairdress. I get to say like hairstylist or something. Uh, make you sound a little more manly. Yeah, but I get this OCD thing, yeah, and, and I don't yeah. let anybody touch my head but her. But I, I remember this actually. I went there with you one time. I think there when you I was go. On injury. There bro. you go. That's right. That's right. Like so, I go see yeah. Jen, Randy, her boyfriend, uh, great friend, and uh, amazing friend of the show. Uh, I actually, po- I posted a picture of him. He had gotten his T-shirt like you. Yeah, he, yeah, he's yeah. holding it up, um, and he listens to the show as well. And I got to tell you, the word moist. Mm. She hates the word. I, You know, when I laughed. Does I was, she listen? Yeah, she listens. So, moist. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about it the other day, and it was funny because she didn't say anything until I said it twice. And I didn't say it. You would think, all right, you think the word and you think derogatory. Yeah. I was talking about cupcakes. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Well, how do you describe a delicious cupcake? What's mm, one of the... Moist. <laughs> <laughs> so. You know what's funny, dude? A lot of women hate that word. Why? Because everybody automatically it goes there. I don't know. Like I think cupcakes. Like right. You're, I'm thinking bunt cakes. Right. There you go. Right? There you go. No. Delicious. No. Right. No, no, no. That, that, right. Hey, it automatically goes there. That's why. That's funny because you know That's I only why. said it once. You said it like three times. So she's gonna be coming after you. That's yeah, all right. But, but you know my point. Even saying that I is, a, it, I need a haircut anyway. Right. How funny. Right. Because I mean, even that. Somebody imagine if I use that word like consistently yeah that might be enough to turn somebody away from the show absolutely right so like just thinking about like the more but honestly the more you say moist the more stars i'm gonna give you <laughs> see, I can't, see i can't even i can't do it because she'll kill me i won't even do it Dude, yeah. she'll make you ball that is so funny i'm gonna send this to her and she's gonna die hysterically <laughs> she'll be mad at me but she'll die hysterically laughing knowing that i kind of awesome. i outst her on that's this. Awesome. Yeah, see yeah, that's yeah. the kind of stuff i love yeah yeah just funny stuff like just that funny shit, but again you just again knowing i always I bring it up is you know so sensitive, man. I need to render this. Dude, and, we're a bunch of pussies. Yeah. We are turning our children into yeah, a bunch of man. pussies, man. Yeah, yeah. And you know what the yeah, funny thing is? Yeah. It's, I don't even... I, sometimes, uh, you know what? You're going to get me started again. I'm just yeah. going to shut up. I know we have to because we gotta, I'm we'll save it for up. the next one. Because, I mean, I've mentioned it before in the past. And I, yeah. you know what? If you and I want, bro, we can go through 20 episodes and literally talk about these topics and have a, your opinion Dude, on them. You want to hey, all... hear something funny? Yeah. I have. I have. I have Evernote. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you I have a list of shit <laughs> that you've said on this podcast. Yeah, yeah. That I'm like, motherfucker, I'm going to say something <laughs> to him about this. You know what? And I love it. And Dude, there the it list is. is there. I love bro. it. I love it. So so we'll hit that list. You know what you should do? You should actually post that list. And then we'll talk about that. Maybe we'll get you back in here sooner than later, brother. And we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll let's talk about the list. I mean, I, again, <laughs> the one thing I'm telling you is, or I told you before we started recording today, Yeah, you can say it. But if you say it, you gotta own it. Bro. You gotta own it, hey, brother. Listen, yep. that's how you gotta live your life, right? Right, and that's and that's what that and that's what that is. Oh, and that, that's, and there that, was one thing I wanted to say. That's on the go top for it. Say it. don't no regrets, bro. No regrets. We have to eat the babies. We do have to eat the babies, right? Because we have to. <laughs> Guy, I <laughs> was that, that was, the greatest ever. That was the top of my list. Right. I just want you to know. I'm gonna post that list. That's the top of my list. Imagine because. We, 
guy, when I watch that video, right, right we're gonna get started again. I just it, 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 guy, it, it literally it is right, ridiculous. It's, it's like watching. It's like watching and the, the fact like, and the fact. Thank you. That she said nothing and just thank continued you. on with her speech. She, no, bro. She said thank you. She said thank you. <laughs> she. It wasn't nothing. I would have accepted nothing. She actually said Dude, like nothing happened. She said thank you. The crazy bitch said thank you. I. I, again, I, I we can, I mean that's another again that's another three hour podcast, brother. We can get into that, and I and I'm hoping that we can segue and say, you know what, we're gonna hit this on the next one. But I gotta, we gotta, we gotta <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta stop talking. Then I will stop talking. Because you know dude, you're gonna get me going again. I know, I know. But Steve, again, I'm just real drink. quick. Yes, I again <laughs> one more time. Thank you very much for coming hey, out here, brother. It was my I honor appreciate to be it. Here. I I I only hope that we can do this again sooner than later. Um, I the addition waiting on the, you. And we'll do it, bro. We'll, you know what? Let me work it. I, I'm not. I mean, I'll put another show together. But I mean, obviously, like we didn't even touch. We didn't even touch that. We didn't even touch that. So didn't you know what? At that. I got another podcast just sitting here waiting for us for the next one. So let's let's. You know what? Let's talk yeah. about it sooner or later. But you know what, everybody? Look, I just want to thank everyone for. Um, listen, guys. We are two minute, two hours, I should say, and fifty eight minutes into this podcast. So. Thank you to everyone for your. You're gonna your, break that three hour. Mark, I'm gonna. You? you know what? Why don't we try to do it? I mean, I've only you done. Try, so dude. Never... By the time you're done, you're <laughs> gonna right. be way over. Oh yeah, absolutely. But it, you know what? I want to thank everybody for their commitment on this one. Three absolutely. three hours. But I got to tell you, my brother tells me all the time. He goes, Bob, I can't believe how quick the time goes by. Yeah. He goes because my brother does, he does commercial cleaning. So yeah. for him, it's kind of like you. He'll yeah. put he'll press he'll put his phone up. He'll press play and he'll let it play the duration. Yeah. Of the podcast, and he says, he goes, I can't believe how quick it goes by. And you know what? I feel the same way because typically I'll listen to the podcast. Like, we'll record this tonight. I'll edit. I'll do it. I'll do the intro, outro, and I'll listen to the podcast in its entirety before I post it. Like, I won't go to bed till like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Like, I'll, I will make sure. Damn, that, that's commitment yeah, right the man, there. I, I, like, you can't even wait till tomorrow I morning can't, to brother, do this. I can't. I cannot. I am so... I look forward to this so much. Like, I cannot wait to do this. The idea that we've created this, like, I'm right now, I'm like, I feel like I, we just gave birth to a baby. You and I just made a baby. Hey, whoa, 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 easy. I'm telling you, Slow we did. Slow down. We, bro, we just made a baby. We Listen, did. Like, that's I how don't, I, I don't care what you heard on the, in the, <laughs> on the news. Men cannot have babies. Well, you know what? In this case, brother, we just, we birthed the podcast together. We did. <laughs> we did. And I think it was an absolute amazing, beautiful podcast. And I, I, I would imagine if this doesn't get, you know, I, Xfinity and Beyond, I mentioned it to you earlier. Yeah. It's so far, it's the highest grossing podcast, like the most listened. Because people were anticipating people were, answers yeah, that we still have not we gotten. We have not gotten to. But I think that's a great thing because I think this right here, people know what this relationship is. Yeah. And I think, you know, uh, we can get into some of those topics. And like I told you before, brother, I'm an open book, whatever. I got nothing to hide. I, yeah, you know what I mean, I. So, so whatever you got, whatever you want to throw my way, I am, I am an open book. And I will invite anyone. On that end, uh, again, I'm not either side. I, I'm just I'm Bobby Kudo and the yeah, Bobby Kudo yeah, yeah. Show. So whatever questions you have, I mean, yeah. and I invite both pro, anti, whatever you are, pro union, anti, whatever, hit me up. Like, send me. I will answer. I have nothing to hide. Like I, again, yeah. I am in such a beautiful place Ooh, in my life, brother. You're I am gonna get nothing, me in trouble, boy, brother. So so we can get there. We could talk about it, but we can we'll we'll get those answers to. There's a lot of those questions that people are asking, but I I think. I'm going to go on the record right now and say I believe that this podcast will be just as popular, uh, if not more popular than that one. Once people start listening, the word gets out. I hope so. How great this is and the chemistry that we have here. Brother. I don't know. I, I'm um, still I'm still undecided because I want to hear what I sound like. Bro, I'm definitely you, what I look like. You got a radio good. voice, man. You do. You have a radio voice, and I'm telling you. I mean, granted, there's some there's some high sophisticated equipment in here. And oh, I have absolutely. Everything balanced thank, out, but I, thank goodness for that. Right? If uh, not, I'd be screwed. <laughs> but I tell you what, man, you you have a radio voice. Like you have a radio for this. And I mean, and you know what? Listen, podcasting's for everybody. So you know, man, there's there's, there's an audience out there, brother. Listen, and so you I've, never know. I told you, I told you before the show, dude. Yeah, I've done it. I've I've done it, and then I listen to it or I watch it, and yeah. I'm like, yeah, delete. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe this will be a little different. Maybe just oh. just being a different element, and maybe we'll I mean, like you said, this high sophisticated stuff in here. Maybe yeah. it made a difference. Maybe it makes a difference. I don't you know. know I, mean? I don't know. But you know what? I I know that you made a difference today, brother, and and making the show stronger and 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 making it as great as it is. And again, I I am humbled by everyone. I'm humbled that we're here. Twenty three episodes in, brother. I I mean, again, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm congratulations, dude. Thank you. you. Are, listen, not for nothing. Yep. Famous last words, not for nothing. Listen, you do an awesome job. Thank you, man. I look forward to this podcast Damn. every week. 
I'm blushing. I definitely look forward to listening to hearing my name. Yep, yep. Always, and, bro. And, and, always. The promise, and the promise of coming here, I always yep. keep looking forward to that. Yo, imagine the build-up, bro. If this Dude. was a trailer, like a movie trailer. Guy. like if this how, was a porn. Imagine the build-up, right? Money shot right here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> right this is but the money you know shot I mean? listen dude i i in all honesty yep. i love this podcast Thank i look you, forward to it every week and because you never know what the hell's gonna one dude one day you're talking about you know xfinity and the next day you know we're, we're, right what do we you know anything anything dude, anything anything and that's and so, that's the beauty like i keep talking about being organic you know what i mean and that's what i want the show to be just yeah it, it, and, you know, again, and that's what I struggle with, like the seven-day cycle, because yeah. I try to get a little bit of current events in there, and I think it's important. But bro, I think, again, history is so important, brother. And, and you know, I, you, I know you'll agree. I love if history. You, if you forget, then you do, you, you're doomed to repeat it. You know what I mean? Right? We are, we are repeating it. And we're yeah, already repeating it. Yeah, we're already repeating it. It's yeah. already happening. It's if, not, if, you know what? If, you, if, if back, you had to put a finger on it, like the whole Confederacy, the flag, that yeah. that's kind of like where really, right? Would yeah. you, if you had to put a, yes. like that whole North Carolina thing, and, yeah. and it, right? That yeah. was pretty much. The minute we started ripping down history. Right, right. Statues and. Right. That's. That's that's when, this, this, that's when it had already been coming down. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it had already been happening, but yeah. that's when it just no that's, and that's when you saw it. Like, it yeah. was, it, it was, was, yeah, it was one they thing to hear it. They weren't trying to hide it anymore. Right at that point, right? And they had enough. They had enough influence on yeah. the other side to do it. But you know, again, I am uh, my parents immigrants. Both immigrants here. Mine I was too. born. Yeah. I was born here. Yeah. So I'm an American citizen. Do I? Am I sensitive to slavery and all? Of it? You know what? I can't speak to that. But what I can speak to is what I've learned in history. Is that again, if you if you forget it, you're doomed to repeat it. Right. And when you stop teaching our youth the way that we got here then like right like yeah. uh, how do you stop telling no. yeah. how do you stop telling the story of of all those sacrifices that many many people made um and again of the, the 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 founding father is the idea and when you read the constitution if and i don't know if, if you've had a chance to read it out there when you read it the brilliance in the wording and the way that yeah. I, I've always I've always been daunted at the how did they think of that like that's that when I read it they knew it I'm like because they had already lived it Bob. like I'm like how did they think of that because right? they had already lived it but Cause, see we yeah, don't know we don't yeah, know what it's like yeah. to live tyranny yeah right. listen yeah they had lived it they yeah. had lived it for for it was hundreds so, of years already and you read it bro and you, you know see I mean? like all of those and you're like wow how did they think of that wow they thought so of re- that that's the reason they, why they left England right to begin with right to begin with and so they they, so they, they put all that it. together and meanwhile here we are we're, we're like just butchering it and slicing it up and Dude. taking pieces out of it and rewording it's, it it's you ridiculous. know I I will hate to say this out loud but I will like the Quran the Quran if read and in, 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 in interpreted the way that it's supposed to be mm-hmm. it's a book about peace it's oh, a absolutely. book about love it's it really is about, the religion of peace it's a religion of peace but you when, yeah. you when you read it and you interpret it the way that you want and you spin it it becomes a book of war a book yeah. of death and a book of just hate so again you know I caution everybody and say yeah. you know if you haven't had a chance to read the Constitution I, it may not be the most interesting thing in the world but like at least, uh, if you're gonna have a, a conversation about it, at least read it and at least try to understand how it was put together and why it was put together. Well, it should have been taught to you in school. And we're not doing that. No, man. No I way. I mean, listen, we're not even no teaching way. our kids how to balance a checkbook. Nope. Cursive. Nope. Seriously. What's that? Yeah. What's what cursive? is that? What is that? No. Nope. Nope. I just want to know how you're gonna sign your name if you right. if you can't write. Well, cursive. they do it digitally now through oh, Adobe. Digital. Yeah, you can. Do yeah, everything's Adobe, gonna be your fingerprint soon, right? Or your irises or yeah, something. I, I, you know what? I keep saying that. I mentioned it in the previous podcast. Uh, IPv6. I think that's gonna be it, man. When you, yeah. it's gonna be your. You're gonna get an IP address, and that IP address is gonna follow you wherever you go. Your phone, your computer. Well, we they're gonna technically know. already do that, right? They do yeah, that every now. Every card has a chip. It does, right? Yeah, and but I think with that IPv6, I think that number being to you now, it's your, it's your not only your your social number but it's also your digital number yeah. and now you and even in the digital world you're not going to hide anymore you know what i mean no. but again guy that's an, again steve we got to stop dude you're the one stop you, you know, know what it's like up. it's like we're at the bar like we're doing shot after shot after shot <laughs> and now we're too drunk no no no, no. yeah we're yeah good, we're, we're, good, no, we're, we're too drunk like we just yeah. we're not stopping you know what i mean yeah, but yeah, yeah. listen we do have to 
Listen, officially we are three hours and six minutes. I in. told so, you you were gonna So we go. broke we broke the record for the podcast. Right, literally for this to stop, I have to walk out. You do have to walk out. So listen, <laughs> everybody, I just want to say thank you to everybody, Steve. Thank you very much for your kind Thanks words, for brother. Me, brother. I appreciate you being here. Uh, everybody, again, hit us up on the social media end of it. If you haven't made a chance, I haven't had a chance to go over to Etsy, www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the Bobby Kuda show. Go get yourself some gear, man. Go show the support yeah. for the show. And actually wear it. Wear it. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's funny. I got my shirt on, bro. But um, listen, just knowing that you have it, brother, is is, is a great thing. And, 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 and even that kind of slowed down a little bit. Uh, and I tell everybody, you know, it does help. But like, cause this isn't free. Like, I got to pay yeah. for podcast hosting. Absolutely. I got to pay for the website. So that stuff, it helps a little bit. But I'll be honest with you. I'm looking at other ways and other means of getting t-shirts. I, I know it's a little expensive. Like, the prices are a little high. But it's quality I, stuff, I, though. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was bad. Because no. it is. It's a quality t-shirt. It's the, so. You know what? I really The pricing, I really can't control it because it's like a print-on-demand. It's like two yeah. companies. It's a print-on-demand server, and then it's my, my merchandiser. The Etsy yeah. is the merchandiser. So the pricing's kind of like worked in there. Yeah. I mean, I'm making like like two or three bucks on a shirt, which is great if I sold 10 shirts. You know what I mean? Because yeah. maybe I could help pay for the... But I'm not really making that kind of movement. But after this podcast, brother, th- this shit's going to be falling off the shelves. They're going to be falling I hope so, bro. Because everybody's so. going to want one. So, everybody, listen, if you have a chance, go out there, check it out. Steve, thanks once again. Uh, go hit Steve up if you guys are looking for that information as far as gun safety, getting your uh, your safety uh, certification. If you're thinking of getting uh, that, which is get it now, right? Because don't wait until somebody passes some stupid law where you can't uh, even get it anymore, yeah, right? I no, mean, get it you, now. And then we're Absolutely. talking about being grandfathered in some sort. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, get out there, do that, hit Steve up. Um, and again, guys, we always appreciate the support with the podcast. Uh, again, three hours in, man. Holy mackerel. Thank you so much for lending me your ear, guys. Um, everybody who joined in on the live cast on Facebook, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, your support is always uh, um, much appreciated, and it really helps uh, with everything we're doing here. I mean, the, my goodness, the idea that there's so many different outlets and platforms uh, awesome. And we can reach so many people, man. It's just absolutely phenomenal. So, guys, I just want to thank everybody uh, uh, once again for for taking the time. I mean, God, three hours, man. That's a big. That's a commitment, right? Like, that I, is a commitment. I mean, I don't even know that I listen to a family member for three hours. I'd be like, listen, I, I love you, but you got to shut the fuck up. Like, I love yep. that. Yeah. But nonetheless, I thank everybody. I thank you, brother. Uh, and I just want to say it once and always, brother. You remember, all roads lead here. There you go, my man. We did it, right? Dude, awesome. We did it. All right, everybody. Thank you on the live cast. Say thank you, brother. They're I hope watching. We didn't miss any They're questions watching. on that live Hold cast. On. Yeah, let's check it out. I want to check it out real quick. The podcast yeah. is done. I'm just going to, real quick, I'm going to uh, let me. Dude, I'm just getting started. You got me all, all right, wound know, up. right? Let's just do this real quick. File. I'm going to save project so that we don't lose this. Okay. And we're going to call this episode. 23 and we're going to save that brother so that we don't there we go all right we are all right we're safe and here is the we'll open this up real quick and look tony made some comments john boussier joined this oh i see Pryor's name over there don Pryor. oh that's dangerous yes it is he didn't I, the only thing he said was too funny oh you're on trouble uh let's see joe costa his father was from cape verde so he's talking he was talking about aaron hernandez oh aaron hernandez yep yep we're not recording so we're just doing yeah, live yeah, cast yeah. right now oh so his father was cape verdean his dad yeah, was cape verdean I, I knew it was spanish or something he had something something in him right 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 um and then let's see what else we got here let's see here joe costa in, in uh 1970s another ice age in 10 years, 1980s, acid rain will destroy the crops. 10 years, 1990s, the ozone layer will destroy in 10 years. The 2000 ice collapse. Yep. Uh, and then we will be gone in 10 years and have taxes go up. So that was some of the How comments. How dare you? Yeah, we had a couple of people. A couple of people join in here. Sergio Francisco, Tony Duart. Oh, the Duart. Yeah. So we did. We had a couple of people. So everybody who was here, thank you very much for coming out. We appreciate it. I'm gonna. We're gonna end it, Steve. I don't know if you want to say uh, goodbye to anybody, um, but yeah, Always man, a pleasure, man. Yeah, man. Everybody was this here. This was fun. Uh, even your wife showed up. No, my she. Did she not. did. I swear to God, she's right here. She did not. I swear to you. Watch. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where's she? Right. Look. 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 Oh, she did. She's, she's right there. Me. Oh, I'm. A, I'm in trouble. Can I? Can I sleep on your couch? After she was, you know what? She had your back. Afterlife with Ricky Jarvis when we couldn't come up with the name for oh. the show. Guys, you know, I, I will be honest with you. There Dude, it is. You there need he is. To put 
You need to put a screen. Another monitor. That's what I got to do. I'm telling yeah? you, dude. All right. I, I'm going to do it. I will not come back until there's a screen here. For real? I'll do it. No, I'm just kidding. I'll do it. I'll no, still come I, back. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, bro. Like, I'm gonna, I'll am i do it. I'll absolutely do it. I'm telling you, because I could be going through the comments, bro. Yeah. Because yeah. the like, That's dude, what I we could have missed the good questions. We, we could have. And I think, you know what? I think people realize we weren't really getting into the questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if we were, if you were over well, there yeah, doing that. If, we were, if you had said, oh, you know, if you have questions, throw them then in there. throw them in there, then it would have been, yeah, then we would have been all set. That would have yeah. been awesome. Yeah. I told you, man, I love questions. All right. So, bro, we're pretty much done. So, listen, I'm going to I'm gonna put the, um, we're going to close out here with the Bobby Kudo Show logo. And we'll say goodnight to everybody. And we'll end the, uh, the live cast. I'll awesome. end the video. So peace out to everybody. Thank you.